Hi! Welcome to the supercut of the first season of God Item. Season 1 was a season of experimentation. With the goal of making each of the inventory masks from Majora's Mask, I learned and refined the creation process more and more with each episode. The first five masks, which were the Deku Mask, Great Fairy Mask, Blast Mask, Bremen Mask, and Bunny Hood, were made in the style of a time-lapse walkthrough. Then the Camaro Mask, Mask of Sense, and Mask of Truth was when I started live-streaming the process rather than time-lapsing it. And I'd say the Goron Mask is really when I came into my own style of streaming and editing. So if you find yourself not enjoying the narration-heavy videos, skip ahead to around the Camaro Mask since that's when the format changes. And that's all from me. Enjoy the video. All four hours of it. See ya! Back in October, I made this replica of Majora's Mask from, well, Majora's Mask, for part of a Halloween costume I was making. I had a lot of fun making the mask itself and wanted to make more stuff like it, but I couldn't figure out what else to make. It then took me eight months to remember that the game this came from actually has 24 other mask designs. And I'm gonna make all of them. Welcome to Got Item. For this series, I'll be creating each mask roughly in order of when you get them in the game. Starting with, of course, the Deku Mask. The Deku Mask is the first mask obtained in the game. Technically, you get the mask before you even really get the mask. At the start of the game, you and your horse are in the woods looking for your old fairy friend. Suddenly, you get jumped by Skull Kid and his two fairies. Skull Kid steals your horse and your ocarina and takes off, but not before you manage to snag hold of his leg. He then knocks you off and disappears into a cave. Following him in, you lose your balance and fall pretty far thankfully breaking your fall on a Deku flower. It's at this point that Skull Kid gets tired of you chasing him and curses you, transforming you into a Deku scrub and then running off, accidentally leaving one of his fairies with you. Tattle, said fairy, becomes your companion for the game, and then the two of you set off after Skull Kid. Not long after you set out, you run into this weird guy called the Happy Mask Salesman, who promises to help you become human again in exchange for you getting him the Majora's Mask. Along the way, you chase some kids, go get a meteorite, give it away for a flower, and help out the great fairy, who in turn gives you the ability to shoot magic bubbles. Then, after a day or two, meet back up with Skull Kid on top of the clock tower to get your ocarina back. He doesn't give it to you, so you shoot a bubble at him to make him drop it. After which, you remember the Song of Time and travel back in time three days to the moment you left the clock tower, saving yourself from being crushed by the moon. Did I mention the moon? Kinda important, gonna destroy everything and everyone in three days. You know, standard moon stuff. Anyways, after heading back to the Mask Salesman, he teaches you the Song of Healing, which then returns you to human form, sealing the soul that was stuck to you inside the now-formed Deku Mask. That's right, soul. See, the transformation masks in this game aren't just magical artifacts. They each hold the soul of the person they're based on. The Goron Mask houses the Goron Chief Darmani, the Zora Mask houses the Zora Musician Mikau, and the Fierce Deities Mask houses some unnamed vengeful god. You know, no big deal. And that leaves the Deku Mask. The game doesn't specifically tell you who's housed inside of it, but with a bit of digging it's not hard to find out. Soon after you set off with Tattle near the beginning of the game, you encounter this decrepit tree statue, whose face looks strikingly similar to your new one. So, chances are that not long before Skull Kid stole your horse, he actually encountered some poor Deku scrub and stole his soul. Then, when he needed to get Link off his back, cast it onto him. Going a little farther ahead in the game leads you to this guy, the Deku Butler, serving the royal family in the southern swamp. After a race with him to receive another mask, he comments that you heavily remind him of his son, who left traveling long before you arrived. If that wasn't enough to confirm our suspicions, at the end of the game, during the credits, the Deku Butler is seen, shaking, staring at the wooden statue we saw at the beginning of the game, mourning his now-found son's fate. Well, that was sad. Uh, time for arts and crafts. You wouldn't think so at first, but shaping something like a dome out of something that isn't dome-shaped is really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Yes, former on the basketball, take shape, my son. I learned this the hard way by basically wasting an entire night trying to do it with math and geometry, both of which I don't know anything about. I must have measured something wrong. It's not an exact math, but... At this point, I've kind of given up on doing an exact math. Despite finding a basketball, and then some small plastic ball that I cut up to try and shape, I had no luck and gave up for the night. There. Now I've got a triangle. And we're done. The next day, I found an incredibly helpful channel called Evil Ted Smith who had a surprisingly easy step-by-step -step guide for creating domes and spheres out of foam. That's how you make a dome out of foam. Using his guide, I was able to cut and glue the foam into a shape I was happy to work with. To make the nut spitting hole, <laughs> I'm not calling it that. To make the mouth, beak, 
snout, whatever this is supposed to be. I took a smaller, long piece of foam and then curled it and super glued it into a cylinder. I then used a belt sander to give one of the sides an angle so it could fit evenly on the curved face without tilting up or down. Then, after the glue was dry, I wrapped both pieces in masking tape to hide marks, imperfections, and scratches and stuff, and so I could paint it without worrying about permanent mistakes. When making the three leaves that sit on top of the mask, I initially hoped to just use simple plastic leaves that I bought from the dollar store, but they ended up being too small, thin, and most importantly, really, really difficult to super glue. I then tried cutting the leaves into pieces and then gluing those pieces onto a piece of foam in the same shape to save me the trouble of having to paint good looking leaves, but the issue there applied too, and I got a bunch of super glue on my fingers, which was really annoying until I found out that you could actually use sandpaper to rub the super glue off of them. Now, I don't know if it was a good or safe idea, but I do know that it worked. It was at this point that I realized that I super glued the mouth on off center. Wow, I actually did that, didn't I? Thankfully, I was able to cut the super glue and replace it in a much better, more centered spot before it was way too late. After a bit of trial and error, I decided that I would just bite the bullet and paint the leaves myself. So I carved out three leaves and glued them to the face. With the shape of the mask done, it was time to paint. I used a mix of both oil and acrylic paints, kind of by accident. And by accident, I mean I just didn't notice or care. I started with black since it would be the strongest color to work with, and I brushed the top half with a chisel tip brush. I then used a smaller brush to fill in the gaps and to start patting the bottom half with paint to give it more of like a rough, grainy looking texture. I then mixed and did the same thing with different shades of brown and orange until I had a rough pattern that I was happy with. Then I went back over patting it with black and then brown and orange over top again to make sure it didn't look too smooth. The tip of the mouth was done with dandelion yellow, with a bit of orange both mixed in and also subtly painted on to give it some detail. With that, it was time for the eyes. I first found their placement by cutting a rough eye shape, painting one side, and using it as kind of like a stamp to figure out my placement. I was able to simply flip the stamp and use the other side to get a symmetrical result. Take that, art students. I made symmetrical eyes in under a minute, and you couldn't make them at all. I'm just kidding, I know you're doing your best and I'm very proud of you. Then came the leaves. I started with a mix of hunter green with some apple green mixed in as a base color. I then used apple green on its own to start working in the details. I was actually getting pretty discouraged looking at the results of the leaf, until the spirit of Bob Ross possessed me and made me try tapping very slightly with the tip of the chisel brush. It made the exact pattern I was looking for. So I did the same thing with a uh, sweet lemon yellow? What? And the results spoke for themselves, honestly. With that, it was time to do the eyes. For each eye, I started with the middle color of the gradient, with cadmium orange. After the shape was painted and dried, I used a strong yellow to make the pupil things, and then used a dark red to make the outer sides. Once they dried, I used a wet brush, and when that didn't work, a wet tissue, to slightly wipe the colors together to blend them. And with the eyes finished, I was done painting. After a few touch-ups, it was finished. Personally, I'm incredibly happy with how it turned out. The shape is a little less round than I would have preferred, but all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good looking and faithful recreation of one of my favorite masks from the game. In total, excluding the previous night that I wasted, the mask took about 9 hours to put together, including cutting, sanding, gluing, taping, painting, drawing, and crying about my obsession with the video game series. The Deku mask itself is honestly my least favorite of the four transformation masks, but that doesn't make it useless. Skipping across water does come in pretty handy, and I think the way the mask is integrated into both like Woodfall, the Deku Palace, and the Southern Swamp as a whole is really well done. Majora's mask really did flesh out a lot of ideas that were set in place in the previous game, Ocarina of Time. One of which being the Deku Scrubs as a species. Before, they were really just seen as like forest animals, making their homes wherever possible in forests and caves, kind of like parasites. Majora's Mask, however, changed them into a functional monarchy with royal figureheads, jobs, clothing, and even like an implied economy to an extent. It's really fun to see such a small design for an enemy in one game changed into such a diversely shaped society in another. Now that this mask is over and done with, it's time to get to work on the next one. I hope you're ready for it, because it's going to be pretty great. Fairy. I'm not sure what you expected from me, I'm a prop artist, not a writer. Earlier in the series, great fairies were really pretty standard in design terms. Simple pixies, who were really just placed here and there to restore your health in a few set areas. There was one in A Link to the Past who you could pay to upgrade your equipment like bomb and arrow capacity, and even your sword if you knew what you were doing. But basically all you got from them was some healing. It wasn't until the first 3D Zelda game, Ocarina of Time, that they took on a much... stranger appearance. On top of being half-naked with a set of gigantic eyes, they also scream and laugh like banshees when you summon them. Appearance aside, they actually became much more helpful. They now give Link direct upgrades to his health, magic meter, and spin attack. They also give you magic spells as well. One for attack, one for defense, and one for teleportation. In Majora's Mask, however, they actually have a job for you to do before you can get an upgrade from them. 
See, on top of stealing your horse, Skull Kid has done a lot of bad things around Termina, one of which being chopping up the great fairies into these little things called stray fairies. While most of them stay behind in the fountain, there's still a bunch that get stuck inside the game's dungeons. Back in Clocktown, however, there's only one you need to find. In fact, you actually find it back when you're a Deku Scrub, since you need the magic attack she gives you. But if you go find it again after reversing time and becoming human again, she'll give you the Great Fairy Mask. On top of making you look just fabulous, the Great Fairy Mask is incredibly helpful within the dungeons. The hair of the mask will start sparkling if there's any stray fairies in the room you're in, and assuming they aren't trapped within a bubble or a chest, will actually pull them towards you. This makes collecting stray fairies way easier than just trying to guess where they might be, since they honestly hid these guys in some pretty tough spots. With each dungeon, you receive an upgrade from the respective fairies once they're rescued. The Woodfall Fairy grants you a doubled magic meter, the Snowhead Fairy gives you an upgraded spin attack, the Great Bay Fairy basically permanently doubles your health, and the Icana Valley Fairy gives you one of the coolest things in this game, the Great Fairy Sword. This thing's basically a two-handed claymore that does quadruple the damage of your regular sword. It is an amazing reward that is so fun to decimate enemies with. Iron Knuckles have nothing on this thing. Without further ado, on to the actual getting of Got Item. To start, I used a modified version of the dome template I borrowed from Evil Ted Smith. I changed the shape to make an actual pointy face instead of a round dome. Once I had the face shape, I used hot glue to seal the gaps between the pieces, with the hope being that I could cover the whole thing in a layer or two of primer to hide it before I tried painting, since I knew that masking tape would give me a much rougher shape than I wanted. Unfortunately, the spray-on primer I was trying to use really didn't want to sit right. It either just drizzled off or just absorbed into the foam. After giving up on properly priming it, I started cutting and gluing on foam to form the three sections of hair. Once I had the shape ready, I used a cheap pink wig cut the netting a bit, divided it into three sections, and wrapped them around each of the hair sections. I should mention, this sucked. I do not know how people with long hair work with this stuff. I was legitimately pulling pink hairs out of the carpet for hours once I finished with the mask. Hair is hard to work with. I have roughly six hours of unused footage, which is just me wrestling with this stupid wig and trying to shape it and keep it steady in the places I want. This stuff broke my comb. Granted, the comb was only one dollar, but still. Anyways, after 8 hours of trying to shape this hair, I eventually gave up on getting it as smooth as I wanted and just started super gluing it down in sections, basically layering it. It looked a lot more frizzy than I'd hoped, but after 8 hours I was done trying to make it look perfect. Once I had the hair on, I began poking holes in a few spots and weaving some plastic flower stems through the thing until they wrapped around into a sort of, like, wreath. Then I glued some more leaves onto some green wire to form the hair bands. Once I had the leaves and stems all in place, I cut out the nose, sanded it down so it was a smooth shape, and glued it onto the face. With the hair, vines, and nose ready to go, and with primer not working, I began taping the face with masking tape, being as careful as I could not to get it wrinkled. I ended up using more tape than necessary and used an X-Acto knife to cut off the excess right at the edge. With the tape on, the hair glued, and the vines placed, I began painting. At first, I tried simply using a reference photo and painting it without sketching it out first. As you can see, it looked terrifying. So I let it dry and repainted over it with the same color I used for the face. After the first face was covered, I went and practiced drawing the eyes and mouth on paper, and once I felt more comfortable, lightly drew them onto the face with a pencil. Afterwards, I traced the lines with a thin line of black and got to work coloring in the details. Once I had the eyes colored in, I sprinkled a tiny bit of pink glitter onto them to give them more of a sparkle sparkle. With the face painted and everything else taken care of, I super glued a strap to the backside and glued a piece of fabric to the back so you don't have to stuff your face into plastic flower stems. And with that, it was finished. Considering how much time went into working with the hair, I am glad it turned out as well as it did. I was definitely worried about painting this one more than I was for the Deku mask since there's much finer details to worry about, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty alright. All in all, this took me about 12 hours, with 8 of them being working with the stupid wig. The Great Fairy Mask is really helpful if you like getting all the upgrades in a game. This definitely speeds up the process since some of the stray fairies are really, really difficult to find. Anyways, that's that. Two down, 22 to go. So let's get to it. And just you wait, this one's gonna blow your mind. And also the rest of your head, because this is basically a grenade that you wear on your face. Given that you can purchase a bomb bag even before restarting the cycle, this mask isn't really super helpful. I think the developers designed it to basically be seen as a failsafe for dungeon puzzles that require bombs, with the punishment being that it takes some of your health. Otherwise, bombs themselves would basically be obsolete as soon as you got the mask. Unfortunately, they didn't seem to realize two things. One, you can just hold up your shield to avoid taking damage. Don't ask me how this works, because I don't know. And two, while this mask may not be great for exploring, it is absolutely amazing for fighting. 
Since it's a giant area of effect explosion, you can actually use it to clear any enemies immediately around you, which is super helpful specifically for small hordes of enemies like Bad Bats, Bows, or Wart's Bubble Shield. Anyways, like the mask's general purpose, the way you get your hands on this one is pretty straightforward. If you're exploring around North Clocktown during the first night, you'll probably catch a glimpse of the pale bald guy hanging out behind the slide structure. This is Sakon, the thief. He lives out in Icana Valley and makes treks out to Clocktown with the simple goal of stealing and pawning off stuff from the local merchants. Tonight, he has his eye on one thing. It's not the little kid, thankfully. Within the merchants of Clocktown, there's a bomb salesman and his mother. Tonight, the mother is strolling back to the shop with a new product in tow the upgraded bomb bags. That's what Sakon is trying to steal. Thankfully, you intervene and get the bag back for the old woman, who gives you the blast mask in return. Not really sure it's a great idea to give an actual child a face-mounted explosive device under any circumstances, but we take it anyways and are well on our way to the next one. That is, of course, if you let Sakon get away, because you don't exactly have to. If you manage to hit Sakon with either an arrow or the hookshot, you blow him up. And I don't mean he gets covered in soot or goes flying off all cartoony, like you actually kill him. He's just gone for the rest of the cycle. He's not in the park, he's not in Icana, he's not even in his hideout. The bag he was carrying was filled to the brim with explosives. You legitimately just erased him from existence. And he won't come back until you reset time. If you blow him up, you also don't get the mask, since the old woman doesn't get her explosives back. So you basically just killed a guy for virtually no reason, other than it was fun. By the way, full props to the North Clocktown guard. No matter if you leave the bag with Sakon or take it back, this guy just stands there staring and lets Sakon get away. Good work, buddy. The creation of this one is pretty straightforward, given that it's literally just a ball with a skull painted on it. But of course, like usual, the simplest of shapes elude me always and forever. I started by using the same dome template I've been using, which might actually be the problem now that I think of it. I'll look into that next time I have to make a sphere. Anyways, I cut out six sides, sanded them down, and glued them together at their tips. Once I had them all glued together, I bent and curved the shapes inward to create a round ball. But I noticed they wouldn't be wide enough to both fit together and stay round, so I cut out another different shape to fit in between the first ones. Once I had them all glued, sanded, and shaped, I cut a hole in the back and began to tape up the mask. This tape really hasn't been working for me, so I need to find another way to get the mask paintable. Anyways, once the thing was taped up, I covered it in a layer of white glue to stop it from falling off in as many places as I could. Once it was dried, I painted a layer of lighter blue and then two darker coats once it dried. After the blue was dried, I painted on the first layer of the skull and then sprayed on a reflective coat to give it a shine. Afterwards, I put on another coat of white on the skull to cover up the cracks in the paint, and it was finished. To be honest, I'm not super happy with this one, at least compared to what it could have been. If I were doing it again, I would review my sphere template and try to make it look much rounder. Otherwise, I think it turned out okay. It was definitely a simpler mask to make, especially compared to the previous one, given there was no hair to work with this time. Overall, this project took a combined 5 hours. After all this time, we're 3 down with 21 to go. I can't think of a bird pun, so I'll just leave it at that. Last time on Got Item. Drama. Murder. Romance. A risky reward and an avian identity that always seems to come next. Within Majora's Mask, there are quite a few masks that don't really serve a purpose other than unlocking other masks later on. But these first masks are often obtained just from talking to the right person at the right time. The first of these is often the Bremen Mask. You obtain the mask by talking to the music box guy, Guru Guru, when he's sitting by the laundry pool on the night of the first or second day. Believe it or not, playing a super loud music box in your crew's hotel room late at night is never really appreciated, so he was kicked out. During his night ramblings, he tells Link that he once stole a musical mask that allowed him to command animals to march. He joined the circus soon after, and even though an item that forces animals to march would be really helpful in a circus, Guru decides he doesn't really need it anymore and gives it to Link. The Bremen mask, like I said earlier, allows you to lead animals in a march. Aside from being fun for about 20 seconds, this mask also unlocks the ability to get one of the most useful masks in the game. In order to do so, you have to head over to Romani Ranch once the boulder that was blocking it has been cleared by the worker. Within Romani Ranch, you should head over to the chicken coop over on the left, next to the doggy racetrack. Once you're there, you'll meet Grog, sitting down in front of a tree. He's sulking because he won't be able to see the surrounding cuckoo chicks mature into adults before the moon destroys Termina. Using the Bremen Mask, if you collect all the chicks in the yard into a line, they, for some reason, immediately spring up into adults. After seeing the grown-up cuckoos, Grog is overwhelmed with happiness, at least as much as his face is capable of showing. After which, he gives you the Bunny Hood, which we will get into in the next episode. To make the Bremen Mask, I initially hoped to use longer and more sturdy feathers to give it a better shape, 
but I wasn't able to find any in stores near me, and I didn't feel like waiting for weeks if I ordered some online, especially for how overpriced they were. What I did manage to find for this one was a bag of very soft decor feathers. So then to get the shape, I scratched a rough shape into the foam with my fingernail, refined it, and then cut out the piece with scissors. Then I flipped it and traced it, and had a second piece. Once I glued the tips together, I sealed the gap in between them and had a beak. Then I cut out another piece to seal the gap at the top, and had a face as well. Once I had the pieces glued, I used my heat gun to bend the face into a curved shape, and then taped the wings backward to ensure a round shape in the sides of the face. The next day, I untaped it and let the wings fray out a little bit. Then I used the heat gun again to fan them forward slightly. Once I had the shape I wanted, I realized that just covering the thing in feathers would lose the depth the mask has in game. So I traced out a crude line about two thirds into each side of the mask, and then cut them off. After I cut them off, I glued them back onto the mask, but I had them slightly recessed a bit, so make sure the depth would be visible once the feathers were glued on. I did the same thing a little closer to the center of the face, and ended up with three different levels of depth on the fanned feathers of the mask. Once I had a shape I was happy with, I primed the foam with a spray-on primer while still in my living room. Don't ever do this, that's a bad idea, and the whole place smelt like primer for about three days. Once I had it primed, I painted the beak and talon things yellow, and painted the rest white. Then I painted on some crude eyes. Once I had the thing painted, I began gluing on feathers, trying to keep them fanning along the shape of the foam. Once I had a good amount on there, I took barber scissors and started trimming the feathers down to keep the shape nice and tight. This made a massive mess. The video footage does not do it justice, there were feather bits everywhere. It took a whole lot of lint rollers and vacuuming until they were cleaned up. Anyways, once the feathers were trimmed and cleaned up, I cut out black eye sockets out of felt. I glued them over the originals I painted, and then painted two foam eyeballs to glue onto the felt. Once the eyes were glued on, I thought it needed more depth to have the angry eyes that the actual mask has. Without any other colors of feathers, I painted the feathers around the eyes both black and grey. Once I finished painting, I gave the feathers another quick cleanup trim, and we were done. Compared to the previous mask, I think I got the shape of this one done pretty good. The feathers were a bit of a nightmare to work with, and if I had the chance, I would have liked to use better quality feathers. But I think overall the mask looks pretty good. That's 4 down with 20 left. This next one makes two animal masks in a row. I'm not a furry, I promise. To recap, if you use the Bremen mask to collect all the chicks around the yard, they grow up into adults. Once Grog sees the matured cuckoos, he is content to live out his last days with them, and gives you his old prized possession, the bunny hood. The bunny hood is one of the simplest masks in the game, but it genuinely is one of, if not the most useful. All it does is make Link run faster. But in a game like Majora's Mask, where your time is pretty limited, faster speeds mean everything. On top of raising your running speed, it also allows you to jump further as well, meaning you don't have to worry about pulling yourself up a ledge when your regular jump would be just too short to land properly. You only have so many warp points in this game, so even if you manage to unlock them all, you'll still find yourself walking around quite a lot. So unless you're in an open field or underwater, you'll be moving pretty slowly unless you've got the bunny hood. Anyways, on to making the mask itself. Like its function, this mask, if you can even call it one, it's more of a headband than even a hood, was pretty straightforward to create. I started by forgetting to sit down and cutting out the headband section of the mask. Once I had it, I immediately went into cutting both ears. Once the ears were cut, I heat gunned the headband and shaped it around my head. I then bent it further and taped it to make sure it stays tight once it's settled. Later, I hovered the ears around the band and cut the bottom so that they stayed flush with the band while staying upright. Once I had the shape done, I decided to tape this one rather than trying to prime it again. Once I had it taped, I painted it, leaving sections of the ears to glue pink and white felt into. Afterwards, I cut a small styrofoam ball in half and painted them black with white spots to make the eyes. Once I had the eyes on, I cut and glued the felt on, starting with pink and then covering it with white to give it like a skin depth thing color. I don't know, it didn't work too well. Once all of that was done, the bunny hood was finished. While I do regret having to tape it instead of using something like Plasti Dip, I haven't been able to get more of it lately, so tape will have to do. The thing I'm most proud of with this mask is that because I made sure the headband was tight, it doesn't need a strap or a different headband to stay on my head. This one marks five masks down with 19 more to go. I'm gonna keep juggling this dangerous knife. Okay, let's get to work. We're making the Camaro mask. As you can see, I have a fantastic setup. I'm very happy with how this looks. I hope it's not too noisy. I have a noise filter on the microphone, and hopefully it's working. I was working with the Dremel earlier, and as you can probably see, you can see it, it just like cuts right, it cuts right through this foam like butter. Okay, I should get to work, because I've just been sitting here. I should probably get the reference picture up on my screen here so I can actually see this beautiful, ugly mask. It is gross. It's such a weird idea. It's just like this, your face is blank and you got this guy's whole head just grafted onto your head hole. So I'm probably gonna start by trying to make the head itself. I think that's probably the best bet. Why does my arm feel so weird? I don't think I'm being electrocuted. Camaro's weird. S -s -s naked 
dancing ghost thing. And we love him for it. He's like, oh, take my face. Take my face and put it above yours. Share my dance with the world. Link's like, okay. And he goes and shares it to two people and never again. It's a weird dance too. And he's like shaping to do a circle with your hands and then sp start spinning around. I will try and record myself doing the dance when I have this mask done. And I will put it in the end of the video. Whoop. I can't wait to accidentally like bring this too far and slice my legs in half. I guess I'll make these go top to, not top to bottom, biggest to smallest in one direction so I can have like his head down to his chin and have that be shaped a little more smoothly. That's the plan at least. We will see if it actually works out. Did I, have you guys ever have, remember those, um, it wasn't like foam, but it, it was like, it was squishy, but it was made of like these tiny little balls. These tiny little like, I think they were foam balls. But you could, it was basically like Play-Doh, but it was made of like little tiny bubble shapes. It was really fun, but it was also disgusting and smelled bad. Was that what, it, is that what it's called? Floam? I'm gonna look into that. Floam, 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 floam. Yes, it was floam, thank you. I forgot about that stuff, because um, some of our family friends brought some over one time. And it was fun to play with for a little bit, but it, it made our hands stink. And then we just put it in a cabinet, and then they left. And it just stayed there for like months and made the cabinet smell bad. I think we eventually threw the cabinet out. We brought it out on the trampoline and I, I think some of it stayed there for good. There we go. Should be a little better. A little safer for me. SFR. Safe for Ryland. Which not many things are. Safe from Ryland. There you go. There you go, brain. Thanks for coming up with that one for me. You're welcome. I think I'm gonna make the head of the mask that pokes out a little bigger than it is in game. I want to be able to see more details on it. Maybe I'll mute this a little bit while I work. Hopefully I won't forget to bring it back up. I hate that's thin. I keep forgetting how thin his neck is. Okay, so I should be able to just go like and hopefully not wreck something. Ooh. Dang it, it wrecked it. <laughs> it's like E.T. I've been thinking a lot about what scares the world. Like, why do things become scary? Like, analog horror or creepypastas or Five Nights at Freddy's or stuff. Like, why does that, why does that specifically scare the world so much? Yeah, the unknown, but it's also the, it's the unknown in the face of familiarity. Like, it's the twist on something. Like, analog horror isn't scary because it's analog. Like, it's, it's scary because it's, it uses the the medium of analog to make something scary because we think we know what we're dealing with and we don't. I think that that's what that's what makes sense to me. Based on that, what's going to be the next big horror thing? What'll be the next scary thing that comes out? Notepad to <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah. Notepad to toilets because <laughs> it just types in poo. Oh yeah, I thought I was gonna put these goggles back on. Wasn't I? <laughs> I gotta show you. Oh, today I will show you how to be scary. Number one, annoying orange jump scare. Ah. I'm dealing with the consequences of my actions. The new horror trend is, like, workplace non-safety. Oh, Canadian PSAs? I can see that working. It's 10.30pm, do you know where your kids are? I can actually see how you think it looks like Walter White. Jesse, we gotta dance for the two sisters, Jesse. <laughs> Is it bad that I can hear this thing going like blem 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 blem? <laughs> like that's that's the word I'm hearing it say as it as it trembles. I have some smoothing tips I can use to get like the head shape even because right now it's a little off. This weird alien looking thing. Oops. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta do one more one more thing. One more little detail, I gotta cut his eyes open. Okay, I think that's the head taken care of. This is awesome, I'm just like now really looking at it now. This is, for starting out as a stack of thick craft singles, this looks really good. Good work, Dremel, and good work, me. Yeah, I guess I might as well get started on the, the head, the mask. Ben drowned, classic Ben. Benjamin drowned. We can, me and my friends call him Benjamin Breathent. It's funny, we talk, we talk about it a lot just because it's silly. But yeah, ben, I used to found, find Ben John creepy too, of course. I think most people did. Then you look at the original face. Here, I'll draw the original face on some foam in a second, because it's just funny to me. It's funny looking at it now. I mean, like, we were scared of this. Just a goofy smile. It's just like...
That's it. He just looks funny. <laughs> this is great. I should make a Ben Drown mask. That'd be fun. <laughs> I should just cut this out. There he is. Beautiful little lad. He can stay behind me now. He can he can keep a keep a watch on the wall. Uh, let's put him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh no, Ben! Stay up there. No. He is weak. Please be a good boy and stay up there. <laughs> he looks stupid on the stream. He looks stupid in real life too, but he looks especially stupid because he looks so tiny. I can use these. I was. I didn't waste the. I didn't have to waste the foam a little bit, but not as much as I could have. Ben! Oh yeah, the the fisherman. <laughs> Get me a picture of those little ladies, please. Oh, I'll say, I'll treat you with my I'll trade you my seahorse for those pictures. Give me those pictures of my seahorse to go out for a walk if you catch what I catch what I catch what I mean. You're a fisherman, you know you are good at catching things, right? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> ah, no. My little goblin. This looks great. This looks awesome. Even with like the weird shape, the little head on top looks so much better than I could have expected for doing this with a Dremel for the first time. Once I'm done with the masks, I maybe I'll take a break from Zelda and make something else, but I do want to make Zelda items and I do hope I can make one of the mirror shields. Probably both of them. I'll do whatever. I'll do what I want whenever I want. That's the that's the rules of Just Ryland. <laughs> I'll tape up a few places when I'm ready to paint, and I'll see if I can get some plastic tape on the rest. Otherwise, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm back. I got gamer headphones, which will help me be a better prop man. I think, probably. That's that's the rules, right? I've plastic dipped the whole thing. He's now paintable and mostly white, but I'll probably have to do a bit more a bit more work on his on his face. Uh, I did miss, not intentionally, but I can work around it. I missed the back of his head a bit. You can still see a lot of yellow there, but that's okay because I'm going to use these things, the pipe cleaners, to make his hair, which should be able to cover up this stuff, and anything that isn't covered I can paint. This is supposedly a skin irritant, so if I get itchy, sucks to be me, I guess. It's kind of hard to hold this thing. Cause the head's the head's so much heavier than the rest of the mask. I guess while I'm waiting for the rest of the head to dry, I could probably start painting the bottom. That'll work. Time to paint. Looks like a looks like a mocha. Hmm. Still not great. I think I'm getting there. Okay, this is looking good so far. This is a good skin tone. I'm gonna add the, like a tiny drop of red. I need deep red. Vampire bite. Okay, this should that's mixed enough. I'm not I'm just kind of fidgeting here. Rylan, put this in your YouTube video when it's done. Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm here to eat your burgers, lol. Thank you for your time. Does that include, oh no, thank you for your time is your the old thing. What's up YouTube? Ryan here to eat your burgers, lol. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi Badoo. What are you looking for? Are you gonna come say hi? Oh here she is coming to say hello. But she hates being picked up, so she's probably gonna run off as soon as I let her go here. Yeah, bye-bye. She's silly and stupid, and very affectionate, but mostly stupid. She is very stupid. Plasti Dip is very expensive. I might need to, like, rethink of how I'm coating these things, because this this spray stuff is very pricey. It's like $25 for one can, and I'm, I only have like an eighth of the can left after spraying this one thing. I think that's taken care of now. The base is done now. I'll do another coat later. For now, I'm gonna work on the head. All three of them? Sure. I don't like the first one a ton. I'm nostalgic for Dark Moon, so it's I guess probably my number one, and then number three is probably in second spot. The first one wasn't great, I found. I played it on the DS. Which, maybe the DS version sucked in comparison to the actual original GameCube one, but that's all, I, all I've got to go on. I liked Dark Moon enough. I think the mission structure wasn't as bad as people said, but I understand if they like three more than they like two. Top ten favorite pokes? What does that mean? Cow poke number two. Uh, top the hands royal poker or poker number ten. Uh, the one where you have two. Oh, Pokemon! My favorite Pokemon. 
I don't actually know who it is. Probably Mr. Mime, just because he's such a funny idea. But that changes all the time. I haven't played a Pokemon game in a long time, but I still like Pokemon enough. I saw the new trailers. You've got Lechonk, and then you have the orange rat with hair. He looks like one of those, um, like, pillow pets, pillow stuffies you could have. That's what it looks like to me. He looks a lot more serious than he does in the picture. Probably because his eyes are so open so wide. If I can get them closed a little better. Oh, he's crying. Stop crying. Uh, next mask, I believe. I have them in order of when I generally obtain them in my playthroughs of the game. And I believe the next one on that list, because it's accessible, next one should be the Mask of Sense. That's a, still got a lot to go. I've made like six out of 24. But yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a journey, which is kind of what, it's very imposing. It's kind of why I, I, keep, I keep taking so many breaks from the series, because I like, I do too, and I'm like, oh, that was a lot of work. Do I really want to make the next 20? <laughs> and I do. I do. When I come back to it, I always, I always come back and want to do more. It's just that it's very daunting to just like, we're gonna live stream this every week for the next year or so. Like, that's a very big dedication. I'm liking live streaming now too, because it's fun to have some people to talk to while I do this, instead of just like watching YouTube videos or something. And I, I plan to, I, I don't think I've said this yet. Uh, my other videos in the series have been like very informative, very narration heavy, and I don't like doing that. I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like torture, but it was, I, I went through and watched my, my Zant video again, like the costume, and I, I thought that was way funnier and way more entertaining. Because it was 30 minutes, and like, it may have gone on a little bit, but it wasn't anything that was too bad. Because it was in, it was interesting the whole time, because I skipped past the boring parts. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with God Item, because that's way more fun. Anyways, I will see. I'll probably- I do want to still use a, a few of my editing elements from the series, because I love- I love that mask wheel, I love the way that looks. I love the- the outro, I think, is great. But I- I think just the- This is how you get the mask. This is what the mask does. The end is boring. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Okay. I think that about does it for painting. That looks about, that looks pretty good. Face is painted about as well as I can get it. I think it's time to do the hair and call that a mask. I sure hope I don't burn myself. Ow. This is a lot of work getting his hair in. Oh well, I've got plenty of time. Still just stabbing this guy in the base of his skull. He's doing okay though. Yeah. Ow, I burned my finger. That looks, I think that looks good for hair. It doesn't have a ton of hair. I'll smother his face in my chest. Hair and beard taken care of. I'm just gonna re- I'm gonna repaint the face now. And then I think I'm gonna call it done. Do on a strap and call it finished. Oops. Sorry buddy, I tore apart your neck a little bit. Just do a little bite. Just a little bite, just a little, little bit of fun. You know, <laughs> a little bit of teeth. Okay. That's finished. The golden little band. Still smells like plastic. This might rip off. I might need to cut a, cut a longer strap. We'll see. No, that works. Sweet. Hooray! <coughs> Still plastic. Ah! We did the mask. It's all done. And it looks great. I think it fits great. I can't actually see anything while I'm wearing it, so it might look, it might look really bad. Thank you, all of you, for being here. Put it, like putting a combined nine and a half. Combined nine. I can do math. Combined nine hours into watching me work. This was a lot of fun. It was very dirty. There's still yellow dust everywhere. My legs are gonna kill me when I stand up because I've been sitting for so long. But thank you guys all for being here. Hopefully I will see you guys all. <laughs> Such a stupid cliche. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I don't wanna be like, thanks for watching, hit subscribe, ring the bell. I'm the Zelda fan of one. <laughs> thank you guys all for, your, for watching though, it was fun. Uh, I guess I could talk a bit about the next one I'm gonna do, which is the Mask of Sense. The mask uses a very bulky shape, and it also has a butthole on it. It's got a butthole on the backside, which is a really funny detail for the dad, and I'm wondering if I can do that myself. The nose will be a tube. That's not showing up at all in the <laughs> on the top camera, is it? I'm trying to draft out how I'm gonna make this shape out of flat textures right now. And that'll be, we're starting with the nose. It'll be like the, it'll be like a Deku mask, where it's a tube with a bit of a heart shape to it. The tusks, I think, are gonna... I'm gonna use two pieces of thick foam. I might have to dremel them a little bit. Hopefully not... There won't be too much dremeling this time. At least not nowhere near the amount there was last time, because I'm not shaping a miniature figurine. It's just gonna be actual thick foam pieces. Okay, I've got my idea so far. So I'm gonna start by making a flat face, and I will add shape to it with pieces. I've really got to focus on looking ahead, because I know chat's over here on my laptop, but this is where I need to look. Otherwise I look like I'm crazy. I'm talking to the ghosts in my head that are off to my right all the time. 
Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> Ben drowned. Here he is. I, I forgot he was here. He will he will remain, oh, hopefully for the rest of the series, I can just keep him like on the wall or in different places for each stream. But I changed a few things around. Nothing too visual. I pan the camera a little more to the left so I'm not like stuck off half to the thing when I'm looking at my laptop to the side. I also moved this camera in a little closer so I don't have as much height depth. It's like basically right out of frame, but you also get more detail because it's just a webcam. How do I normally do face shapes? I have a, I have a, what's it called? I have a template that I can use. I think, I think I still have it. Maybe I threw it out. Oh, it's gotten a little damaged. Okay, that's, that's my more round shape. Okay, let's try not to be wasteful here, which I'm sure is going to happen a lot during these. I think we've made good progress. Time to end the, the stream right now. This is the, this is the mask. All done. It's like making snow angels, not snow angels, snowflakes out of paper, which I could never seem to get right. I always forgot to cut like the square end off. So it always just like unfolded into this rectangle with a bunch of holes in it. So naturally I should be really good at this. Okay, that should fit smoothly, I think. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna start gluing that. Uh, wait approximately two minutes, then put, oh wait, apply. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Okay, I learned something new about super glue. And it's, it is not like regular glue where you push it, where you like glue it, push it together and then wait. You apply it like basically like paint. You wait two minutes for it to thicken, then you attach it and it becomes rock solid. That's what it is, okay. I'm gonna try that again. I've been doing, using this wrong like for the entire series and I learned recently that that's not how contact cement or like super glue is supposed to work. Nothing's ever too thick, especially me. Okay, now I'm gonna give it two minutes, two minutes separate. Fan art incoming. I really hope that it's just art and nothing else. Chunky Ryland fan fiction. It's not fiction. Chunky Ryland is canon. So I'll use I'll use this first plate to get the the first the flatter side of the flatter front of the face. Then I'll use the rounder the template I have to taper off the side. So it's less of less of an oval, more of like a <laughs> less of an oval, more like a long circle, which is exactly an oval. It'll make more sense when I finish it, I promise. Okay, let's see if this fits. That's holding. That's that's curving. Slightly. Kind of hard to tell. I don't know anything. All I know is glue. And even then I'm doing that wrong, apparently. So, okay, I think I did this wrong. Maybe I just didn't use enough. Let's try again. How do I fill two minutes with my hands stuck? I can't think of anything, and now I'm nervous. Whatever. I'm background noise at best. I'm okay with that. This is not binding. This glue is stupid. This is taking a long time to just get one piece <laughs> done. Okay, that's that's staying together, I think. Oh, it's still peeling apart. This is the worst. Apply adhesive to both surfaces. Wait approximately two minutes and then place press surfaces together. Yeah, that's what I'm doing and it's not working. It's peeling apart. First it was the Dremel, now it's the glue. Nothing seems to go right with my tools. Of course, it's always the tool's fault and not my fault ever. It's always the tools. I am never at fault in anything I ever do. One thing that my masks always seem to struggle with so far is getting a smooth shape. My blast mask especially. It's supposed to be a sphere, not some octagon. So that, that lets you know how good I am at, <laughs> at keeping shapes. Nope, that's still falling apart. Why is this sucks? Grow the strength. Nothing. You're a liar. I'm going back to hot glue. Whatever, it's a little bumpy. If it's bumpy, I'll dremel it. Screw that stuff. This is the Rylan Gets Angry glue song. <laughs> Ugh. I'm getting too quiet. I'm getting, I got really mad at the glue and now I'm, now I'm upset. Look at how angular that is. Why is this so difficult all of a sudden? I, I, it wasn't even, like the Khmer Mask's base didn't look great, but it didn't give me this much trouble. Maybe I'm overthinking this way too much. Ah, you know what, let's just, let's just go for it. Whatever. Not a super smooth shape, but it'll work. This is like the nose is gonna attach to here anyway. Okay, this is starting to work. We're learning, that's the whole point. I'm learning how to do props better as I do this because I like making props and I want to get good at doing it. Not that I'm terrible yet, but I I would always want to make it look better than they do. I feel like my general face shapes take need more work for sure. I don't think this jaw piece is working. I'm gonna try again. Oh no, I ripped out a chunk of his nose. Oh well, he'll live. Nose. Flat bend a lot across the bottom to even it out. Yeah, shape the bottom half. And then I gotta do like basically an eye mask forehead ridge that goes over and then curves back. I don't know how, how long that eye ridge goes for. Not too long, I think. 
What I should do is maybe use the heat gun a little more than I am right now, because this is this stuff is. I need this stuff to bend backwards almost 90 degrees, otherwise it's just going to keep getting taller. No, it's all falling apart. It's not. I just missed a spot. Missed a spot. S stop sitting cross-legged, Ryland. Stop it. And this is looking great. This is looking awesome so far. I think I'm going to I'm going to be able to get the head shape done tonight, and then I will spray paint it. Hopefully during tomorrow at some point, and then live stream painting it. Oh, my camera froze. When did that happen? I was so focused. There we go. We're back. I have finished a lot of it. It's... I'm getting to the... to the last parts of... shaping it, I think. One time I left my hot glue gun plugged in for like three days without realizing it, and the glue turned yellow, and somehow I didn't notice until the third day. And I don't even know how I did I think I just saw it plugged in. I was like, oh, has that been plugged in the whole time? And lo and behold, it was. That's working. Ow! Why, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? That was still entirely like liquid and I totally grabbed it. Like an idiot. Like I just spent like five minutes gluing this entire forehead and I immediately went and grabbed the forehead. I deserve that. It's more so a look over how well it fits mask, uh, but I think I can get this to work. Yeah, with a nose hole cut, I could actually insert it more onto my face. Otherwise, that fits, and I think it looks okay. And my camera died again. What am I? What am I? I'm just stalling. What? What have I done lately? What do I? Do I need to fix this. What? What? Tusks. That's what I'm working on. Tusks. For not having any idea how to do the glue properly earlier, I think we've got a pretty solid shape here. There's not much else I can really do and say, so I'm gonna lower the microphone now by a significant chunk. There. That should be off. I'll be a little quieter now. I think. I'm not sure, but I've, I'm gonna go even quieter now. Here we go. Oh, I was wearing that for a long time. My face is probably very, mar very marked. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with it. I think both of them look great. I think this one is definitely better than the Camaro mask, but we'll have to wait until I can paint it. But I love both of them. It's 1.30 in the morning for me, so I should probably get cleaned up and probably go to bed. <laughs> that was a lot of work we did. This this, this is all from scratch. Five hours of work tonight. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to Plasti Dip this and I think heat gun it. Maybe I'll heat gun it tonight. I'm not sure. Either way, I'll do it off camera. Oh no. There's spiders all over it. Why are there little spiders all over the mask? No. No. No, they're everywhere. Yesterday, I guess, I went out and bought more Plasti Dip and coated this thing properly, I think, at least as properly as I could get it. And then I used a... What's this stuff called? Uh, wood filler. <laughs> I was looking for the caulk I used for my Zant mask, but I couldn't find it, but I found this stuff instead. And so I used this, this stuff to fill in all the gaps. Let's just get to work already. Okay, I'm struggling to get this plastic off this cap. My spray painting box which is outside and just a garden bin with a with a with a tarp is apparently next to a spider's nest and, and I learned that last night when I was bringing it in at night and there were spiders all over it so they were baby spiders at least so it wasn't too bad they were just mostly like little bugs and webs maybe they'll come back maybe not if they do come back I'll do like that that lighter uh, bug spray trick where you just create a little tiny flamethrower burn all the spiders away what, are you trying to raise a family? Not in my backyard, uh-uh. I'm trying to paint here. You don't get to raise a family. I got paint on my thumb. Ah, oh, stream's over. More. Ew. Flamin' Hot Harambe Cheeto for $99,000. That is not a hundred grand. That's a hundred dollars off. They need to answer honestly. Did, did they say who bought it? Because I feel like that's... That'd be like a Musk thing or something. Like, huh, that's the kids will love this. The kids will love this if I buy this Cheeto. I don't know why he sounds like Bill Clinton, but... My favorite thing is a Harambe Cheeto. Did you know that, Hillary? I was the baby who fell in there. Did you know that? Did you know that, Hillary? I was the baby who fell into the Harambe pit. I know not everybody likes the Zelda series, but as, as like, indie games and people being able to just publish whatever they want as games has become super popular in the last decade, you realize back then in, like, the year 2003 how solid these games are put together. Even, like, even ones you don't like as much, like, even, like, Zelda 2 or the Link's Crossbow Training or something like that, like, there, there's still, there's still, like, years of work put into these games in every aspect, like, music, in gameplay, in story, in graphics, in art, in design, in promotions, and it's insane that anything even gets done like that. Like, creating a game takes so many more 
hands. So many more, so many more people than you'd expect. Like it's, it's like, oh, it's Miyamoto. Oh, it's Aonuma. It's like, okay, who was the art director? Okay, who was the, who was like the 3D modeler captain, and like his team of ten people? Who was the animations director, and who was their, who was their team of like twenty people exactly? It's crazy. Okay, um, I guess I can do the eye ridge, and maybe some more shading around the lips and nose. Okay, nose is dry. Time for pink. Big ol' pink nose. Pink nose McGee. Hi, Badoo. Dang it, you distracted me. You made me You made me paint on the nose. What a nightmare this is. Ugh. Oh. Dang it, I keep getting yellow. Ugh. The tusks and the nose are too close. I can't wedge my paintbrush in there to paint either side without mixing up the other one. This sucks. Throwing the mask out, starting again. What should I draw on my hand? I'm not gonna, don't say Triforce. I'm not gonna do the Triforce. What should I draw on my hand in the meantime while I wait for this to dry? Mario, that's a good idea. Uh, but I'm only gonna go with the colors I have right now because I don't want to pour out more just for my hand. I'll use this lavender because I have it here. That'll be the only exception I make, and that's for his overalls. There! Mario! Hello! <laughs> Hooray! There he is! Sweet! This is looking great for two hours of work. I just need to finish the eyes. Maybe refine the nose a little bit, but otherwise I think it's basically finished. Oh no! Oh, it's too much! I didn't realize he was dripping. Oh, whatever. I can, I can paint it over with black. But I didn't realize he was crying. Ah, that's what I get for being impatient. So the mask is not super helpful. It's one of the few that kind of only give you like a, either a single heart piece or like a bottle or something. And then you don't use it anywhere else except for to get the Fierce Deity mask at the end. Uh, this one lets you collect mushrooms. That's, I'm pretty sure it's all it does. You can go get them in bottles. You can then give them to the witch and she will convert them into a blue potion for you, um, which you never need because blue potion is not helpful. All it does is refill all your hearts and magic, but you don't need that because they are hearts and magic refills even in the boss rooms. Um, what's gross is that you can go into the stockpot in the hotel room and you can look at like a pair There's a pair of underwear on the bed If you put the mask on you can find a mushroom in the pants You get this mask by racing the Deku Butler after you clear out the swamp He runs you through a, a maze course kind of like Dampe from Ocarina of Time where you get the hook shot But he's very fast. There's like fire traps in the N64 version that kill you if you're a Deku form because like they're made of wood Thankfully they replace those with spikes in the 3DS version so it makes a little bit more sense because I doubt the Deku scrubs would be messing with pyrotechnics too much at least because they're made of wood. This is not a very useful mask, if we're being honest. If potions were more useful, then maybe it'd be helpful, but potions have ver virtually no purpose other than side quests. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I should eat the mask. It's hard to tell if they're dry or not, because they still look goopy. Of course I got black paint on the tooth. Of course I got black paint on the tooth. Why wouldn't I get black paint on the tooth? I'm all out of water. Time to replace it with glue. I'm gonna just probably let this dry overnight, finish the eye, and then and then we'll take pictures of it or footage of it when it's finished, for sure. I'm gonna make the eyes smaller, I think. Just a little bit. That'll be the last detail I do. And then I will I will glue on a strap and leave it for tonight. So it only took like two months, but we got the eyes fixed and the mask finished. This one took about nine hours in total, excluding those two extra months. The next mask we should be working on will be the Mask of Truth. I moved! Which is why there was such a massive break between um, the last episode and this one, because I had a lot to take care of. But now, I've got everything set up here. I'm excited to get back to streaming. And excited to make more episodes. We, of course, have Benjamin Drowned on the wall. I don't have any red wire, so what I'm gonna do is just like cut strips of like very tiny, thin pieces of foam and use those instead, because red wire is expensive and hard to like handle without pliers, and even then pliers make it difficult. Let's get to work. I'm just gonna start with the base middle piece. I'll, I'll get that like cut, glued, and shaped into place as much as I can. And then I'll add on the two separate pieces on top. And maybe like smooth out the top with the Dremel or something. We'll find out. Anyways, I don't want to stall anymore, so let's get to work. The Mask of Truth lets you listen to the thoughts of animals and also lets you talk to Sheikah Stones, which can give you little hints and secrets about the overworld. Overall, it's not super helpful unless you're going to get every mask to get the Fierce Deity Mask. On its own, it doesn't do much. What it does do is let you get a heart piece at the doggy racetrack out at Romani Ranch. You can go and check every dog's thoughts, and if one says that he's here for his wife and kids, that's like a 9 out of 10 chance that he's going to win. And if you bet 200 rupees on that, and you win full prize, you get a heart piece alongside all the money you make. So, it's good if you want to make money quickly. 
So if you want to fill up the bank for stuff, that's also helpful. The Gorilla Glue that I was using last time sucked. It didn't work. I've got contact cement now. Okay, this is flammable and poison. So I've got to be a little careful. I don't... I Maybe I should have gotten gloves. Ow. Hehehe. <laughs> ASMR stream. We gotta wait 15 minutes. Might as well start as soon as possible. Ooh. Ooh. Yee. If I die from contact cement fumes on stream, that'll just be cool. How do I take these off? <laughs> I can finally pretend I'm holding someone's hand for the first time in my life, and this music is really, really matching that scenario, isn't it? No! No, baby, I'm sorry, come back! No! Oh, she deflated! Cass, can you shut up? Please, I hate your stupid bird songs. That is one thing I despise about <laughs> anything really is the fan base. Because like Cass is just like he's just some guy. He's just he's just this guy that goes around playing music and everyone's like, he's my daddy who chokes me. Like, no, he's not. He just plays an accordion. My main antagonist in the series is impatience. This whole thing is peeling apart again. But that's looking okay for now. I'm happy with how it's looking so far. I think the shape is actually turning out really nicely. Thank you, Ryan. It's a good size, too. Like, normally the masks seem to either be, like, a little too big or a little too small. This one's really well-shaped to my face height and all that. Ooh. Hooray for burning my fingers in the sake of creativity. Christmas! Ow, I did the same thing again. Where I, like, just jam a thing full of glue and forget I just jammed full of glue and stick my thumb in it. Okay, I think it's Dremel time. Give me nugget. That was good. That was a good Sharpie. Mmm. This is the second one. Okay, so it turns out that the two that I was using last time, I don't have. I didn't bring with me. What a mess. It's going good. I think I made the, ma the mouth hole too big, but I'm gonna cover it in the red lining to, to kind of like have it go in a bit. Yeah, I'm smart. I'm a genius. So now what we're gonna do is fill this thing full of um, wood filler, and then we're gonna call it a night. Intense mud music. I'll need to sand it a little bit more tomorrow when it's this stuff's like solidified just to get it less, like, muddy looking. But I think that about filled in everything. The mask is looking pretty freaking good. Not bad for just, just under three and a half hours of work, huh? I'm happy with it. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to end the stream one-handed, or even, like, no-handed. Okay, to work we go, I think. I should be able to finish it tonight. At least I'm gonna hope so. I'm gonna do a bit of painting first, wait for it to dry, and then I will cut out this red foam. I will cut out like the shape of the, the mask to give it a bit more depth. Plus I made the mouth way too big, so I will fill it in. First, to start, I'm just gonna do the, do the eye, the paint the yellow on the eye. It's very expensive, it was like three dollars. Excellent. Time to paint! Oh, it's raining outside. That's cool. I know it's not fancy, but... Works for That's thunder. We're gonna get a thunderstorm, isn't that cool? Hopefully the power doesn't go out while I'm trying to stream. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Wow. Ooh, more thunder. I'm considering... I don't know if I'll do it. I think it'd be funny. And this will be like months down the line, but when I do the All Nights mask, I should make like an ASMR stream. Woo! That's a... That's a spicy meatball! Ooh, it's getting windy out. Sure hope a tornado comes by and immediately destroys everything. It looks bad outside. Here, I'll record it on my phone. 
I don't know how well that'll show up, but I will. I'll record it and then put it in a video. Ooh, lightning! Oh, that was like right overhead. Wow! We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> wow! That sounds fake. I mean, obviously not. It's very bassy and everything, but it just sounds it sounds like I'm adding it in. Sheesh. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun now. Ouch, ouch, that's hot. Imagine that, hot glue being hot. Can you imagine that? That's insane. That's a crime, I think. Activate pro mode. <laughs> Why is my webcam sideways? Oh wow. Oh, I broke something. That's no good. There's like a, there's a part, oh, that looks so gross in that. I do have pliers, okay, good. Okay, there goes that. This is difficult. That actually fixed it. Wow, yay! That's so gross. I'm happy with how it's looking so far, thank you, Ryan. Hang on, I'm gonna like, cut this inward so it kind of like bevels. You know what I'm gonna do first? I'm actually like, gonna bevel each, like most of these with the scissors if I can. Can't wait to immediately puncture myself in the chest. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like slip and then immediately like slice the tendon into my hand. What was that ticking noise? Is there a pipe bomb in my desk? Worst idea? Worst idea? It worked! I have a whole webcam set up to, to capture what I'm doing here, but I always like keep just bringing it to my chest. My hand's starting to give out on me. Come on hands. We can do it. Shut up phone. I'm busy. Okay. I gotta make the eyeball curls, and I gotta make the triangles, and then I'll be ready to paint. Ooh, slimy, gross, gross, yucky, ugh. This is goo. Eee. I glued the wrong triangle on. Okay, that's... That's all the foam work done. I'm gonna, like, bevel these triangles when they dry, and I'm gonna paint it, and I think I will call it finished. That's done for foam work, that's it. It's beveled. Okay. It is time to paint. Ooh, that's a good shade of red. And that's going just right over the foam. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just acknowledging now this, the nose hole is very much off center, which I might actually be able to fix. I think I can. I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to risk it. There we go. That's better. It's almost done. I'm just gonna do one final pass with white to like, Cover in all the areas that need white, and maybe do a little bit more red on the iris to hide that, like, marker that's there. That'll do! Mask's done. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty faithful, too. I'm really happy with this one, honestly. I mean, not that I wasn't happy with the other ones, but this one, I think, is probably one of the best so far. So that's the Mask of Truth out of the way. The next one will be the Goron Mask. I'm looking forward to that one. That'll be fun. That's great! Here we are! We're live again! First time in 700 million years, I'm back. I was busy. I do this every time I start these videos, because they always take so long in between. I'm not gonna apologize. I had stuff to do. Ryan, it's you! You made it! Okay, so what's the deal with God Item? How do I do this again? So, like I said in the last episode, kind of, I had to move again since I set up my studio. So now I'm in a new spot again! Isn't that exciting? I look very pale. Okay, I've got to stop sitting like this and sit... Like that. I love the Goron mask. You get to roll around real fast. You get to punch things. I think rolling is really just the best part of it, though. It is stronger, though. You can, you're can you heavier and stronger, so you can push bigger blocks and step on bigger switches later on, which is cool. You get this mask by first going and getting the Lens of Truth in the snow area. It's in a floating cave off in the distance. And then, once you have the lens, you can see the ghost of Darmani. He's a floaty guy. He's all gray, he's dead. He's got really tiny legs. So then you gotta follow him. You gotta follow him up to his grave, you gotta climb up the wall. Well, it's just easier now that you have the Lens of Truth, you can actually see where the thing is. Then you play the Song of Healing like you do for a lot of other masks, and then he gets transformed from a ghost into a mask. And you just take him in your pocket, you just keep his soul in your pocket for the rest of your life. Real cool. I got this little goober. Right here, this little guy. This guy's made out of paper. Generally to get a feel as to how the polygons of the actual object shape together. 
which will be helpful for cutting out this blueprint. I cut out a bigger version of this same thing. Okay, I'm gonna start by cutting this out and getting the pieces that I need. These are actually supposed to be used in the kitchen. These are kitchen shears, but they're really effective for everything else. I, I adjusted everything so chat is only subtly to my left, so I don't have to do like a full body Minecraft villager pivot turn to see what's actually going on. Oh, I cut the wrong side. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ryan, get your chicken and get back in here and talk to me, because I'm getting lonely. Nice. Hurry up with them fries, Ryan. Chicken and fries, just in time for a stream. I hope you're dressed in your fanciest clothes, because you're making an appearance tonight and you have no idea when. What? Who's laughing at me? Oh, it's my sister asking if I want to play a game with him. I have no time for family. I have a Goron mask to make. Okay, you know what? This is probably just a waste of time. Uh, I'll keep these. I'm not gonna just toss these, but I'll, I'm gonna put them off to the side. I think this should be all I need to get the general shape. This should be all I need. Just this little, little tiny guy. I'm gonna cut this guy into four chunks, just so I have a general idea as to what shape to make. Okay, I'm gonna make these pieces, and then just bend them into shape. <laughs> He's a flower. Okay, so I'll just cut those pieces out of form. How did you, like, send three messages in the time it took for me to, like, look down for five seconds? You're insane! I swear I'm hearing knocking to my left, but it's just my window. Where? Where's Ben? Oh, and Ben's doing the knocking. Stop it! I missed. I should get that before it dries out. <laughs> These are very bright lights. I should not look directly at them, but they're they're working so far. I wish I had something to light up the back of me, because it's kind of dim back there. I got Xant though. Yeah, there we go. This is kind this curves. This curves in, if I hot glue it like this. Oh yeah, that's gonna work beautifully. Look at that. Yeah, look at how smooth that is. Look at how smooth of a curve that is. That's great. It's a sticker. I was tempted to get McDonald's today, but it was too far away because the one near me is closed down. If that one was not down for renovations, I would have gotten McDonald's today and I probably would have regretted it up and at an angle. Actually, why don't I just do this while I'm drawing? There we go. Yeah, that'll hold. That'll connect well. Cut, 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 cut. This might be a pretty big mask. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start gluing stuff now. I'm gonna switch this over again. Yeah, that worked great. That's way less angular than something like my bomb mask. This is a huge mask. I mean, the Gorons are pretty big, but this seems kind of excessive. Look at how- it's- it's giant! Which is okay, but it's just funny. I guess if I just take it slow and do smaller pieces at a time instead of trying to rush it, it goes better. Who knew? But yeah, I might have scaled this up a little too big. Well, you know what? If it gets too big, I can actually probably just like cut around, like just the outside a little bit to- to- knock it down some. This has been going great and very smoothly compared to my other ones. I think this having this template was very helpful in like nailing the shape right away. It might be that this foam I'm working with is easier too. Like this is very malleable and easy to cut through. My hands aren't getting super tired. All good then, Ryan. You suck. <laughs> Let me know when you want to call when you're done with Overwatch and I will gladly, gladly let you in. Gladly, I think. Good thing I got big ol' hands to grab all this stuff. Now? Okay, okay, okay. Just let me- let me finish gluing this and I'll- I'll see what I can do. Voice call, begin! <laughs> set by- set default. There we go, how's that? Is that better? Yep, that's way better. Oh no. Oh no, it's playing through my- oh no! They just ulted me. Oh, get ulted, noob. Get masked, not masking Haver yet. <laughs> What is wrong with you, McDonald's again? Oh, it's getting renovated, so it's just closed down. Oh, it was it like one of those really old ones? No, that's the thing. It was super new. I don't know why they're renovating it again. Maybe that's a cover-up. <laughs> Maybe. Some child died in the play place. Not again. Not again. Dang it. This is so big. This is massive. Put this it around your face. <laughs> oh. you, you heard of that story of like this mom bullying her daughter on social media for like over a year? That sounds awesome. <laughs> Am I allowed to fart on stream or is that forbidden? That is forbidden. I have never farted on stream. That was a good idea bringing me here. Yeah, it really was. I don't regret this at all. Rylan, you have a bit of foam stuck to your forearm. Oh. If I had to guess when you're gonna die, it's gonna be in your 70s. Uh, I'm gonna guess 90s actually, unless I, like something kills me. 
Okay, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> You're gonna come do it yourself? I just might. It's gonna be a great YouTube video. Yeah, this is gonna be super good. I can't wait to cut all of awesome. this. Huh. Ha! I'm just surprised. That's the mask already done. I've been streaming for like, what? An hour and an hour and a half. And that's that. That's done. Oh, you're here. Okay, watch the yes. stream. I'm watching. I got something came in the mail today, and I, I want to show it off oh. before I do any dremeling. So my old mouse pad got all gross, and is get is like full of dirt. So I got a new one. I got this one custom made. All oh, custom made. Check this thing out. Oh, that is so cool. Right. But wow. Yeah, this mask is basically done already. I'm gonna shrink it. I think I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit more. Cutting about a centimeter off the edge of every side. There we go. It's not a huge change, but that feels a little better to, to hold. Oh, yeah. What I'm gonna do then is probably fill this stuff with wood filler so it's all smooth. I can't believe I'm all covered in foam. What a mess. What a mess this is. Who did that? Who did this to me? I'm gonna make a compilation where I fart. Okay. <sighs> you don't love me. <laughs> <sighs> You don't love me. I should say that to my boss. <laughs> Can't wait to be done with Majora's Mask masks. Not that, I, not that I'm not enjoying them, but I just, from there, I could have complete freedom. I've kind of locked myself into doing all the masks. That you is just, true. It's you, really just my you start own. start off with the first one and they were like, I will do all of these for yeah, the first time. I should not time. have said that. <laughs> but I did want to make all of them as a chat, like as a personal challenge and for practice. Cause each one is unique enough to give me different practice with shapes. Wood filler. Gonna fill in all the wood. Oh, I have a wound on my thumb. I should be careful not to let that get full up with wood sealant. <laughs> there, we got a Goron mask. Well, that's that. Dum -dum. I'm still recording. Ha! That's that's all, all right. I can do for now. I think I'm gonna end stream really quick here. Say goodbye to stream, right? Bye bye stream. I'm gonna be painting this today, but first I'm gonna quickly get this this uh this template that I cut up back into a one piece so I can actually see how the shapes all fit relative to thing. Yeah. Okay, that's reassembled. Now we have the, the reference and the bigger one we're gonna do. Isn't that cool? I'm doing fantastic. I ordered a bunch of parts for a new computer today because I'm currently streaming this off of like what used to be a laptop. It's not a laptop anymore. There's no laptop case. It's all just like a motherboard and exposed speakers and batteries and stuff uh, to try and get better cooling because the laptop itself is terrible with cooling, um, but it didn't work. That might be too much green. Oh yeah, <laughs> way too much. I've made it poop colored. Oh wait, never mind. That's that's not actually that bad. That's pretty close. That might actually be the exact color I want. <laughs> Good job, me. I first tried it by accident. I will go with that. I'll just go with that. That's that's my color for the mask. I'll just I'll just let that sit for like two or three minutes, let it dry a little bit more. Get some water in the meantime, because I'm already getting thirsty from all this talking. Oh, just broke my brush, I think. Yep. Whoopsies. That's what I get for cheaping out on brushes. Whatever. They were so cheap I could just go buy more. Oh, initially I was gonna actually use these guys. These like foam, these foam balls, oops. I was gonna use these foam balls. I had them split in half. And they were gonna be the eyes. They were gonna poke out a little bit. But they're just, especially with this mask guys, they're not the right size, they're too big. But in the meantime, I can do something else that's kind of fun. Oh! Yeah, it's not bad, oops. Oh, no, oh, I didn't work. Whatever. ASMRio. Hello. Oh yeah! All these people looked at my Instagram story and didn't get I got blood on my fingers. Oh! <laughs> that, that's not- that's- oh! That's- that's what I got out of there. That was supposed to be brown. That's a little gross. Those are way too big of nostrils. There we go. That's better. <laughs> right now they look like eyes. They look like super far apart. There we go. I re I brighten them up a little bit, reinforce them. Okay, eyeballs. Here we go. <laughs> it's dead. It's a dead Goron. Oh, that was way off. Nice job, Rowling. You messed the whole thing up. You messed it up. You messed it up. He's doing the DreamWorks face by accident. Good enough. You need to do the hair and the, the little, little uh, what's it called? Soul patch on the chin. 
and then got a color in the eyes, but so far this is looking okay. Okay, let's do the hair. I am out of room in my palette. Unless, almost the right color, I just need some yellow in it now. That's the perfect color right there. Yeah, there we go, that's the color I want. The hair turned out better than I expected. Okay, let's get to work on these irises, I guess. There we go. Okay, stupid, I'm trying to work. I can't have you climbing over my paintings. No, don't sit on my- don't sit on my palette. She's lovely, but very stupid. You are such a mess. I'm already covered in paint and I'm saying that. Please don't drool on my lap. Baba, I'm trying to work. Can you please let me work? Well, thank you. You're actually giving me good video content. No, you can't. <laughs> You're such a little brat. You can't sit in the middle of my workplace <laughs> to get attention. I'm working in it. I have a mask making problem. I haven't made a mask in months. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no anime girl in the corner dancing. Well, there is. She's right here. <laughs> she does not like this. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got so much coffee. Thank you. That might be too bright on the eyes, actually. Do a dance to this song. Yeah. Okay, I think I went too bright on the eyes shine. I'm not shaking my booty on camera, that's not allowed. I'm not combusting! Stop telling me to combust! That was a direct hit, I'm awesome. Would you rather have gout in your hand, or, or a goat in your hand? Like, how big is the goat? You just put your hand up, you see like a, a distortion of a goat shape just popping out every now and again. What do you want? I'm not letting you out right now. I am busy. <laughs> Let me get a picture of that so I can put it in the video, it's funny looking. We did it! I did it. You guys didn't do anything. <laughs> I did it! It'd be great if I could actually make a second version of this that had like the gross closed eyes and the giant gaping mouth. It'd be yucky though. I have like hot glue bits in my eyes now. Did I break something? Probably. I did. What do I do with this little guy? He's got a little bit of paint on him. What should I do with him? Should I burn him? I will burn it. Ready to burn this thing. Little tiny flame. It will soon be big. <laughs> there he goes. We did it, everybody. We killed him. <laughs> I'm gonna find some fun way to burn, not to burn, but like to destroy all the other mini me's if I make them. That's great. Yeah, baby, Goron mask. Hooray! I'm happy with the paint. I wish the shape was a little smoother, but I I love how the paint turned out. I think this is one of the best I've made. The next mask in this series will be the Don Giro mask. That one will be tricky, but I think I can pull it off. I am getting this working again. I built a new computer because my old laptop didn't work very well. So I, I ordered and built a new computer and, and in, in the process of transferring that item from my laptop to my new stream here. Problem is, dropped my hard drive, <laughs> broke it. <laughs> I'm missing the graphic I had that gave these like their borders and that's that's still not returned yet I need to quickly copy and paste this for reference the size Good, that was progress There it is there they came back look at that hooray my monitors like just off screen here So I can actually just side eye to see chat instead of having to do a, a big head turn like I always do Because I hate doing that. I want to look at that. That's the camera I gotta look at so you know how I, I said that this thing has like a gross soft blur effect on it? I thought that was a quirk of the camera, but I literally just noticed today that I still have the film on the camera. Like the little plastic tab you can peel off. I'm gonna pull it off right now. We're gonna see how much it improves. Now it's crisp. Look at that. How did I miss that for this long? <laughs> What's wrong with me? We're gonna start now. I made this little replica out of paper. It didn't quite turn out super great, just because I was kind of rushed to get this going, but it'll be close enough to give us a general shape. We're going big foam today, at least for parts of it. I want to have the, the big foam wrapper on my head, like a football helmet almost with the legs. I guess just the knife I was using before sucked, but it's never been this smooth for me. Chop time. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I didn't move this yet, I didn't set this to a different Mask yet. I'm so dumb. So dumb. There we go. That's what I want. A little tricky to actually fit this on my head with headphones because this kind of wraps around the entire head. Wonderful. I'll have to reheat gun the, the feet to make them shape and probably curve this back a little farther. But for now, that's working. I'm going to use this lighter foam to wrap around the eyes and connect it to the head itself. This is definitely a much more complex shape than the Goron mask. I have the general shape pretty good. It's these fins that are bugging me. 
I really have been sitting here for like four and a half hours, haven't I? That's crazy. I'm feeling it. <laughs> That's basically the shape hole. Now I just gotta like heat gun it. Okay, I would love to like refine these, but it is like almost two in the morning. I have worked in less than eight hours. So I'm gonna fill this in with wood filler and then I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna spray it anyways. I'm not gonna do a second building stream. I will spray it with plastic dip anyways and coat it for painting. But for now, this is just about done. That looks good. A little rougher than I'd hoped, but still looks fine. That's all I can do for now. Whew, this was a long stream, just under six hours. Anyways, that's all for tonight. Oh, I hit the button by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to start it this quickly. I was gonna give it like another couple minutes, but I'm here, might as well start. Hi guys. Uh, I did cheat a little bit and between last time I streamed, which I guess was last, was on Monday. I actually went and refined the fan pattern at the back for the scales because I'm horrible. Yes, I am still a little sick. Thank you for pointing that out, Ryan, you jerk. My nose is stuffed up. I was feeling kind of disappointed, I guess, after the after building it the first time, even though most of it looks pretty good. A couple things I wish I could have gotten better with it were the arms. The arms look fine, but they're supposed to actually go under the, the nose, but they actually go farther than the nose. The feet are also not supposed to attach, but that was the only way I could keep them from actually like very violently snapping off to the sides without any proper bend. Though what I'm gonna do right now before I start, I'm gonna quickly set another hotkey that mutes my microphone. Uh, I want numpad seven to mute, so I can just toggle it with it with numpad seven. I hate I'm sure that didn't sound horrible at all. Okay, let's get to painting. I'm gonna stop stalling now. Okay, the green I need is this color of green. Juicy noises, little tiny bit of blue. Okay, that was not nearly enough blue. Maybe not the right shade of blue either. Let's try some other stuff. There we go, that's the color we wanted. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna start covering the whole thing in green here. Painting time. This is gonna be one of the best painting streams I ever did do. Forget the fact that I'm sick. You got suspended from elementary school? For hanging on the door? I mean, I got suspended from elementary school too, but that's cause I threatened to stab somebody in the eyeball. With scissors. I, I had some issues when I was a little younger. <laughs> I'm excited to be done, done another mask. I'm surprised I got this one done so quickly after the Goron mask, cause normally my record is either I do like a burst, or I do like one, and then I wait six months, and then I do another one, and then I keep continuously telling myself I'm gonna get better at it, but I never do, because I'm horrible. I can't believe none of you guys stayed for six hours while I sat quietly and shaped foam. I just realized I did not prepare a bucket for wet brushes. What's wrong with me? I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I've gotta go get water for this. I'll be right back. I'll be quick. See what I tell you, I'm back. It is not the milk jar, it's the water jar. Look, there's water in it, not milk. You're insane. I feel like I have improved. Thank you, Ryan. The Deku mask I think made, I made look pretty great because it was pretty simple, but I've, I've actually gotten way better at doing more, way more complex shapes like this. Like I could not have made this right after making the Deku mask. I'm happy with, with how much I've, I've improved so far and I'm only going to improve more, which is great. I think I'm going to use foam for all the masks except for the stone mask. Cause that's gonna be really hard to, I mean, I could probably like just stick angles together to make it into that bulky shape. But what I might do instead is take a big block of styrofoam, just like a cube and just like exacto knife slice off bits instead to get the shape instead. I'm not gonna make it out of rock. That'd be stupid, Ryan. You're stupid. I'm not gonna make it out of rock. Green paint on my fingers. It's the worst. I hate getting green paint on my fingers. Any other paint's fine, but green paint makes me look like the Hulk, and I'm not the Hulk. I'm a boy. I'm a human boy. Orange is a good color. If God item wasn't purple, it'd be orange. But I like the color purple a lot. To get this mask, you first need the Goron mask, which is why I made that one first. On your way into the snow village, you're gonna see a Goron up on a ledge. He's got this hat on. He is shivering and he's cold. He's like, I'm gonna I want to come down, but I'm too weak. I need some food. Otherwise, I'm gonna starve and die. And so you gotta get the Goron mask first. Then you go to Goron Village. You light all the stands, the, the torch stands with fire. Or, I just learned this recently, you can actually just shoot the chandelier with a fire arrow and light it up and get it spinning immediately. Either way, you gotta get the chandelier spinning. Then you take the Goron mask, you roll off the ramp on the upper floor and smash into the jars. You gotta do it a couple times until the, the food drops out of it, the, the rock sirloin. Then you take that, you carry that all the way over back to the Shivering Goron. You chuck it up there, he, he's like, oh, thank you, and he eats it all up, and he, he just, just like, okay, I'm gonna come down, and he rolls off, and he's like, thank you, here, take this mask, it's very helpful. And you get the Dongiro's mask. 
This mask allows you to start the Don Gero side quest, which is kind of stupid and long. Uh, in Clock Town, there is a frog, and near the laundry pool, you go talk to him with the with the hat on. He's like, "Okay, I'm gonna go to the mountain village." Then you go kill the Snowhead boss, get the snow place turned back into the spring place, and now it's nice and warm. There's another frog there. You talk to him. He's like, "Okay, this is where we're all gonna gather." Then you go to the forest temple, you kill the mini boss there. Then you then the frog comes out of him, and you talk to him. You're like, "Okay." I'm gonna go over to the snow place, or the spring place now. Then you go to the water temple, kill the mini boss there, and then he becomes a frog. And you talk to him with the helmet, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go over to the place now. Then you go over there, you go back to the spring place, you wear the helmet, you go talk to the main frog, and he's like, okay, cool, cool. can you conduct us, please? Use the mask to conduct us and make us sing a song. And they just like, and then they get a heart piece. You kill one boss, two mini bosses, and travel across the whole world to get exactly- <laughs> Not even a heart container, a heart piece. This is a horrible mask. <laughs> this mask sucks in terms of usefulness. I'm gonna do yellow with a tiny bit of lime green in it. Or like apple green. Uh, this is like super lime now. I'm gonna take a little tiny gob of that and mix it with the rest of my yellow here. There we go. It was a subtle change, but it's all I needed. Oh, I got yellow paint on my sleeve. Rub the mustard in. Oh, I slapped my microphone with the, with the mask. I've got two whole perspectives to work with, and I keep I keep putting it out of like all of them. I got yellow mustard on my wrist. Now I gotta cut my hand clean off. God item is not a tutorial series. I will never claim that it is, or that I know what I'm doing. Oh, you can see the shotgun mic. Why did nobody say that? There you go. These are not very symmetrical. I realize. Oh well, that's fine. Minor painting mistake. I win. That'll do. Actually, I'm gonna make them a little bigger, now that I'm looking at it. They can be definitely a little bigger than that. I never turned the light on! I'm such a fool! Uh, uh. Oh, you cannot- you absolutely cannot see the color on the eyes. It's too bright. Here, let me just lift it up a bit, that should do it. I totally messed that up. Actually, no, I didn't. Hang on. Here we go, fixed. Favorite piece of the body? The hands. They're effective. Also, don't ever ask that question in my chat ever again. Thank you, I'm liking the paint so far. It's working, it's working. Oops, ah, oh, I painted over something I didn't mean to. Oh well, I'll just paint it again. Guess who's back? It's me. I brought back something special. It's called Buckley's. <laughs> that was completely involuntary. <laughs> oh, this stuff sucks, but it's effective. It is so effective, but it tastes so bad. Check snap on stream out loud. Ryan, if this gets my channel deleted, I'm gonna kill you. What was that? What was that noise? How did- Anyways, I'm gonna drink this now. I'm gonna stop stalling with your fart noises. Ugh. <laughs> That's the worst! <laughs> oh, I hate that. What's worse, the flavor is so strong, it burns itself into your tongue for like the next 10 minutes. You just continuously taste it forever. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, sounds like one of the characters die in Super Mario World. Okay, now I gotta figure out what, how the rest of the, the black goes on. Almost done. That might be too big for an eye color. Ah, no, that's fine. What I gotta do now is redo some yellow lines. Then I gotta fill in the eyes with red. What I've learned today is that apparently, Plasti Dip, which is the material I coat this thing in before I paint it, actually eats through styrofoam. You can kind of see, those were normally just like full styrofoam balls, but those have been like almost completely chewed through. Now we're gonna do a little bit of red for the eyes. That's like all of the details done. There. That's it, that's it, the mask is done. This is gonna take up a big chunk of like space on the wall. It's finished, it's completed, I can't believe it. I'm happy with this one, this is great. It's not, I mean obviously it's not the exact complete perfect shape as the real one, but I think for being such a complex shape, this turned out pretty freaking good. But I guess that ends that. That's the, that's the end. Which means it's also the end of stream. Pretty quick here. Oh, before I do that, I gotta find a way to destroy the, the little mini one I made. It's a frog. Let's let it swim. Goodbye. Since this is the only other mask you can get in the snow area aside from the Goron mask, the next mask to get at this point will be the Zora mask. No, it's not. Yeah, I forgot about that one while I was streaming. And there. Hello. It's time to stream. I didn't have enough time today to make the little mini version yet, so we're gonna do that quickly first. Dr. Pepper shirt is in my closet. I should go get it. No, yes. No, it's bright. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna Look what you made me do. Now I gotta go get it. Yeah! Let's 
Let's begin. Once I have this blueprint, I can actually start cutting foam more effectively, so I'm not just wasting time. How was everybody's day so far? My day was weird. I had to wake up at 8 a.m. to be awake for water meter replacement guys, and it came and went in 15 minutes. And then I went back to bed and slept until 4 in the afternoon. Now, I know I did it last time in stream where I said I want to look at that camera, then I continuously turned and looked at this one. I'm gonna make a real conscious effort this time to look at this camera, because I want to look at it. Because looking, like, looking at this, not only does it look bad on stream, but it also shows off my disgusting neck back. Oh, by the way, I smoothed out the wheel intro a whole lot. Before, it was like several keyframes that like snapped it to different rotations, and that sucked. And so instead, I actually learned that I can use a, a way better ease in effect, very smooth curve. And I also fixed the blur effect because I was using the wrong blur. I had a directional blur. I used a radial blur instead, which actually blurs it in a round fashion, which makes way more sense for a spinning motion wheel. I also sharpened it a lot too. I upped, I upped the um, resolution of the thing. I don't actually know what this piece is. Oh no, this is difficult now. Why is paper so hard to work with? It's not, it's just that I'm stupid. I've gotta stop doing the stupid angry face while I focus. Cause I actually, I do feel it. After a little bit, I realize that I'm tensing my eyebrows really strongly. I don't wanna do that. Cause I don't wanna look like I'm angry while I'm working. I'm not angry, I'm just paying attention. It's very blocky, it's a very bulky block shape. Come on, hold me, hold with me, hold me. Okay, there we go, I'm getting the cow, getting the cow shape. There we go, we have a little cow. Now I just gotta figure out how this last piece goes on. Hey, you know what? I don't even need this. Okay, let's cut up our little nose man. Oopsies. One thing that might be worth investing in, I'm using a wooden board. <laughs> as much as it does block my table from, from getting very serious cuts, I might want to get like an actual anti-cut mat because the wood still cuts and it actually does keep my blade held in place. It steals my blade. I think this is good. This is actually like the size I want, kind of. This does not want to bend the way I want it to bend. Been streaming for two and a half hours and this is all I got done so far. I gotta pick up the pace. Just stay. No, it has to peel up, doesn't it? It always has to peel up. So good does the same thing. It couldn't possibly be that I'm doing it wrong at all. Oh look, it fell apart again. Awesome. I'm getting mad at my mask. I gotta stop getting mad at a piece of foam. It's like shadowing my entire face. That's great. It was bright enough when I started that I forgot that I needed to turn on the light to get the background lit up. This nose is super long. It's been almost three and a half hours and I'm about halfway done. But that's a nose, chunky. I feel like a loser. And that's okay, because I have a cool cow mask. There, we got ears. All right, nubbins, let's get to work. Progress mark, four and a half hours. And this stupid nose just blocks my entire face the whole time. <laughs> Not spacing out, you're spacing out. And every time I look over to the camera, this just looks massive. And it is massive, this thing is huge. Actually, I guess 12 triangles. Oh, okay, just dropped those right on my, right on my dick. I can't believe I've been nerd emojied. I'm gonna die now. Just at five hours, huh? Good job, me. I'm not really sure how I did this for this long. I think that's ready for, um, dremeling. I really have been sitting here for like, f almost six hours. I haven't got up for anything. I sweep everything up when I'm done. Ooh, nice and close to the microphone because it's right above my face. Isn't that cool? Let's grab me my dremel. Safety first. That worked. Perfectly smooth cow. The shape is finished. Now I'm just gonna seal it up with a uh, culk. This is the same kind of material I used to seal up my Zant mask during that. Look at this, look at this stuff. It's like toothpaste. Don't put it in your teeth though, because that will kill you. Eh, that was a bad idea. Cow slap. It's like I'm massaging a, a cow in its nose, which is interesting. What a creamy cow this is. This really is like a weird caressing session. We're not doing cow ASMR. Okay, that's the mask. What a big mask. This is huge. Not bad. That's uh, yeah, just over six hours. That's a huge mask. This is so big. Anyways. That is the, uh, that's it for, uh, that's it for stream. Here I am. I made it, it's, this is still really big. Okay, here we go, we're gonna paint. Yeah, hey, I shrunk the mask, because last time it was very big. First, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing white, and then I will go, go from there. I'm purple now. I got some cellophane, and I actually coated my right light, and now I am purple. That's the wrong button. Nope, also wrong button. Which one is it? F. I found it. Maybe it'd be worth it actually to go for a sort of like grayish white instead. Nope, no it's not. So now that you have the Goron's mask, you can go and buy powder kegs. Big old bombs you can use to blow up stuff. You can now go to Milk Road. Normally on a three day cycle, you'd have to wait until the third day for the boulder to be cleared by the guy with the pickaxe. But by the time you can actually get into Romani Ranch, it's too late. Romani's already been captured and basically lobotomized. 
and uh, all the cows were taken away. But now that you got powder kegs, you can actually go and blow up the rock yourself. When you get there on day one, you can get your horse back, and then you can also go and do the, uh, the alien side quest. You're attacked by aliens. They're trying to come steal the cows. You, with your handy dandy bow and a little dog, fight them off for a little bit. After that, the second night, you can take the carriage back to Clocktown with Premia, and halfway through, you get ambushed by the, the Gorman brothers. They're wearing the Garo masks and stuff. They will try and smack the milk jars out of the back of the carriage. Not a euphemism. You have to shoot them with your, your arrows. You have unlimited arrows, so you can just like, you can just completely just machine gun them with arrows, and it's amazing. It's a miracle they survive. <laughs> Anyways, you, you ward them off with your arrows for a good while. And then Kremia gives you this mask. She first says like, oh, becoming an adult is done by doing a good deed, not necessarily by age, which is very, very much a gray area and should not be elaborated on further. But she'll give you this mask, which now lets you go into the bar. If you already have the mask, you do the quest again, she just gives you a big old hug right into her boobs. It's really nice. <laughs> With the Romani mask, you can go into the bar at night. You can do two things. You can go and buy the fancy expensive milk drink for 200 rupees. It's Chateau Romani, which gives you unlimited magic until you restart time, which is very helpful. It also lets you do another side quest that lets you get another mask, but you need the Zora's mask for that first. So that's coming later. Chateau Romani, any other character that drinks it, immediately starts acting drunk. Apparently when, when Link gets drunk, he gets unlimited magic with no other side effects. What does that mean for magic? Is magic, it's not pain-based. Does he need like relaxed thoughts or something? Does Link think? This is hard. <laughs> I mean, the honest truth is that it's a game design choice that was not supposed to be elaborated on, but it's just fun to think about. Okay, I think that's enough white paint for now. Again, I did the thing again where I forgot to make a jar of water. Okay, we're doing, not black yet. Black, I'm gonna do last, because black is very hard to get rid of if I do it in the wrong spot. Okay, let's paint this ugly nose. I don't know, uh, I'm confused and scared. Help, help. We got six whole viewers in chat, isn't that crazy? I can't even count that high. It comes after like four, right? Ow. Okay, is this dry enough to paint over yet? No, not yet. It's still lost. Oh yeah, the nose is super short in comparison now, but that's okay. Cow, just paint me some nubs. These cow nubs are looking great. Now let's do some nostrils. Okay, I think I can start doing cow spots. Wow, I'm such a messy painter. <laughs> glad I rolled up my sleeves this time. The paint job on this one was not super complicated, which I'm glad for. Throughout the week, I had not been getting a ton of sleep, and then Friday was finally like my night to um, sleep in. But I didn't go to bed early at all. I got super distracted like making 3D prints because that's super fun. And I was up until like 3 or 4 a.m. again. I was just like, okay, now I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I wake up to a phone call and it's my dad asking for the Wi-Fi password. I'm like, hey dad, I just woke up. And he's like, it's four in the afternoon. I was like, oh, <laughs> so it is. The Moo Baby is almost ready. I'm not gonna say I'm right there at the ending, but I'm about like 85% finished. Wish I had more to say, but I'm very focused on getting these stupid lines done. That's that for mixing with the darker color. Now I gotta do the, the lighter color. And this makes um, 11, I think, so I'm, I'm just about halfway there. I started this as a summer project about two years ago, <laughs> thinking it would be uh, a summer only, but it was not. So, oh, throw it over the garbage. That's working. Okay, I'm gonna do white again. It's, uh, I'd say it's just about done. I just have to do a little more, a bit more patchwork with white, and that'll be, that'll be it. I, I smudged the nose. Oh, I can cover it. What am I doing again? Uh, oh yeah, skin color. Okay, I think that's, that's almost done. I'm just gonna touch up the nose a little bit. Yeah, I think that's done. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the mask done. That's great. I'm happy with how this turned out. It looks a little rough, as you can see on the, on the camera. Other than that though, the paint job looks great. And from farther away, it looks great. It actually, sta it actually stays on my head without any, like, straps or anything. That is the Romani's mask out of the way. And now we're moving on to the Zora's mask. I got that wrong last time. I have something funny set up to <laughs> look at that camera. I know I, it's kind of a running joke at this point that I don't actually keep watching it, even though I keep saying I want to. But I have a little thing on it now that'll help me see it. Yeah, <laughs> I have that mounted on top of my camera so that I can look at it, because it's dark over there. Okay, so Zora mask. I'm gonna just be using thin foam. It'll just be like this thin stuff. The last thing I want to do is like try and pull too far back as to making the big and then make this super tiny. I also don't want to get really big with the rest of my masks going forward. Like the other two were super big. I want to get smaller again. I don't expect this mask to take me a ton of time, especially compared to the Romani's mask, which took me like six hours to construct. Maybe I'm getting cocky, but that's that's just how I feel about this. I can wear it for the rest of the stream. I'm actually losing my, my depth of perception. It's actually getting harder to cut things if I can only see one with one eye. So I'm gonna take this off now. I love this foam way more than I love the thick stuff just because it's so much easier to cut through and my hand is not immediately telling me to stop. Oh man, I'm getting bad at this. I'm not getting bad at this. It's just that my technique is kind of rusty when it comes to scaling things up. Am I missing something? 
How does this go together? Oh, okay, never mind. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. My prop talent is just called trying and hoping it works. And then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I try again until it works. Because I do not have any knowledge about how this stuff works. It's just like, I'm going to cut some pieces and glue them together. And it works sometimes. What will I do after all the masks are finished? I'll probably like breathe a sigh of relief and go to bed. Now we play the patience game where I fight with hot glue for about 40 minutes. Just at about an hour and 15 minutes and I've got two halves of the mask so far. Okay, how do I fit these two pieces together now? Oh yeah, like this. I think this is a good size though. It's, kind of, it's actually working out pretty well. That's pretty good, honestly. I mean, I could smooth out smooth out a couple pieces. But you really did break my stream for real. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the nose before I forget. Almost done, kind of. I think the shape is just about finished, actually. I had to shrink the sides a bit, because like the fins go super far to the side on the in-game model, so I think it's just about ready for a final pass with Kulk and Dremel if I actually Dremel. I don't, I might not even Dremel it. What I'm probably gonna do is go with the, um, the N64 styled eyes. I don't like 3DS Zora Link's face. I think he looked way more serious on the N64, but in the 3DS version, he looks kind of, he looks kind of like dopey. Like, hmm, this is nice. Ow, burn, ow, burning, ow. There we go. Okay, I think that's about it. Now I'm just gonna do one final pass with Cult to fill in some gaps, and that'll be that for the stream. Oh, my leg is definitely asleep. Time to sit on it, that'll make it better, I think. Oh! At some point, this glove is gonna be just like one solid brick of Cult. Trying to smooth it out as best I can without like wrecking it. All right, it's looking good. That's the, I think that's the mask done. At least the shape of it done for now. Okay, that's it for tonight, I think. I'm, I'm debating whether I should explain what the mask does and all that, just so I have the audio of it for the video, or if I should wait until I'm painting to do that. I'm gonna wait until I'm painting to do that. And then I completely forgot to do it in both streams, so now we're doing it in post. Here we go, speed round. You got your horse now. Now you can jump the fence and get to Great Bay. Once you get to the Great Bay, you're gonna see something out in the water, floating by the shop, surrounded by birds. Swim out there, it's Mikau, or Makaa, or Makaa, or however you pronounce it. It's McDonald. He's out there drowning in the water, despite being able to breathe in water. You push him all the way back to shore, which is really far if you're on the third day. He gets to shore, he walks exactly five steps and completely collapses. You play the song of healing and it plays a big old cutscene. He floats around in a void for a bit and then he meets his wife or girlfriend or whatever. She grabs his hand and they walk towards the band, even though the rest of the band is alive and he's the only one who died. From there, you get the Zora mask and then he comes back as a ghost. He's like, hey, little kid, you solve all my problems, please. He builds him a grave with his guitar, which is very nice and kind of him. Good job, Link. You're very nice. You put on the Zora mask, your eyes crack open, put on the mask and oh no, your shirt's gone. Whoops. Zora Link is very cool. You dive into the water, you can go swimming real fast, but if you're on the 3DS version, it costs magic, unless you mod that out, which is what I did. You can swim fast, you can dolphin jump, you can slap things, you can electrify enemies. You also have your arm fins, which you can shoot out like boomerangs, which is kind of weird, but cool. You can hit the ground and bounce off stuff, you can bonk your face a hundred times and give Link a definite concussion, and you can make your way from there to the Pirate's Fortress. You also get to play a sick guitar, which is made of fishbone, which is really cool looking, and you can rock out. <laughs> Anyways, that's the mask. Speed round over. Back to you, Past Ryland. End stream, please. End. No, end. End. Bye bye. We're painting the Zora's mask, and this time, I didn't forget to get a jar of water. Okay, I need to pull up the colors so I actually know what I'm working with. The whole thing isn't actually white, it's a very, very light, light shade of blue. Little beautiful blue ring, I can see you. I can see you. I may have overdone it with how blue this is. You know what, we'll see. Blue human, it is blue. Might have been too blue, actually, compared to how white the thing actually looks in game. But you know what, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little risky, but I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna lightly trim the bottom with blue. Yeah, there we go. Little tiny blue rim around the bottom. Oh, the color's not been picked up at all. There you can kind of see. The bottom side of the nose, there's also a bit of a rim. Ooh, last time, I was asked what I thought the saddest Zelda game was. And I thought, I actually thought it over this week, and I, I think I have a good answer. By default, a lot of people would think it's Majora's Mask, which I agree, I think it has the saddest consequences if you fail, because you actually can fail and have to try again. But I think the saddest story of a Zelda game is actually Ocarina of Time. When you actually look at it, this is a story of like a 10-year-old kid who has his entire life ripped away from him. He has to go be a hero because that's his destiny or whatever. But then to top it all off, after everything he goes through, all of it gets undone and nobody knows what he's done. Zelda sing sends Link back in time to before he ever first drew the Master Sword and became an adult. So he loses all of that. They go and get Ganondorf thrown in jail or whatever, or killed or executed, or whatever the heck happens to him, which saves the kingdom, of course, but like, to make that worse, the only person who knows of what he did would be his fairy, would be Navi. And she flies off at the end of the game. She leaves him. Like, right as they right as they get back to their original time, she flies out the window, which actually leads into Majora's Mask. It says that that Link is looking for Navi in that. Like, the only, he's looking for the only person who knew what he did. That's kind of sad. I don't think he ever finds her. Because uh, in Twilight Princess, the, uh, the hero Shade, that is confirmed to be Ocarina of Time Link. He went and continued training with a sword, and then he died, and nobody knew he was a hero. So he passed on what he knew to Twilight Princess Link in an effort to have his heroism recognized. It also confirms that 
Twilight Princess Link is actually a blood descendant of Ocarina of Time Link. He actually calls you his child, which is very cool. This is not- what, what the heck did I just do? Why is there a skin in my paint water? Okay, I can do eyes. I have to make them symmetrical, which will be tricky, but I think I can do it. I feel like they're too narrow, I gotta bring out the bottom a little more. Does this look symmetrical? I feel like I'm doing a good job, but I can't really tell. I feel like something's off about it, but maybe it's just me going crazy. I think that- oh, I'm going lopsided on this mouth. I totally am. Whoopsies. Amber alert! Awesome. I guess not awesome. <laughs> Not bad progress for an hour and a half. I feel like the whole mouth is slanted still. It is. Okay, it totally is. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. There we go. Okay, it was just a tiny little detail there. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do next is work on the um, ear, ear patterns. Ear patterns. Just about two hours now. I've gotta finish the coloring of the eyes because most of it's kind of faint. I've been going for two and a half hours, so that's fun. Not bad progress for two and a half hours. Is that a hair? That is a hair. Get out of my mask, Mr. Hair. I'm gonna move on to a new color now. Or er, new color. I mean, I'm gonna do a darker shade of blue. I got blue on my band-aid. It's working. There we go. Black eyeball. 10.30. Three hours. Not bad for three hours of work. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of white, and I think that'll be it. That's... That's looking, that's looking pretty good. That's working. I'm just gonna dry brush the bottoms of the eyes. It's kinda, I'm kinda making like a hybrid of the two, almost. The two mask designs. There. I think that's... That's it. Really. There's that. Alright! I like how this looks. About six hours of work altogether, in both building and painting. It's sort of a hybrid between the N64 and 3DS version. I like how this one turned out. And with that, that's 12 masks out of 24 out of the way. We're halfway there, and it only took me about two years. <laughs> now that we have this one out of the way, we can get our way into the Pirate's Fortress and get ourselves the Stone Mask. Hello! Here we are. Can't believe it. I'm excited. Now, I have some very unfortunate news. This stream is gonna be very messy. This is going to be our Stone Mask. I'm only realizing how giant this is now. I actually pulled back the, the camera up just just so you could actually see a little more. How does this work? How do knives work? I don't know anymore. Okay, like that. This is an adventure. I'm learning about all about knives. Okay, enough stalling now. It's time to start cutting. Cutting the foam. Cutting the foam. How do I possibly start with this shape? Oh, even, even without even cutting it, it's hard to see it's flaking off. Okay, that did cut smoothly, but it just takes some force, so I gotta be very careful. You can't see me at all. Once more, we chop again. I have never worked with styrofoam before, so this is gonna be iffy. Gotta figure out the best way to hold this. I'm holding it sturdy without holding it directly next to the blade to chop into my hand when I'm finished going through, because that's no good. Mm. Mm. That's a good sound. And I got smart, because now I can actually quickly switch this on and off. Oops, that's the wrong button. I'm just kind of starting with the general broad shapes so far. I'm being careful as far as I can tell. But if I cut my wrist and bleed out on stream, it'll be cool. I'm having fun with this so far, despite how messy it's getting. I don't know why I'm trying to keep myself clean while I'm cutting styrofoam. It's just kind of like a losing battle. This is very safe and not dangerous at all. Ah. I gotta figure out like what size I actually want to make this thing. Because this is this right now is way too big. Very nice screamy squeals. This should be good. Oh. I feel pathetic like grunting the way I am with cutting styrofoam. But honestly, this is very tough. Oops. Come on. Yeah! Ah! I don't know why I did that, sorry. Okay, that's kind of the shape I have here. Oh yeah, we're out of, we're out of Mario music, hang on. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, oh well. I'm really trying to figure out like the best framing for this so it's not just like a, a big rock with my head poking over the top, but there really is no other way to do this. Stop spamming, please, please don't. Don't spam poop in my chat, please. No, no. I'm getting poop spammed. I thought this only happened in the big leagues. This is the little leagues, like baseball and foam cutting. Yeah. There we go. I am very safe at all times. Very safe, 100%. Never ever in danger. Okay, so, stone mask. 3DS version, specifically. Once you get the Zora's Mask, which is the last mask I made, you can head into the Pirate's Fortress, and Tattle will give you a little ring. It's like, hey, do you, do you feel something? I think I think I feel something here. Take out the Lens of Truth, you see this little guard guy sitting on the ground. His name is Shiro. I don't know why I know his name is Shiro, but his name is Shiro. He's like, help, I, you can see me? Okay, I need you to bring me a potion. And so you bring him, I think it's a blue potion, maybe it's just a red potion, I don't know. Some kind of potion. He drinks it, he's like, all right, I'm gonna get out of here, but first, thanks for that, buddy. Here, take my mask. And his mask is the stone mask, which lets you be invisible to virtually every enemy. Basically, every enemy will leave you alone, except for a few specifics, like um, the pirates, who can, who some of them can still see you if you try to get into, like, secret areas. Some mini bosses can also see you. I feel like this is still too thick. Nice. 
sounds. Very nice sounds. Sorry. I'm cutting way too confidently for someone who doesn't really know what they're doing. I'm glad that I learned beforehand that Plastidive eats through styrofoam, because I wouldn't- I didn't know that until I accidentally melted some styrofoam. So if I didn't know that and then sprayed this whole thing, the whole thing would be gone. So, I'm glad I haven't done that yet. I'm very happy, I promise. Just Riz. Just Rizlin. I'm sorry for saying that out loud. I don't need Riz. I need masks. That was dangerously close to my wrist. Dang it! <laughs> Yummy! I can't wait to just like miss this one and just right in, just right in, straight in, easy. Whatever. Back to work we go. <sighs> Check snap right now. Did you send me a good fart? It better be a good fart, Ryan. It better be a good fart. That was not a real butthole certified. Reverse knife trick. I'm mostly done with the front, I think. I think I've got like generally the shape of how it looks at the front. I'm also trying to refine the sides so it kind of lines up with its model at the at the front like this. Although it's pretty close like it is now. I've definitely gotten more confident slicing with this thing since I started. Just the way I'm starting and the way I'm finishing. That's working. That's working as a shape. No! Get a spoon, he says. No, I think this is working really well. Streaming just over four hours. I'm almost done. I think that's just about finished. Okay, this is the this is the mask shape. There's so much foam here. I'm gonna fall down and die. These pants are ruined, I think. Okay. I think it's time to end stream. Oh, okay. You guys have a great night. Okay, there we go. There, okay. Now we can start. <laughs> My goodness, that was a technical mess. It's no good, I'm already like in a lesser mood because the technically broken the stream just was. But that's okay. Here we go for real this time. I'll just use a big brush and start gradually applying it everywhere. Well, that's gonna need a good, pretty good thick coats of paint for this. Starting it off with a nice silver base coat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of coats on this thing to hide the styrofoam like imperfections. Cause I, w I thought they'd look more like a rough rock texture, but they really just look like styrofoam cutting through. I'm gonna permanently keep the camera zoomed back from now on. I think it actually works better for showing off what I'm doing. And I also fixed the colors, so you actually can, you can see what's what without it just being super bright or super dark. I just realized, um, it is a kind of a miracle that I somehow did not cut myself throughout the entirety of carving this. Cause I was making some very dumb <laughs> motions with the knife. I got silver fingers. I'm beautiful. I'm getting there. Once I get this first like initial coat of silver paint on, I'm gonna do a uh, like a couple little detail layers and I'm gonna get the eyes back in. My hands are gonna be like extra, extra painted today just cause I have to grab it everywhere. It's working so far. The silver paint is actually doing a really good job of actually reflecting all the, all the right ways. I really shouldn't have done this cause now my hand is all sticky. Oh well, I'll just go full silver hand, why not? We do a bit of silly sometimes. I'm a robot. Now I'm not really sure why I did this, but I did it. There were still a bit of like rough styrofoam pieces attached to this thing. Just like flakes and stuff. I was tempted to like take a lighter and quickly like go under it to try and burn them away. But I feel like there was a pretty non-zero chance that I would have actually set this on fire and burnt a big hole into it. Which is no good. Mario movie is out this Wednesday. You're totally right. I'll be at work so I can't watch it. I wonder how it's gonna go. Cause I actually had a theory that it's gonna kind of go, like people are gonna like it. Cause uh, it's gonna have a bunch of like Easter eggs and stuff that call back to the Mario series. And then people are gonna love that. But then the story itself I feel is gonna be probably pretty mediocre. And so you're gonna have one group of people who are like, this movie is the grandest, best thing ever. And then you're gonna have a bunch of people who are like, um, actually the movie's terrible, but you're just like it cause you're blinded by nostalgia. And then they're gonna have a big old like culture war. They're gonna kill each other for real. They're gonna start breaking necks. R slash true Mario cinema will be created. There'll be one movie on it. <laughs> It'll be the original Mario Brothers movie from like the 90s. What is Rotten Tomatoes actually liked though? I'm a messy little lad. Yummy. I did learn a lot making that uh, my, my top 10 Zelda video from two, was it two years ago now? It would have been, I guess, come to think of it. That's crazy. But I learned a lot about editing, not editing, but I mean, I learned a decent amount about editing, but also writing and shooting on my own and lighting and such. And like actually organizing my thoughts into a script. It was interesting. It wasn't very good. Like I like the video, it's entertaining, but it's not a very good like explanation as to why I like each game and why I place it where I place it. Boom. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Is my nose dripping? It is. I mix a bit of silver and a bit of black to create like a darker color I can use for something like the lips. It's kind of working. I'm gonna do a lighter gray now and kind of highlight some areas, probably across the middle here. I'm loving how it's looking. The highlight actually did work. It's kind of hard to see it through like the actual shine of the lights that it's giving it, but like the highlight in the middle and then the dark on the right is actually working really well. I just need to get this eye fixed. Okay, that's looking pretty good from the front. 
I might do a couple more details for wrinkles and stuff. I'm glad to find out that none of my paint is eating through my mask, because I wasn't sure if it would or not. I'm still debating whether or not I should try and do ASMR for the All Nights mask. I think it'd be funny, but I also know I wouldn't be able to do it the whole time. That's pretty, pretty done. Wonderful! I suppose like, I could add more, like, darker, darker colored wrinkles. I'm kind of just, like, rough brushing everywhere to give it another, like, weird passive darker. Okay, just coming up with a two hour mark. And this is, this is almost done. Yeah! There we go. That's, that's all the color I want. I might, I'm gonna quickly refine the bottoms of the eyes. Yeah, I'd say that is about finished. I'm gonna kiss it. Paint? That works. That's the mask done. That's the stone mask painted in just over two hours. I am very glad to have gone with styrofoam instead of like EVA foam because that would have been way harder to actually sculpt into this bulky shape. I think like the actual styrofoam cracks and stuff kind of make it just look like a, an aged rock. The next mask after this one will be the circus leader's mask or the troop leader's mask or whichever it is. I'm gonna call it troop leader mask. And that one would be fun. We're ready to stream. Hello friends. It's me, I, I here. For real, me here, me real. Me have gamer shirt. You know I'm gamer now, that's how you know. I don't know why this exists. It's kind of gross looking. I have this little tiny paper one right now. He doesn't have his mustache on. I think this is his mustache. I just never actually managed to get it like attached. I'm going to use one piece of thick foam here. It has like the head base. And then I'm gonna use lighter foam for the brows, the mustache, and maybe the ears as well. We'll see. This does not look like the face at all, but it will when I'm finished. This is an ugly mask. I'm not entirely sure why this was a, a design they decided to go with in the game. My safety is not important. What's important is getting a mask done. Now we'll cut out another one. I guess I'm gonna do the face, nose, ears, and mustache, all as separate pieces. This stuff is great, but it's very hard to manipulate. Can't guess like this stuff. Like any artist, I'll compare my work to other people and then get discouraged when it's not the same. But I get my work done quickly. I know that like six hour streams does not seem like quickly, but when like professionals who do this, they take like days to make even the shape before they get close to like painting or coloring. So making something, even if it's not perfect, to the level of quality I think I can, in the time I can, I think that's that's what I'm most impressed with. That's how I cope with not making as good of things as I've seen other people make before. Yeah! That very easily could have broken something. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna hot glue my cool necklace. Now my necklace isn't cool. Now it's hot, like the glue. Ow, I'm burning my finger. It's okay, it's worth it for the stream. Ow, play off the pain. Just walk it off. I'm not walking it off. I'm saying, staying sitting. Just sit it off. I don't have a brown wig for this. The other mask that had hair so far was the Great Fairies mask, and I had a full pink wig for that. I might just, like, paint some fabric. We'll see. But maybe I'll cut strips of fabric. I have a couple brown t-shirts. I could just cut strips of fabric out of that and lay those on, like, thicker mustache hair. That could work. We'll see. You know, me and Masochist Ryland just love hurting myself. Actually, with how much I burn myself, I would not be surprised if people thought I was a masochist. I'm not a masochist, I'm just incompetent when it comes to using tools. Get off my hand! Stop! Get off! Stop it! Please! Ow! This mask is the troop leader's mask. It does virtually nothing. Actually, that's not true. In the 3DS version, it, it gives you another side quest. It gets you another bottle. The cow mask I made a little while ago, you know how there's the segment where you get chased from behind, you have to keep the guys off your, your cart. If you wear this during that, they, they won't attack. But at the same time, you need to first do that segment to get this mask, so you don't really need to... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's crying, if you put the mask on, he just dribbles tears the whole time, he's very sad. There, the head shape is assembled. This is what I have as a reference for what the nose is supposed to be shaped like, so... Probably not gonna work. Or the, the... Oh, oh! Work my chair. Huh, okay. I should be able to glue this all back in, in place. There. Wow. Well, back to making a nose. This might not work as a nose. We're gonna find out though. Ow. Ow. Okay, that hurts for real. All the rest of my pain was fake. It's kind of working to make it round. Sort of. It kind of looks polygonal around, but like, it's also getting round. Apparently, it's airtight. Oh ho! Ha ha ha! Yippee! Ah! How do I stick that to my nose better? Hot glue! I don't know how I'm gonna get this to fit with all the gaps. That's working. All the gaps are filled in now, at least. I may have to shrink his ears down a little bit. These are really big. That should be good. It was not. It still hurts. I really did just hot glue a thing to my lip, didn't I? Like, for real. But now it actually does move with my lip as I talk, which is funny. Probably all glued where I need it to be glued. Oh! Ow, my eye! I'm gonna take this off now. It's starting to get itchy. Oh. Okay, never mind. I guess it's, it's staying on for now. Ryan sent me another chat almost an hour ago. Is it good? There's gonna be a good bit of hair that comes with this when I take it off. Making significant progress on the mask. Gotta do the eyebrows and mustache and hair next, but getting the ears and nose finished, because I think those are gonna be the trickiest parts. I feel like I actually might cry if I, <laughs> if I tear this off. This is gonna hurt. This is probably safe. It's working. Ow, it really hurts. It's on there really good when it sneeze. 
Excuse me. I really hope that the mustache like wiggled as it did that. I think it did. There we go. Wow, that really was like all of my mustache in the middle. Yeah, you can actually see a good old gap. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So to get this mask, now that you have the Romani's mask and all three transformation masks, you can go to the milk bar at night to do a side quest. Over on the bench, there is one of the Gorman brothers. He is the troop leader of the band and basically all of the performers that are coming to the carnival. Amidst all the chaos, the mayor and his wife aren't letting him perform. He's down and out, he's out in the bar, he's having a drink, just kind of trying to drink his problems away. Anyways, Toto, the band manager, he needs your help doing a sound test. To help him with the sound test, you'll need to transform into each of your forms and play a couple notes on the stage. Once you play each of the notes as each form, it'll finish up and play a final chord, and then Gorman will realize that it's one of the songs that they actually played first. It's like one of their first debut songs. And he's like, oh, it reminds me of my past. And so he apologizes, he's like, I'm so sorry for being mean. Here, take my mask. And he gives you a, his face, just a carbon copy of his crying face. In the 3DS version, it gets one more side quest used for it, and that gets you another bottle. To engage the side quest, you have to first go and find the leader Gorman in the hotel room after finding him drunk in the bar. He'll be down and out on the bed, he's kinda hungover, so he's like, Oh, help me, go talk to my brothers, they know what to do. And so you go talk to them with a mask, while well, wearing the mask, and they're like, Oh, we know what to do, we'll get you this. And they give you a bottle of mystery melt, which is gross. And you have to carry that, you can't warp, you can't roll, you can't, you have to just walk, and you have to go all the way back to Gorman within a time limit, and you give him the bottle, and he's like, thanks kid, you can have the bottle, I don't want it. And that's the quest. The mustache is almost complete, but right now it has a big old gap in the bottom. It actually, I don't know if it's actually even, but it's even enough. Now it is on to eyebrows and then hair. Elegant little man. <laughs> yes, I'd like the mystery belt, please. Just coming up on about five hours. Not bad for, for that. After this it'll just be eyebrows and then culk, and then I'll call it finished. Silver lining. It may suck that I had to shave up a mustache or like wax it a little bit with the, the hot glue and all that, but if I didn't know that I would have also glued stuff onto my eyebrows as well, which means I would have had to either shave them off or rip them off, which would have been bad too. That's clean enough. There. That looks about done. This is the shape of the mask. Only five hours of work. Five hours, ten minutes. It's gonna look so good when he's painted, but the shape looks awesome for now. It's a good size too. Other masks have been, have been way too big. That's it. That's it for now. That's it for stream, I think. Oh, <laughs> ah, we're back. It's been a week since I streamed last and it feels like it's been way longer. I don't know why. I will not be able to uh, stream next weekend. So I'll up I'll get the video ready and upload it, but then there will not be any, uh, n no stream after the video uploads. I got a brown shirt. This is gonna be his hair. I didn't have a wig. My birthday is in 14 days. You are so right. I'm gonna be 22. Isn't that crazy? If you told 10 year old me that he was gonna be 22 someday, he would not have, he would not have believed you. <laughs> he was a little dumb. He was a lot dumb. He st still is a lot dumb. Making progress with the paint. Almost got a, a solid layer across everything on the face. The stone mask video I did, I feel like it did really good algor al uh, algorithmically. Not again, not that it's all about the numbers, but just like, it seems to have gotten like way more views and way more engagement from people who n have never heard from before, which feels awesome. I want to make sure that the layout is best to show what I'm building. So if people are just curious about the mask and have no interest in what I'm saying or what I'm doing, then they can actually see what's happening. Now, I want them to appreciate and enjoy myself as well, but if their goal is to see how the mask is made, then they can they can watch that. I did get a comment like that, that someone was happy that my whole process is streamed so they could they could see. That's cool, because I, I never really consider myself a teacher, but if people can watch what I do and say they learn something from it, that's awesome. This gut item is not a tutorial series, obviously, but if people are learning from it, that's awesome, because I feel like I'm learning a lot from making these, and if other people can learn a lot too, that's awesome. That feels great. If I do something wrong and someone copies me and says that I taught them to do it wrong, that's their fault. He's got a weird, like, weird ear lump. That's okay. It's funny. It'll be a funny ear lump. Phone, I am trying to paint. Can you stop? I don't know why I put that in there. I didn't need to do that yet. Yum. Looks like eggnog, actually, and that's gross. Oh, there's a gap there I should probably look at. Sir, you can't have gaps in your forehead. That's not safe. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to put the model back. Otherwise, I just have like a little screen of Cadence of Hyrule. That's what's yeah. supposed to be there. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second while I wash my brush off again into my wonderful eggnog mix. Oh, it doesn't look like eggnog so much there. There we go. Now it's eggnog. Okay, let's do these ears already. They have a weird design on their ears. It almost looks like a bat wing or something. It looks like he's sleeping, which is funny. Having a little nap. Okay, this is the dark color we want. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, okay, how big are these? These are really big eyeballs. With the white, he looks like an old man. That actually already almost works. Just like the eye size. I just have to do like a th very thin black line. Yeah, there we go. That works. Okay, yeah, let's get the white in there. White in, the white in his eyeballs. Yeah, there we go, now, now he's sad. Yeah, he's really sad. There, now he's less old. That is 
about all I can do for hair color. Now we're gonna actually work on hot gluing on the t-shirt. These are the sleeves from my, my old Skull Kid costume, actually, like from many years ago. Well, many being like three. These are like the remnants, so I can actually like cut these off and make that into, uh, into the hair. Let's cut some t-shirt. Okay, so I wanna go outside inwards. That works for hair, actually. That works really good. T-shirts are the best two hours, 15 minutes. This is not bad progress for that amount of time. That's like the whole face basically done. It's just hair now, and that should be easy enough. <laughs> That's great. I don't think I really need to do the back side of the mustache, or like the gap here. I don't think it's really worth it. I, I was tempted to just paint it brown, but I feel like for being hair, it just, it wouldn't have looked good. I like making props. I'm making them for, I guess since about 2018, I think? 2019 is when I made my Skull Kid costume. And then 2018 is when I would have made like my very first prop, which was a, a Hylian shield made out of cardboard. It didn't look very good. Majora's Mask was the second one, and I think it was a pretty pretty decent improvement. Found the eyebrows didn't work so well for the rough hair, as much as the, the mustache did at least. And that's fine. Like, that's mustache and, and left eyebrow. I think that looks really good actually, especially from farther away. That doesn't look like real hair, but it looks like cartoon hair, the layering. I think that looks, that looks good. I'm happy with that. It's been super tedious doing this. Oh no, I have a full, I forgot, I had a whole other tiny t-shirt. That's awesome, I thought I was running out. I've been doing this for almost four hours here, yeah, yeah. I've been live over four hours, it looks like. It's been very tedious cutting all these like strips of hair, or fabric, but it's, I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely well worth it. He's got a bride veil. <laughs> almost midnight, all right. It looks kind of disheveled, I like that. Finishing up with the hair on the, on the top here, and that'll be, that'll be a done mask. Looking pretty hairy to me. All right, that is hair across his whole face. That's finished. I love how it turned out. This looks great. The hair turned out way better than I could have expected. And the eyes, I think this is definitely one of my best yet. It's not too big, it's not too small. This is just the right size for the wall. The next one we're doing is the All Nights Mask. That one's gonna be weird and meshy. <laughs> looks like this, except it's not orange. Instead of being orange, all of like the mesh is cut out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do that. It's gonna be very chaotic and very difficult, but we're gonna try it. I don't know what the sound, like how good the sound is or not. So if you have any, any notes on the audio, please let me know. I don't like talking like this very often. I hate. It's gonna happen every time, I guarantee you. I should do, I should do an ASMR thing. What's an ASMR thing they do? They go. This is a good stream I've made. I don't know why people, why people don't want to be here. This is really good. This is, this is my life. This is what I do. Right, sorry, I gotta do the ASMR thing where I keep it all in the microphone here. I need to make the music quieter and I need the farts to just blast. <laughs> that like jump scared me. <laughs> it's gonna be a really good stream, I think. Cause I stream during like the two, my two days. <laughs> my two days off of work. It's so loud, it's so loud. I can probably make like this entire shape out of a single sheet of, of foam. I should be able to. There we go. <laughs> Great. What's another smart thing I should do? Should I gurgle water? <laughs> I've been streaming for like almost 30 minutes here and I've made exactly this amount of progress. Okay, that looks like it'll work. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna try at least. How is everyone? <clears throat> okay, never mind. I hate using this knife. I know this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I hate this way. I always cut off too much. I'm not putting enough, putting enough pressure until I'm putting too much. Okay, that's the end of the song. I'm <laughs> I'm done with this bit. I'm, done, I'm undoing all of it. Okay, we're back to back to normal. ASMR is over. I wonder how many people joined and then instantly left because they saw that it was an ASMR stream. Probably like more than zero. That's working for how meshy this thing is supposed to be. It, yeah, that's kind of working. Okay, now I'm gonna trace this thing backwards. It's kind of weird that the mask actually like naturally fits on Link's face perfectly. So I'm gonna make a super headcanon awesome. I think it'd be cool if uh, as like a stroke of irony, the mask in like an unactivated state is just like a regular sleeping mask. And then as you put it on, it'll like kind of unwrap and net itself over your face. I think that would be super cool as a, as like a thing. So to get this mask, first you need to get the biggest wallet you can. So the first thing you gotta do is deposit a thousand rupees into the bank to get the bigger wallet. Then you have to go and beat the ocean spider house before the second day, I think it is, or maybe third. And that'll get you the giant's wallet, which lets you hold 500 rupees, which is how much this costs. You also have to make sure that sack on the thief doesn't steal the bomb bag from the old lady on the night of the first day. And you also have to make sure that the, your sword or bottles don't get stolen either. If you have all of that taken care of, 
the All Knights Mask will be available for purchase at the Curiosity Shop on the final day for 500 rupees. This mask has exactly one use, and that is to stay awake during Andrew's mother's stories, which give you a heart piece, and the, the stories themselves just tell you a little bit more about the world you're in right now and its history. The origins of the mask are actually pretty unclear, but a Sheikah stone will tell you that it was actually initially used for torture, as will the item description. This is a good start. This is a really good start. It's only been about an hour and a half. Not even. This is gonna be very ornate to cut out because all the orange places are places I have to cut out. This might actually work. Nice. They're, they're very rough up close. You can kind of see they, they need a lot of refinement. From farther away though, yeah, it does look, it looks presentable for sure. Okay, I've got two of the same piece, or almost. I need to cut like a quick curve into this thing. This does not look like the mask I'm making. It looks like a giant, like, claw demon. It's a little flimsy, so it's kind of like being pulled down by its own weight, but the glue should hold. Burning my fingers for the sake of progress. Hooray! Almost done. I just have to cut out all these shapes, glue on the eyes, and then dremel it a little bit to smooth it out a bit. Uh, okay. That's... That's all cut out. Okay. This is the shape. Okay. Okay! That works for, for real good. I love how it looks, and I'm gonna call it a stream. I'm back, and we're gonna paint today, and it's gonna be very fast. This is gonna be like one flat color plus the eyes. I might do a little bit of like slight cutting here just to like make the eyes look a little more round. Oh, that works wonders. That already looks great. That's a good shade of black. I can get the rest of it looking like this. We'll be golden, or we'll be black, I guess. You're not gonna believe it. I just realized I forgot to get a jar of water again. It's just a simple black layer and some eyes. I wonder if we'll be able to get like a, a, a reference of what this board used to look like before I made all the masks. It'd be cool to see how much I've actually done to it. And to gra kind of gradually compare my setup. I know it hasn't changed much in the last few streams, but compare it to like my Goron mask stream, it's definitely made some progress in how it looks. Everything's very purpley now. I like how it looks so far. It's gonna need a bit more of like little tiny precise brushes to get the, the white parts out. So far it's working. It's just getting very messy. I'm not up for a guest appearance. You stay out of here. What did I just tell you? I'm not being on, I'm just saying hi. <laughs> Fair enough. Looks good. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank you, you too. <laughs> And banned. Now all my epic viewers are gonna think I still live with mom and dad. Even though I don't. I just live in their house. But it's different. I wanna make sure there's no, no little white cracks peeking through here. The whole game model is black with like some blue highlights applied to it to let it stand out a bit, which I might try and do. Or maybe I'll, I'll see what I can do to make it look like it's reflecting blue rather than just slightly blue. Oh man, I sure wish I had a billion viewers. I sure have earned it. All I do is sit quietly and paint. And that's okay. That's what the stream is supposed to be. I cannot stand repetitiveness, which is funny because I've been doing the same thing for like several months. Actually, several years at this point. I've been making masks and it all generally goes the same. Although, I mean, I, I think I've, I may have talked about this before, but I've I've been streaming, except for like this last little break I had to take for a work event. Uh, I've been streaming every weekend since like the end of January. <laughs> I've had a video up every two weeks, which feels awesome. It feels good to be able to dedicate my time to that instead of helping kids, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. I wonder if at some point, maybe at the end of the series, I should make a mask tier list. Like I said, I have to figure out what like uh, what my criteria is for best and worst. I suppose it'd probably be like value, uh, design, and effort to get. I've already been streaming for an hour, just about live for 55 minutes. That's uh, that's that's showing up okay. I'm glad this thing is flexible because if if it were like rigid or harder to work around, I would have been probably a little more a little more of a nightmare to try and paint. I'm getting there with the with the paint. It's working. It's just taking a bit to get in, into all the cracks. Oh, this mask is creepy, Judah. It's a torture device in universe. It prevents the user from falling asleep, and so it induces like fatal insomnia where they hallucinate and go insane and then die because their brain just stops functioning, which is awesome. That is such a cool metal concept for a Zelda item. They gotta bring back more stuff like that. Like I, they they gotta bring stuff like that into Tears of the Kingdom. Give us more torture devices, not just for Koroks. It's a little big. The ears are really hard to work with. I'd say that is about as painted as it needs to be for now. Terrifying. Hero Brian mask. Some people interpret it as uh, these are actually just like the user's eyes being pried apart with like hooks, which is gross. The mask is almost done. I just have to get the eyes painted and then do some dry brushing of blue after I get all these little tiny gaps filled in. My neighbors, like they're fine, but they've been working on building a garage. But man, they have like a saw set up right outside my window. So I'm waking up at noon, to be fair, to buzz saws, but whatever, I'll live. Okay, that's, that's about as black as it's gonna get. I think I've got pretty much all the gaps. How long have I been streaming? An hour and a half? Nice, 135. Oh, I was wondering about this, because I've, I've, uh, I've watched, I watch a lot of horror game let's plays and stuff online. I wonder if it's possible to make like a good horror game without relying on everything being dark. Too many horror games just take place in pitch blackness with like a pretty terrible flashlight to guide you around just so something can be like scarier. But like, I wonder if it's possible to, to like do one without that. And I don't mean, I don't mean like, oh, it's like 
it's still virtually dark, but it's just not technically at night or something. But like if they could actually make something in broad daylight or something that's still scary. There, that works, that works for size, I think. I can just, I can just eyeball it. Ha, <laughs> eyeball, it's an eyeball. I may actually even be able to use just like some of my paint water here to get the, uh, the gradient I'm hoping for. I'm surprised painting something all black took me two hours. I guess because I was just getting precise. That worked. Yeah, there we go. They have like a good gradient to them. And then I'm going to do a quick line of black around the sides and then see if I can blend it in a little more there too. Almost there. I just have to get the the uh, the pupils done in the eyes. But other than that, I think I think the colors turned out great. I want these eyes to look like they're very tired because that's the whole point of the mask is not being able to fall asleep. That's the eyes done. That's the mask basically done. I'm going to do a little bit more dry brushing with blue, but that's otherwise that's just about finished. This is definitely a little more round than the than the actual shape is, but I still think it looks really good. <laughs> Would have been great if I could go a little thinner in like some of the mesh parts, but other than that, I think it looks fine. Sweet! In my older videos, before I moved to doing live stream formats, I actually had something written for each outro, like a little tie into what mask I was doing. Like uh, in Deku, in the Deku scrub mask, it was uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some flowers to tend to, and then Great Fairy was I have some babysitting to do. Same with uh, Blast Mask and all that. Like I have some fireworks to watch. Well, I had that written for each of them, and I'm kind of sad I don't get to do that now. But yeah, I want to bring that back because that was actually a lot of fun, and I'm sad that I stopped doing that. Cool. Okay, that's the mask done. I think the shape, aside from being a little rough because of my cutting, looks really good for how intricate this thing is. The dry brush techniques looked great, the eyeball gradient looks fantastic, but I think it's definitely up there with some of my best ever made. The next one we're going to be making is the Garo mask. That one's going to need some fabric work and I'm not really looking forward to that. Hello! I'm a little behind today, so I am uh, I only am just now getting to actually making the paper craft version of this. I'm not doing the purple parts of the mask yet because that's going to be fabric work, which I can hopefully do next time instead of like in part of painting because I don't actually have the fabric I need right now. There, that's already like half the shape already done. There. Okay, this is our this is our little guy. I'm trying to figure out where to cut it exactly now. This is pretty straightforward. I could probably just go like this. There. Okay, it's this piece, it's this piece, and then it's this piece. That shouldn't be a problem to make. I'm hoping it'll turn out okay. I'm sure it'll turn out okay. I'm hoping it turns out good. I gotta get more foam because this is like my last piece. I have one more piece back there, but that's like my display piece for the videos. So I gotta buy more of this stuff soon. I mean, I feel like I've shown off my, my behind the scenes graphics sometimes. All of the graphics that I use in, in Gut Item, I made from scratch. This is the wheel graphic that I use. I just have it like moving a ton inside of my editing software. This is working really well so far, especially for like under an hour of progress. Yeah, we got a beak. So this is the Garo mask. You get this mask by racing the Gorman brothers at their own track. You race them and you win and then they give you this as a prize. These are actually the same masks they use to chase you down when you're helping Kremia transport the milk back to the bar. This mask is used to gain access to Ikana, so it's one of the few masks that are actually necessary to complete the game. When you get this mask from the Gorman brothers and then you go back over to Ikana Valley or to like the crevice that lifts up, there'll be, I think the ghost hunter there, whatever his name is, he'll be like, hee hee, you shouldn't have that. Anyways, come up here and he spawns a tree branch out of the ground and then disappears. On top of being able to get access to Icana Canyon, you can also use this mask in areas where Tattle gives you a heads up. She's like, hey, I sense something here. You put on the mask and then one of the Garo ninjas will show up. They'll be like, master, you called for me. And then they're gonna quickly realize that you are not their master because you're a little green kid. And they pull a sword out at you, then you fight them. It's pretty straightforward. You just dodge one of their things or shield it, then you jump slash them and they're dead. But they will surround you in fire, so you have to beat them to escape. Once you have them killed, they'll drop hints or lore about the area. The Garo themselves, not much is known about them. They're kind of just like a neighboring society to Ikana, but they're very interesting. They have a law they, where they, they have to die without leaving a corpse, apparently. That's just what they say every time they, they die, and then they fade away. Except for the Garo master himself, who will actually just pull out a bomb and blow himself up. E for everyone. Suicide pact. In the N64 version, the Garo mask doesn't look like the purple robe one that we have here. It actually looks just like a regular Garo soldier right here. I think they switched it out because it makes more sense for the, the ninjas themselves to think you're their master if you look like him. I wonder if I should even like worry about putting a backside to this beak. Especially if there's gonna be cloth like basically right here. Shouldn't need it, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, it's time to cut out the head plate. I, I'm gonna finish this surprisingly fast. Like I think I'd, I want to stream for a little longer than an hour. Because that's all I've actually been been here for so far. The problem is that all the rest is fabric work and paint. I don't have any fabric to work with now. I could try roughly fitting some stuff. What I might try and do is make a frame for this to go around, around the backside to kind of have the, the fabric rest. I might try that. That might be what I do. When I paint this thing, I'm probably going to try and do a bunch of different, like, goldish colors. I'm not going to just paint it flat gold, because that never looks good on anything. Especially with, like, brush. Spray paints kind of work, but I'm not going to spray paint it. Hmm. There's not a ton of light over here, I realize. I might have to take some off the wall here and instead direct it back here. There we go. Now you can now you can see the thing. It's a little dark back there. I do have, I have lights I'm supposed to turn on here. Hang on. I should probably see about getting 
new LED bulbs that are white instead of yellow. Just to not have such a gross, like, yellowish tinge to this. That works. I think that works great so far. Now I've just got to figure out how to mount the fabric brace. I don't think it'll be a good idea to try and just, like, have all the fabric hang off. It'll just be kind of flat. It'll fall off flat like that. I want to have it bunched up like it is here. But I don't want to I don't have a ton of fabric to use for that. This guy really does have a huge forehead. Which is great. Good for him. It's definitely not as bulky as I would have liked. I might just need to get more fabric. Because that, that's really big on this thing. It's, it's kind of like a- almost like it's wearing a curtain more than like a robe. It might just be worth it to get like a thicker material too, because this is like super thin t-shirt stuff. A pool noodle could give it shape. I don't have any pool noodles here, but I do actually have. I don't know if I have any left, but let me check my spray paper over here. I do have one! Ow. Here we go. Good call, Brooke. Thanks for that. Oh yeah, there we go. That, that works perfect. I don't know if I can make this entirely like a smooth loop, like a thing, because it, it, it's too uh, too creasy. What I'll do is I'll cut sections and cut them at an angle so they can they can stick together. But it's not gonna like melt if I put this on there, is it? Oh, it kind of is. Okay, maybe I can like melt fuse it. We'll see. Looks like it's melt fusing. Good, 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 good. That's what I wanted. There's the ring. Ow. It's a little little rough, but it'll hold, especially if it's covered in fabric. You won't be able to tell that it's not super round. Yeah, there we go. That works for like the thickness I'm looking for. Yeah, like that. That looks good. And then just make another one that goes back another bit. I can do that. It is a little bit thinner than I would have liked. Not that not that that's a bad thing, because um I think if I made it in its full thickness, it would have like been really drooping off the wall. So I think I'm gonna keep it at this distance. I might still culk it just to be sure. I don't think I'll dremel it. I don't think it'll need dremeling. I think this will be our mask base. That's almost perfect. I like that. Thanks for the idea. That really did save this, because I would have been like trying to bunch up a bunch of fabric for a while, but they, I wouldn't have thought to use this stuff. I caught that with my knee. That's about ready for everything else. So that's the shape of the Garo mask done. Next stream we'll be painting and doing the fabric work. Okay, anyways, that's it for stream, I think. Hello. We're painting this thing today. I've got all the fabric stuff here that I need. I'm gonna warn everyone. I'm gonna get very shiny. <laughs> it's it's so hot today. Anyways, I'm not gonna not gonna delay it at all. I have water this time. Didn't forget it because I'm not stupid. I don't have any gold spray paint or anything to make it look like it's actual gold. So what I'm probably gonna do is try and make my own gold looks. I don't really know how to make gold out of like base colors. Okay, is this gonna be like the gold color I want? This just this this actually just looks like mustard right now. This will work as our gold base but I'll do more details afterwards. This color's working great so far. This is gonna be a weird shape to try and keep painting. Although I guess I, I can kind of just like grip this, this, this like hoop and that'll let me hold it to work. I just don't want to block my face the whole time. That's no good. I know you guys are here to watch my awesome face react to cool things. Go. Good content. Good job, Ryland. Thanks. There, another coat should be good. And then start mixing more colors of gold. I do wish I could have gotten the uh, crease across the middle to have been smoother, but I mean, that's... That's whatever. Took me some time to get this this lighting set up the way I wanted, and I still have some things to adjust, but otherwise I like how this setup looks. I didn't turn on the LEDs though. That's- I, I was trying to figure out what, what I forgot. I think some of the spray actually bubbled a little bit, so it kind of looks like he has like barnacles on him. Yeah, I still got Ben. I'm hoping he can stay there until like the end of got item, or at least like Majora's Mask items. That's good as like a base, a base coat. But I want to I want to add more if I can dry brush this stuff in now It should give me the good like gold look. I'm going for kind of okay. These will be my colors for making the the gold. I Cannot believe that it's June already like did may not start a week ago. We're already halfway through the year Is this I might have even gotten like the wrong color of fabric kind of did okay This is this is probably the color I want most then I may have to just like paint this That'll work. That'll work great. It's a very interesting watching paint dry stream, of course, halfway through painting it. This did not work. Actually, maybe it will. If I, add, if I can add some white highlight, that might actually do it. Shh. <laughs> Sorry. I think the color I used for the, the actual, like, kind of ring here works now. I just have to, like, add a bit more white to the tip of it again. Okay, that, that'll work as kind of like my gold. Okay, now I'm gonna do the eyes. I wanna make them as symmetrical as I can. One eye looks bigger. There we go. Those are good eyes. I might add a little bit more highlight if I can, just around the tip of the nose. But otherwise, I think that's that's looking really good for eyes. I'm gonna say that's that's it for painting. Now I'm gonna do fabric. What I'm gonna do is first stitch these together, or not stitch, I'm gonna glue these together in one like big square that I can just drape over and glue into place. 
The the bumps I have here out of foam are working really well. It looks like it's really thick, even though it's just like four single sheets kind of plastered together at the edges. That works, that's working so far. It definitely is a little more bunched on the sides than I would have preferred, but that can't really be helped with this kind of fabric. I have made so much progress in the last two hours, I'm just trying to get like a gradient, and then I'm gonna do trim, and that'll be it. Okay, you know what? New plan. Not painting this. I mean, I have these, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna just start pulling them apart, and then just like gradually sticking this like small amount of purple onto it. You can't even see it, but it'll work. <sighs> that looks so bad. <laughs> I changed my, that's not, that's not happening at all. I'm gonna paint it. If I go light enough, it should work. Actually, this is working, this is working. Oh yeah, look at that. that, that works great. I don't know how well that's showing up, but that actually, that actually is working great. I feel gross. How gross do I look on camera? I feel like I look shiny, but I might just- No, yeah, I look shiny for sure. <laughs> purple hand. Purple guy. Five nights of three. Okay, this, this painting technique is actually working really well to get like kind of a gradient. It looks rougher on camera than it does in my eyes. That'll work as the color I'm looking for. I don't know if I can blend it with, uh, with water or anything. Maybe I can. That worked. I did dribble over myself doing that, but it did work! Do it again. Art techniques! Spit! There we go! Gradient! Okay, now I need to put rhythm on- or not rhythm, I need to put ribbon on this. Just this gold ribbon, which really does not look like the same gold as this at all. Kinda does, actually. It's close enough. All I gotta do is trim the bottom of this, that's it. It's working, it's actually working. What I wanted to do is working. There's still a lot of water left in this. Okay! That's the- that's the gold trim on the bottom of the mask. I just have to- okay, I'm just gonna do a red line across the bottom and that'll be it. That'll be- that'll be the end of the mask. Not that I'm in any place to give advice on, like, how to feel about your projects. To anybody. But I used to always find myself doubting everything I do as I'm doing it. And I've- I've kind of learned to not do that so much. Not to- not to, like, be like, oh, this is gonna be completely perfect and awesome, but I've just, like, I've trained my, myself kind of to push those, like, thoughts of, like, this is bad out of my head, because I know it's not finished, and I know that it, it's going to improve before I finish it, which has helped- I think helped me tremendously with these masks. Even, like, when I was doing the- the Deku and Great Fairy ones, and, like, the ones before I started live streaming them, I would always kind of get halfway through, be like, I'm- I should give up on this series, I should not continue this, I have no idea what I'm doing. But then it ends up looking fine. Like, even if it doesn't look perfect, it still looks way better than it did when I had those thoughts of, like, I should give up, this is terrible. And so, if you can, try to train your brain to do the same thing. It's easier said than done, but it's worth the result if you can put in the effort to pull it off. Because those doubts don't do anything but make everyone unhappy. That's my motivational speech for my video. The purple gradient worked better than I could have expected just by spitting on it. So that, that's that, that's that. I just need one quick little thing here. Yeah, uh, this little snip here at the end. There! It's done! Wow, this looks great! I did not expect this to look as good as it as it does now. I am absolutely happy with this. The fabric work turned out way better than I could have expected, and the gradient on it works beautifully for just being like paint and water spit. That is it for the Gyro mask. Next one we're gonna be making is the Gibdo mask. No, it's not, you idiot! It's the captain's hat! You idiot! I'll kill you! Ah. There goes that. Hello, goobers! I'm gonna start just by cutting out a few of the paper craft versions, just so I have the, the shape references. This this had a lot of pieces to it. As I stream more and more, I come to gain a respect for a lot of streamers who can do this and just make up topics to talk about for hours on end. I cannot. Like the Garo Mask, I plan to do one stream for shaping and then another stream for fabric work and painting. I'm actually hoping to do LEDs in this thing, which will be cool looking. Don't know how well it'll work, but I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look this fat. The problem with this model is that, uh, it's actually broken into several pieces. Like, this is not attached to this at all. This isn't attached here, and then these are also disconnected as well. So it's gonna be a little hectic to get them to piece together. I'm probably gonna have to just, like, connect these myself with, like, a line or something. Or maybe they'll just- I'll just have this not arch forward as much. We'll see. Either way, we'll make it work. I made a stick. Oh, and I actually did buy fabric already for this. I might need to go out and buy some more. But I think I've got most of the colors I'm gonna need to make the, uh, the cloth on the inside. Okay! You! So this is going to be my middle piece here. This face piece here. This is gonna kind of try and curve around and go back, which I think it should do with this shape. I try to stream consistently. Oh, speaking of consistently, uh, I just realized last night I was looking for footage. It has been exactly a year ago today that I started live streaming these instead of making videos. I'm streaming for just just about an hour, and uh, this is about all I've got so far. Okay, yeah, that this this should work as a as a shape with the teeth on it too. The teeth don't go straight down; they kind of angle forward, which I can probably do. I might just do that right now then, before I actually glue them on. Let's just cut these in and angle them. Ow! Ow! Okay, that's done. I gotta be more careful. I'm fine. Didn't even happen. Nobody saw that. I always just kind of eyeball it when it comes to scaling things up, and sometimes that works, and sometimes it really doesn't. Hopefully this time it'll work. Oops! Ah! Yo! 
Next, I have to make this top piece here. I've got to make the arms and I have to make ribs for this uh, spine thing. So this is the captain's hat. You get this mask by, before you go to Icana Canyon, right where you'd normally go up using the Garo mask, if you head to the left, there's a graveyard there. And farther into the graveyard, you'll find the big giant skeleton of Captain Kida. He's kind of laying down, he's under a bridge. The sign next to him asks for someone to come and awaken his soul. So if you play the Sonata of Awakening, he'll wake up. He says like, come prove that you can, you can catch me, that you're a worthy fighter. And he'll break the bridge and he'll go take off running. You gotta go chase after him, and you gotta smack him with your sword. But, as he's running away, he also brings up like fire barricades and a bunch of stall children to come try and stop you. So you gotta kind of hack your way through them pretty quickly. Once you catch up to him and hit him, you'll begin a little mini boss fight with him, where he'll, uh, he'll swing at you, and then he'll jump in the air and do a big ground pound, and then you just gotta keep smacking him until he gives up. He says, I yield, it's over! And he's like, okay, I used to command the army of Icana, and then I died. He says, can you, can you take my mask and go command my, my men to go to sleep? He, he makes you the new captain. He's like, you're the new captain. Go, go tell the men to sleep. And he's like, captain, can I, can I leave? And Link salutes him. He gives him a big salute. And he says, sir, yes, sir. And he, he falls into the ground and dies. You'll get the mask in the chest behind him after that. Now that you have the mask, you will go and talk to the Zal children who are walking around the graveyard. They will let you open up some of the graves they're guarding and you can jump in. In one of them, you have to go and fight an Iron Knuckle. And after that, they will unlock a ghost named Flat's Grave and he'll give you the Song of Storms, which he'll use to help his brother Sharp out, which goes into getting the Gibdo Mask, which will be the next mask we make. On the second night, you go into one of the graves, you go fight another Iron Knuckle just to get a heart piece. And then on the third night, you get a, uh, a little digging mini game with Dempe, the Gravekeeper, for, I believe it's a bottle in the N64 version, but in the 3DS version, it's just a heart piece. This is a lot of like grip effort for like a single piece, but I mean, it's gonna be one good looking piece. Why do you take so long to dry? <laughs> uh, I made a bowl, fill it with soup. Okay. I have my bowl hat. There, that works. Oops, I wanted that to stay on there. Oh well, I can do my, my wire idea now then. I don't even need pliers, I got strong fingers. Very safe. It's kinda taking shape. It's really, again, really big. Uh, oh, but I should get these teeth on. I guess it might be time to practice what I preach because I'm kind of like getting those feelings of like, oh, this is gonna look bad. I gotta push that out of my head. This will look fine. It's not finished yet. I think it's I think it's making progress. Every time I stream, I, I always remember that I, I do cut out a lot in the mask making process. That's this piece now. This will be where the cloth goes, kind of. Now I gotta make the arms and then that'll be all the pieces made and then I'll just have to refine them a whole lot. Now, with any luck, when I have these ribs kind of bent back, it'll, yeah, it'll, look, it'll go forward instead of upwards. I guess technically that's all the pieces made. Now it might be time to Dremel and heat gun. I did not expect this to be as complex as it is. Okay, I guess I'll let it sit like that while I clear out the area and get ready for heat gunning. I may have mismatched some of the piece sizes a little bit. Other than that though, I think it's working. That's a little better. Aw, oh, dang it. I'm probably gonna bend the arms in a little more so they're less uh, out back here and more forward. One thing that I've kind of come to realize with making these is that um, all of my mistakes are just creative interpretations. I'm liking it so far. It's taking a little, a, a lot of, a uh, lot of like recutting and regluing, but I think so far it's working. That's close. It's getting there, but they're they're just off by a little bit. See what I tell you? It's not finished yet, but it looks way better than it did when I was having those thoughts. But now I'm gonna move on to Dremeling. There we go. I'm a mess. I probably shouldn't like flap that around while I have my mask off now. I'm just about finished with this now. Now that I have Dremeling done, I just gotta culk it, and that'll be a night. That'll be a stream. I've been live for just about five hours here. <laughs> okay, that's uh. That's generally the shape. I'm gonna do Kulk now. Okay, now we Kulk. I like how it looks right now, but for a while it was just like, oh, I should probably give up. But no, I'll never give up on these. I'll make all of them like I said I would two years ago. I'll get there eventually. I'm lathering this little skeleton up with juice to fill in his crack holes. I apologize for saying that out loud. Not really. This is my realm now. I say what I want, and I want to say crack hole. <laughs> this is one creamy skeleton. Undertale. <laughs> That's a mask. I'm, I'm happy to make that the end of the stream. I am tired and sweaty and thirsty and hungry and done with the mask. Pretty good music, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is gonna be a pretty busy stream because we're gonna do fabric, painting, and hooking up these LEDs. I'm not gonna stall too much. I already have the thing ready and I'm ready to get going. It's very subtle, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually pushed my, my frame out just a little bit more this way. You wouldn't believe what I forgot this time. Okay, bone colors. This is super bright and you can't see much. Maybe I have to adjust these lights a bit. Well, that probably looks good. It's super bright on my face now, but I think I can I can live with it if I just don't look directly at it. There we go, that's looking more like bone colors. And I think I made this back piece a little too big, but that's okay. It does really fit all well on the head though. Like it'll fit forward like this. 
is cool. Good, 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 good. That's the color we wanted. Mm, this might have been a, a little bit too much of a too bright of a color still, but it's a good starting point. I can do more coats with it with a different with a different darker colored one later too. There we go. That's the bone color I was looking for. I like how it does kind of hang a little loose. It makes it kind of feel like a skeleton. It's very liquidy white. I gotta mix it mix it around a little bit. Yeah, it's working as a base coat. I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna add LEDs. I have a little thing of LED right here. They're not like LED strips, they're like an LED, little set of LED diodes. They glow. I almost wonder if it'd be worth it to reposition this camera. Instead to have it like over my shoulder almost, maybe from the right, so that you could see what I'm doing now and be lit by the by this thing. Could I do that now? Like, is this cable long enough? Oh, it could totally do that. It could totally do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right now. So we're gonna do a little twist. Wee, how fun! Ah, hello! Hi! I'm gonna route that back. I'll show off my behind the scenes a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Oh, I dropped a black paintbrush on my foot and ground. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I just gotta flip it upside down. I might even zoom it in. I think that's better. That'll be easier to paint with, and you can actually see what I'm doing a little more at this angle. <laughs> He's winking at you. I feel like adding this, like, this stroke of black on the bottom. It kind of feels like the same thing as when you when you draw and you just like smudge in to make it look like you're really good at shading. That's kind of what this feels like I'm doing. Oh, when I came home today, the, the window screen in my bedroom had fallen out. I wonder if it was just super windy or something if that. That's not bad progress at all. Got the whole thing almost painted. Fabric will take me probably another hour or so, and then the LED should take me maybe like 20 minutes. So I was a little iffy about the shape when I first had it. Um, finished, but now that I have it painted and actually getting the colors and, and stuff into it, I think it's looking sweet. I'd say that is about it for painting. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over and work on fabric now. I'm gonna stick with the camera up here from now on. I like I like this camera up here. Okay, this should work as a as a starting point. I need to make this shape. Almost got this glued in place, then I can start cutting. I don't want to make this thing too big and then it's just kind of flopping around on my head because that's no good. There. Okay, that'll that'll work as my piece. I got an archive collection of old music samples from the 90s and stuff. And it was actually fun going through a lot of it and finding ones that they used, not just sound samples, but sound effects as well, of sound effects they used in Zelda music. Stuff like um, the targeting sound from Ocarina of Time. I should be able to find it. I'll play it right now in the video. The problem is once I found one, I found a whole lot more. So now we're gonna play a little game. I'll play a sample that gets used somewhere in the Zelda series. See if you can figure out where it's from before I show you. If you guess correctly, congratulations. You're a nerd, like me. Anyways, here we go. If you didn't get that one, these other two go with it and give it away pretty easily.
Well, that was fun, probably. How'd you do? I sincerely hope for your sake that you did not get them all like I did. Anyways, back to the mask. Let's get this piece on there. This fabric work t might take a little bit longer than I expected. I've been live for about an hour and 30 minutes. Sorry, I've run out of things to talk about. I'm just kind of focused on gluing stuff now. The Gibdo mask is going to be a very straightforward mask. Like, it's really just like an oval with, like, fabric glued over it. So I could probably make that in a single stream. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna... Like, do I do that in a single stream? Which mask gave me the hardest time so far? That's a good question. This one was not easy. I'd say this one was probably up there. I would say that I think the most difficult one so far, probably the Romani mask. That was like a six hour stream of just shaping it and then another four of painting. That was like a total of 10 hours. It was a good result. I think it looked great, but it just, it just took a lot of time to get the, the cow shape on top of the headband and make it fit. Okay, that's the, that's the thing. That's, that's the fabric done, as far as I'm aware. I think that's everything I need. That looks about right. Cool, okay. That'll work. I'm gonna try and paste this together now and see how it goes. Oh yeah, how do I get this in there exactly? <laughs> I just, I never really thought about that. How, was I, how am I gonna make this fit? I guess I'm just gonna have to hot glue it to the top of the thing. That looks great. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, like, shaped, that looks sweet. I've almost got this fabric piece done, and then it's just moving out of the eyes, and that's it. The eyes will not take long at all. I have to do, all I really have to do is poke them through, and then stick the battery in there. Like, I'll just glue the battery in. Hee <laughs> Here's the hat. Yeah! Oh, that looks sick. That looks awesome. Okay, let's get these eyes in there, and we'll call, we're gonna call it a night. Just push it, just push it real good, nice and easy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, here. Here we go, here we go. They glow! <laughs> look at those! Those look awesome! I kick the light. Hang on, let me kill the lights real quick. Yeah! Okay, I think that's the mask done. I, I gotta glue the battery in place, actually. First, hang on. Oh, I got a face full of wires. Yes! I am so happy with this. It is done! The fabric work, the lights, the eyes. I just cannot believe how good the eyes look. It's done, and it looks great. This is absolutely one of the best I have made yet. As it stands now, I do not know how I can top this one. The felt work turned out so much better than I could have expected. And the eyes, the eyes look amazing. The next mask we're gonna be working on is gonna be the Gibdo mask. That one's gonna feel strangely simple after this. Where's my button? There's my button. Hello. I never know how to start these. I still don't after all this time, after all this time of three months. This is a simple oval, so I should be able to get it done pretty easily. I have this little mini guy to get the shape and I'm gonna start chopping him in half so I can figure out how to actually cut the real foam. I'm thinking I can actually make this thing all in one stream, so it might be a very short stream and video, which might actually make up for the fact that the last stream and video was super long. That shape was complicated. Oh, where's my foam? Where's my foam? Here it is. It's kind of funny, these never look like the shape that it's going to take when it's cut, but it, it ends up working, at least semi-decently. It'll take a little bit of refinement when I get the piece trimmed down, but aside from that, that should fold nicely into what I'm hoping for. I'm actually gonna use, like, fabric to try and wrap the thing. These are from two pairs of pants that I bought and cut into shorts. I'm gonna try cutting that out first. Ah, seeing how that goes. How did I get hurt by a Sharpie? And jump! Uh, hopefully this will work as a piece. I may have overdone it with the size. After this mask, how many masks are left? That's a good question. The captain's hat was mask number 17, I think, out of 24. This will be the 18th mask. So we will have one, two, three, four, five, six left to go. That's crazy. I started kind of resuming streaming and making these in end of January. So in like half a year, I have gone from eight to 18. I've done 10 masks this year, or this, this half year. So I should be able to finish it at this rate before the end of the year, which is exciting because I've been doing this on and off for the last two years. I'll actually be able to, to do it. So that's fun. I'm excited. I'm just gonna gently slice my fingers off. There they go. For some reason, I have, I have a lot of fun and really enjoy <laughs> doing like stupid video editing bits where like there's lots of blood. <laughs> I've got both my pieces and they are very much mism mismatched in size. Ow, that's molten. Actually, that didn't hurt nearly as bad as I thought. My, why are my hands so blue? <laughs> I'm not too worried about getting the actual shape perfect because I'm gonna wrap this thing up in, in fabric so it's gonna hide all of it. I need more hands. That's a little better. Still a little big, but I can I can adapt. I might not even need to spray this. I could probably just like use some masking tape to get the eyes marked in and then cover it with fabric. That should work. I'm gonna give that a shot. So, the Gibdo mask. This is actually one of the sadder ones. So in the last video, I talked about how using the captain's hat, you would go into one of the graves and get the Song of Storms. Up in Icana, there is the Icana Spring, which is haunted currently by a ghost named Sharp. He is haunting the well and making the, the water poison and dry, so like it's not flowing anymore and it's all dark. 
Using the Song of Storms, you break the curse on Sharp and help him see the error of his, his ghostly ways. In doing so, you restore the water from the spring, or which then flows out into the music box house, causing it to play again. The music box house, up until that point, had been surrounded by a bunch of Gibdos. Once you have the music playing, it'll uh, drive the Gibdos back into the ground, and they will be they'll be gone. They kind of slump over and start getting pulled away. After that happens, as you go back out there, you'll end up catching the attention of a little girl named Pamela. She'll run back into the house, unless you have the stone mask, which you can just use to sneak past her. Once you're inside her house, you'll get down to the basement, and down there you'll see a wardrobe. As you approach the wardrobe, it suddenly flings open, and you'll see this half-mummified guy start shambling out towards you. This is Pamela's father. Pamela's father's been cursed. He's like half Gibdo at this point. He's half wrapped up, his eyes are all bloodshot. He starts shambling towards you, and if you go to a attack him, Pamela will actually intervene and she'll she'll kind of get her father to back off a little bit because he's he's kind of going to attack you. If you, instead of attacking Pamela's dad, play the Song of Healing, you actually break the spell. He will be no longer cursed and this mask will fall off of him. And uh, Pamela will be like, Daddy, you're safe! And he gives him a big old hug. And then if you stay there, uh, Tattle, <laughs> Tattle says like, get out. <laughs> You should probably leave them alone, you're very insensitive. Which is very fair, they're like having a, a father-daughter rescue moment. And it's just like, hmm, this is nice! Okay, this is not holding together at all, how do I do this? That'll work, I just have to, I just have to like, not try and f force it too soon. Okay, I'll just hold it like this while I explain. The Gibdo Mask will let you talk to Gibdos, which is helpful for the Gibdo Well Side quest. Where you have to go and get a bunch of different little items and give them to the Gibdo as they unlock kind of a gradual path for you to get towards the Mirror Shield. Once you have the Mirror Shield, you can get into the Icana Castle and you'll use it to solve puzzles and kill the big boss there. Who in turn will teach you the Elegy of Emptiness, which unlocks the ability to summon little Ben statues. And that is why it's very important to get this mask. Actually, it's crucial, like, you can't skip it. So, that's the process of getting the mask, and that's what it does. The Gibdo in Majora's Mask, they look different in the 3DS version than they do in the N64 version. Not by a ton, they're just a whole lot thinner, which is kind of sad. I liked how bulky they looked in the N64 version. I am not using newspaper or toilet paper to make this happen. I'm using authentic pants, or what's left of them anyways. I have some respect for my masks. Not a ton, but some. This is weird looking. Once I have it glued, I can kind of, I can kind of like bend it around a little more easily. Oh, I know what to do. I know how to fix this. I just gotta like trim some of the bottom pieces here. Expand it out this way a bit. Yeah, look at that. Adaptive problem solving. Once again. First time it was spit, now it's being practical. Child, can you stop dying outside my window, please? I'm kind of, I really just eyeball all these. I do not do precise measurements or anything with this at all. I kind of just look at it and try and do my best to copy it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. Okay, that's the shape just about done. I think it's probably time to start doing, yeah, that, that'll work. It's gotta be like this. Okay, fabric time. Actually, no, not, not fabric. I gotta paint the eyes on first. But I didn't forget water this time. I had the water. I have water. It feels weird to be painting so soon after building, but I guess that's just how it goes. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna start cutting strips of, of, of fabric out of these. Ooh, what face could I be making behind this thing? Now, if I were to put the cloth over top of it, have this like super low on it. Yeah, there we go. That'll have like the droop that we're looking for. This has just felt super easy so far. Like the last one was like, I had a lot of doubts about how it was going to look when it was finished. I mean, it turned out great, but just throughout the process, I was like, oh boy, how am I gonna make this work? This has been just like pretty, pretty easy and simple and straightforward. This might be like even like a five minute video at most. I don't know. Slap. I'm gonna have to like probably paste more over the eyes at some point. I'm gonna probably do a little a little thin dry brush of black to get like kind of the shadow as you can see on each of the wraps. This is going to be a short video. This is like this whole this whole mask is taking maybe like three and a half hours altogether when my other ones normally take at least six. We're making progress on the mask. I'm just working on getting the layers in place here. I'm just kind of folding in all the creases now to try and get like more of the depth visible. Okay, that should be good for fabric. Now I'm gonna paint over it. Sweet. Gibdo mask! That looks pretty done to me. Mm, one thing I guess, I need to add a little bit of like yellow to this thing. Not a ton, not a ton at all, but a little bit. Because there is like bits of yellow pieces and even a bit of red I think in some spots. There yeah, there's the yellow detail. Actually, I should probably do a little bit of, a little bit of red real quick. Just like the tiniest bit of red. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's the mask done. That's the, this is the Gibdo mask. It's finished! Yeah, there we go. This was definitely an easier one to put together, but I still liked the results nonetheless. I wasn't sure about the shape, but I'm sure even if it's a little egg-shaped, I still think it looks good. The brush depth strokes look great on this thing. The next mask we're going to be making is going to be the Giant's Mask, which is going to be exciting! Oh! Jump scare, sorry. <laughs> ah. 
Your speed! I'm gonna quickly get to work on assembling this little mini guy. That's already, okay, I'm gonna be running with this. This one will take two streams. I won't be able to one stream this like I did the Gibdo mask. Okay, this is the, this is like the base, the base I'm gonna be working with. Okay, I guess I'll just get right to it. I really hope this isn't too big. I don't want this to be like a, like a, kind of just weave my scissors into this little gap here and not cut my thumb, please. Despite how funny that would be as a bit. Dang it, I did it, didn't I? I totally did, ah, okay. I don't need two of these, I need opposite. These are gonna fold back into the, into basically the long part of the helmet. I think this will be a good size. That is not very flattering on my neck. Okay, can I grab it with my foot? I can. I did it! Hooray! So glad I have toes. And then I say hooray unironically hooray. now. Okay, that's good. I've got two of these now. These are the eyeball sockets, I believe. Almost done with cutting out all the pieces. I just need to get the mouth pieces and then this like fin that goes at the top. I don't know why I put this like right in the middle of this this whole thing. I really could have put it like this the edges. Oh well, it's foam. What's gonna happen? I'm stupid. Oh well. That's okay. I'm funny about it. And I make cool masks so it all balances out. Where'd I throw this again? Oh yeah, back here. Oh! Holy Oh man, it's really dark. You can barely see anything here. Would it help if I took this down a bit? Not really. I just need- I need more lights. I need to order more lights, I think, at some point. I just have to give in and, and buy it. This will actually work. This size? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep going. I'm glad I measured it like this. Oh. I don't even feel the heat anymore when I- when I touch, like, too hot of glue. I think I've just numbed my hands to the pain. Ow. Remember what I- what I said about not being able to feel the heat of the glue gun anymore? I was lying. I'm liking the shape of this so far. I know it's it's gonna take a bit more refinement, but I'm I think it's working so far. Just under the two hour mark, and I am about halfway through the mask. This might be like a four hour stream. I've got almost the top part of the helmet finished here. All the pieces are cut, now I'm just like heating and shaping them, and then I'm gonna dremel and caulk them later. Where did that fall? And what just fell? With my Sharpie, right? Alright, I'll scooch back. Fine. Oh, it's my, my Sharpie. Alright, now I'll scooch back in. Ah, nice! My poor floors. I should get a rolling chair or something. <laughs> Although that means I'll probably just like gradually roll away, because the floor's kinda kinda slanted in here. All of my camera gear is actually like cocked at a 45 degree angle. Okay, these are eyeballs. I'm gonna heat on both of these and try and curve them back. Well, I really have I really left like big gaps here. I'll fill it in with like extra scrap bits or something. Actually, it really is a miracle. I have yet to cut myself during any of these streams, despite how careless I am with knives. Especially during like my stone mask stream where I was literally like stabbing the thing with my, with my box cutter. That will do. Oh, look at this shape. This feels sick. I like this. Ow. I'm kidding. I'm not even hurting. I'm lying about my pain to make you feel bad so that you subscribe and like the video. We're almost there. You can never have too much tape. That's a lie, you totally can. Oh dang it, was I doing this backwards? I think I was. That's okay, I can fix it. That's a good question. How long does it take to edit the, the mask videos? Generally what I do is I will do a build stream like this. I will then take the week off and do um, just kind of like either relax or take care of other house things I gotta take care of. The following Sunday I will do a painting stream or like a finishing stream. And then between that finishing that mask and then the next Sunday I will edit throughout the week and get the video done. So I'd say yeah, about a week. Although. If I didn't have a day job and could work just at the videos constantly, I'd say I could get a video done in like maybe two or three days. Uh, okay, what am I doing next? Right, I'm, I'm kind of like refining this nose a bit. Love the face. I'm gonna just like cut that. I'm gonna cut that out of the chat in the video. I'm just gonna like put it like over over here and <laughs> just have that. Okay, this is this is our shape. This feels good. This feels really good. This is crooked a bit, actually, isn't it? Can I fix that just by going up a bit? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I just gotta I just gotta pull it up a little bit here. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'd say that's ready for uh, that's ready for dremeling. That's good for now. I'm gonna go quickly grab, oh, I forgot something again. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take my mask off for this. It should be fine. <coughs> okay, cult time. I'm really just like slathering this whole thing, which while it'd be good to get every crack, it actually makes it look much worse. It almost undoes all my dremeling too. Slap, slap, yeah! Ugh. This is so flaky. Yeah, I need to vacuum in here afterwards. I would say that is about ready to call it a night. How's volume? Where's the button? There it is. Here we are. We're gonna paint the giant's mask and get it finished. Hopefully today. Will be today. What am I saying? All it really needs doing is a paint job and like some dry brushing to get metal details in it. So, giant's mask. You get this one in the Stone Tower Temple. In the N64 version, initially, you'd get it basically right outside of the boss doors. 
just be in a chest after you kill the uh, Igor, I believe. You can only use this mask in the boss room with Twin Mold. Nowhere else. If you try to use it anywhere else, or if you cheat the game to use it, it just soft locks you and you get stuck. Uh, N64 version. You put it on, you grow really big, and then you can still use your sword and slice up Twin Mold throughout the whole fight. But in the 3DS version, they changed it a whole lot. Now, instead of getting it before the boss fight, you now get it midway through. You first have a little segment where you shoot arrows at Twin Mold to knock down the first one. After you knock it down, the chest will spawn that has the mask in it, and uh, the second one will come out. Uh, instead of getting your sword, you'll put the mask on, you get big ol' hands, you start punching it, you start throwing hands with the guy. So that's cool. I'm trying a, uh, a new camera lens today. Or not, not new, but like a different one. It should change the depth a bit. I don't know how noticeable it is. It's also kind of a new camera angle as well. Yeah, the silver paint's looking really promising so far. Got it. Don't even saw that. And it didn't even wreck my pants. Once I have it painted and dried, I'm gonna try giving it a bit of a, a bit of a black water wash. These foam lines at the top here, the the, the like creases I have or the the cuts, I wasn't sure about, but I think they actually look good. They look like they look like cracked stone, and I like that. I'm stuck to my chair. There we go. Just peel that right off. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but that's gross. I think that is about as silver as it's about to go. So it might be time to start mixing in new colors. Okay, this is this is definitely more of the color of the mask compared to what I'm using now. So I might I might just kind of brush everything with this again. The paint job is, is coming okay. It looks sick, and when I can actually get like the black details on there, or like the black scratch details, it'll look great. Okay, I gotta stop being impatient, because I want to just like resume painting, but I can't. I can't just like layer and layer and layer without them drying first, otherwise they all mix and the color loses the color. Okay, I've gotta stop brushing it. Ah! Almost got this thing ready to go. But overall, I think this is, I think this is looking sick so far. Dang it, I've really gotta stop touching this thing by accident. I keep trying to hold it steady by its nose, but I keep pulling paint off of it by accident, because I'm stupid! Okay, I gotta, let, I gotta just let it sit for like five minutes while it hardens a little bit more. Ugh. How are you guys? That looks pretty sweet. Okay, I'd say that is finished. Sweet, I think this looks great. I think the shape turned out really well. I think the colors also look great. I wish that I was a little more patient or had a little more time to let the paint dry before I did more layers, but I think for what it is, the shine and the, the highlights and stuff look really good. I've got five masks left to go, and the next one is going to be the cafe mask. Hit the button real quick. Which one is it? Is it F12? It is in fact F12. Hello, French. How are you guys all doing? I have rearranged a lot of stuff. I might need to tilt the camera over a little bit so I'm more in the center. Or I could just shift my chair over too. That works too. I raised the camera up because the camera was down below about maybe like up to my chest level pointed upwards. It's not a very flattering angle being faced upwards from below. So now it's like slightly, it's either, I think it's just head level. So I look a little better. <laughs> not that I look terrible, but you yeah, know, it's all about making sure I look good. So, Cafe's Mask. You can get this mask on the first day from Madame Aroma. She is the mayor's wife and Cafe's mother. Cafe's been missing. He was engaged to Andrew, who works at the Stockpot Inn, but he randomly disappeared. His mother has asked, I guess not you, but she put out an ad for an expert, and she thinks you're him, so she gives you this mask. Using this mask and talking to people will basically ask where Cafe is, or if anyone knows anything about where Cafe might be. It's pretty useless up until Andrew receives a letter in the mail. It's a letter from Cafe. She's like, she's surprised to see it. And if you talk to her while wearing the mask afterwards, she asks you to meet in the kitchen at midnight. If you meet her in the kitchen, she'll explain that she received a letter from Cafe, and she'll give you a letter to send to him. A letter to Cafe. You can put it in the mailbox, and then Cafe will receive it. After that, once he receives it and then goes back to his house, you can actually enter the room inside. You'll meet Cafe, who will explain to you that he was cursed by Skull Kid to look like a child, because normally he's a grown man, but now he's like your size. Oh yeah, I guess part, part of the thing is, the reason Cafe disappeared is is that his basically his engagement ring or his engagement mask in this world uh, was stolen. So he wants to return to Andrew once he has that in hand. The sun mask, as Andrew has the moon mask, they're kind of parallels. After explaining that, he will give you a pendant, the pendant of memories it's called. He'll give you that to give to Andrew, basically to signify that she should stay in Clock Town and wait for him because he's gonna come back to her at some point. Anyways, you give Andrew the pendant of memories, she says, okay, I'm gonna stay in Clock Town because otherwise they were gonna try and evacuate out to Romani Ranch. Okay, I guess that's the face. I'm gonna cut the hair. I think the game would have been different if MM had more than a year to make it. Actually, no. It's kind of a misconception that like Miyamoto just said, you have a year and then just like let them let, let them go to it. Looking back at old interviews that have been archived, it, it's very clear that Ayonuma and Miyamoto were working very well together at the time after Ocarina of Time. And they, they both truly believed that they could do it within a year. So that was a challenge they personally set for themselves. They were working together with most of the old Ocarina team on that too.
<laughs> Gee, it sure is boring around here. <coughs> <coughs> That did hurt, though. I think I'm assembling this right, but it's kind of hard to tell. If this is how much trouble I'm having with just the, the hair, like, the wig is not gonna make it any easier. Considering the hair, I'm gonna make this about this size. The hair will make it bigger. And this time I'm not gonna cut right in the middle like an idiot. Okay, now we chop. Hopefully not into myself. I missed. I didn't- you can't even see the bin, I didn't have to say that, I could have said that I got it in. Nobody would have been the wiser. No, alas, I am honest. I call myself a prop artist, so I guess I'm not that honest. Ow! Is that it? There it is! First cut! I should be more careful. Ah, there we go. First cut! It only took me like- what is this now, 20 masks? Do I have anything I can use to cover it up? I don't have band-aids in here. I do, though, have masking tape. And that's basically the same thing. Improvised bandage. This makes it look so much worse than it is. It is not that bad. There we go. I'm also gonna start heating these. I might lower the microphone volume a little bit. That, or I'll, uh, if I keep it at this volume, that's pretty loud still. I, I know I'm above it technically, but still that's rather loud. I don't know why I just tested the heat as if that's not super dangerous. Okay, I'll let these two pieces dry. Other than that, this is the face, or uh, it's supposed to be. This is really, this is still really big. Why is this so wide? Oh, I see. If I if I actually glue these like gradually with force, it should actually make this thing a little smaller. This will actually work, I think. If I can get, like, this is this isn't a bad length if I squish it together like this. I can gradually kind of smooth this face out a little bit. I guess I missed a spot. <laughs> this side has a has a nick, and this side doesn't. I mean, I did. It made like virtually zero difference. So, but okay, this is this is cafe's face, the cafe's, if you will. Now, let's do hair. Already, that's kind of getting what I want. Ah, no. Don't fall. More hot glue. That's the solution, always. If I've learned anything from this series, if, if there's any problem, just smack more hot glue onto it until it works. If it doesn't, get mad at it. That shot a bunch of dust into my face. You know what, I might actually have better tools for this too. Clamps. The clamps! Oh, I'm gluing these are very different spots. I forget how lightweight these masks are when I actually put like heavy stuff on them. Like these clamps are really throwing off my brain. This is actually working really well for hair, for like hair shape. I've just gotta, like, thicken it up a bit now, add some geometry to it. Yeah, there we go. If I were to get hair on these things now, that would look pretty sweet. These clamps are really coming in handy. I should use clamps more often. I'm gonna fill in these sideburns just a little bit with some extra foam, just so I have the thickness, and then I'm going to dremel it, and then I'm going to culk it. Okay, here we go. I'll try. I'm, I'm sure I can put it somewhere. Okay, all right, that's the mask shaped. I am a mess. Place is a mess. Time to call it a stream. Yeah. We're working with a wig today, and that's gonna be fun. So, I think I fixed my lens issue from last time. Now I'm less, like, fuzzy and, and blurry. But the background's still a little, like, still has a good amount of blur to it. So, hair. Last time I worked with this was on the, the Great Fairy Mask, and it was not a great time. Wide tooth combs also work well in wigs. I had a wide tooth comb, tried that, snapped my comb. The comb was about a dollar, so it might just be that the comb sucked. This is so much hair. Wow, I feel like a true gamer girl. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much hair in my mouth. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take this off now. The shape is a little rougher than I would have liked. I mean, that kind of seems to happen whenever I do like the plaster. It always looks a little rougher, which is a shame, but it can't be helped now. It's a mess, <laughs> but I'm gonna get it. I'm already on, on the right track here, I think, with the bangs. I'm trying to do, to do my best to make it look like natural hair, or not natural, but like real hair, so it's not just like sticking up sideways and glued up like that. I'm trying to have it work properly, but I don't know how well it's gonna go. I hurts my neck for some reason. I'm gonna stop doing that. Ooh, hope that was picked up. That's that's kind of working for bangs. It needs to be, it needs to be tightened up a little bit. Back when I started this series almost two years ago, I bought it. I I kind of went on like a not a spending spree, but I bought a bunch of stuff that I would have expected to have needed for the series. Like three wigs, one for Great Fairy, one for Cafe, and one for Fierce Deity. Since all three of them have hair, I didn't consider the 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 troop leader mask at that point, but I I should have. All right. To the hair pile with the... There's gonna be a lot of excess hair to, to trim out. Even just to lose some of the weight, because this, this wig is pretty heavy. Short hair is the best. I, I actually used to have hair down to my shoulders when I was like 12 or so. Short hair all the way. Like all I worry about is my bangs, and even then it's it's like the quickest just like... And then it's, it's like, it's done. Progress is happening on the wig. Ow, burning my hands. This is the shape I have so far. I've cut out a lot of the excess and I'm working to trim down the excess on the sides and curves. I wonder if a glue stick would work. Let's try that. Let's try that real quick. 
Oh, that, that leaves a ton of residue, never mind. I think I've just about got it. It's a good sound. I've been disarmed by hair. I'm sure she's fine. ASMR. Oh, sure. I ate a hair. I'm gluing back on the cut strands from earlier. Compare this left side here to this right side. It's like kind of crust the edges. If I can do that with all the way throughout, that should be pretty good. I'm so glad I saved all of these extra hairs. Did I have a childhood crunch? Yes, my dad broke my arm when I was four. <laughs> I have not even gotten, like, started painting yet, and I've already, I've already almost been streaming four hours. <laughs> Stupid hair. Okay, but it's gonna be a really cool looking haircut when it's finished, though, too. It may take ten hours, but it's a cool haircut. Maybe I should have painted the thing before I put the hair on. Oh well, too late. Okay, this is a pretty straightforward face. It's literally just two circles and an oval. Would I ever wear one of the masks for Halloween? I'd wear the Great Fairy one, and nothing else. Hopefully getting paint into an open wound isn't gonna kill me. It might be a little different from... Standard hairspray. This is, uh, in fact, uh, enamel acrylic coating for cars. This is probably gonna go really well. It's a nice ring around my face. This is definitely gonna be one of the, uh, one of the masks that goes on the wall and stays there. <laughs> is that the same size now? I feel like it's not. Okay, that looks, that looks like it's the same size, right? How's that then for, assuming, like, I clean up the edges? Is that a better mouth size? It also doesn't help that the eyebrows are making it look odd, because there aren't any right now. Getting, like, royal purple colors is really hard with, like, just basic paint colors. Okay, let's do some eyebrows. It does look smooth on camera. You are so right. I'm, I'm content to call that. Okay, I think that's Cafe's mask done. Even if the hair isn't perfect, I still think this one turned out great. Second time working with hair, and this one was definitely a lot easier than the Great Fairy's Mask. This time I had a bit more of an idea of what I was getting into. I'm really happy with the shape of the thing, altogether. This is the 20th mask, I've got four more to go. The next one we're gonna be working on is going to be the Keaton Mask. And where's the key? Is it F12? I remembered right, it is F12. Good to see you guys. Well, I can't really see you, but... Of course, like always, I didn't have enough time to prepare the, uh, paper versions of this yet. This is like a puzzle. Keaton Mask. Once you have given Cafe's pendant back to Anju and set her to stay in Clocktown, Cafe will have spotted Sakon going into the curiosity shop, and he chases him back to Sakon's hideout in, in Ikana. Uh, so that'll leave Cafe's, like, temporary house empty, and, uh, the curiosity shop guy who actually owns the place will be there instead on the final day. So if you go in there and talk to him, he'll be like, Cafe saw Sakon and ran off. Uh, kid, I don't know why, I'm just gonna give you this thing. <laughs> and he gives you the Keaton mask, that is, that's basically it. He also gives you a priority delivery, like, from Cafe to his mom, Madame Aroma, who you can find in the bar. Getting that priority letter will go into getting the next mask. Before you get anywhere near this mask, you're probably gonna notice one of these, like, bunches of bushes that show up, and if you cut any of them, they start dancing and foot were like flying around. That is the presence of a Keaton. So you can't normally do anything with that until you have this mask. If you cut up the grass while you have the mask on, it'll then summon the Keaton, who will then quiz you with various facts about the game world that you're in. And if you get all of them correctly, you get another heart piece. Okay, let's get to chopping this thing out. This is much easier, much, much easier than trying to shape Cafe's hair like last time. That didn't go so well. Okay, that will hopefully work. Come on, fingers, work with me. There we go. Jaden, please don't say that you're wearing nothing in my chat. You are a child. It's more so that I don't get in trouble. Like, just Ryland happily interacting with naked miners online? Like, no. I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber. I, I, why are these not the same? Yeah, okay, these, these are the same size as long as I glue this part down. That should be fine. Let's cut some ears. Vincent Van Gogh. I wonder why he did that. Probably because he was insane. Okay, ready to glue. Do I want to heat gun these before I glue them? I'm going to do that. This smells bad. Okay, uh, I need tape. I've tried a couple different things. I've tried super glue, I've tried contact cement, and I've tried, uh, I've tried hot glue. And of those three, hot glue's been the most successful so far. Super glue just would never hold when I needed it to. And contact cement takes like 15 minutes to cure before I'm ready to glue, which sucks for a live stream. If you just have to sit and watch like glue dry for 15 minutes, every time you have to glue a place. This is what we have so far. This is the nose, and I'm gonna have to curve it down into like a pretty sharp angle. Why does Hockley take so long to dry? Go faster, I'm tired. I keep doing that to myself. I'll kind of rush things, and then I'll just be like, oh, I can handle it with dremeling, and then it, I won't be able to handle it with dremeling, and it gets rough looking. There was no no incentive to learn it, because no one where, where we are spoke French. Ow! I don't know if the camera picked that up, I just got shot really hard in the eye with something. Did the camera pick that up? <laughs> that hurt. There, that's working as a nose. That's actually really, really well shaped. 
really hurt my eye. That still feels like, I don't think it's swelling, it just, I feel it for a bit. Ow, my fingers. Believe it or not, when you touch Hockley with your fingers, it tends to hurt. I think it's, the nose is actually looking really smooth. Might be a little bit of stuff to fill in, but I should be okay. Snap. <laughs> Two hours and 30 minutes, and this is what we're at so far. I'm just gonna get the ears out, and we're almost finished. It's a really smooth curve shape that I like a lot. I don't think I'll have to journal it too much. Am I a mass suggest suggestive? I don't know what that means. And I don't know if I want to know what that means. This is a good size. Did get you an acid? Probably not. I don't know. I didn't watch many Pokemon animations when I was younger. I'll watch it at some point, probably. Maybe this is where a Discord would come in handy. Where I could just, like, post it in the Discord and I'll watch it later. But, you know, I just don't feel like managing Discord. Anyways, I have a Discord server now. Link in the description. Yay! Yeah, check that out. That looks great. It's a little uneven still, but like it's not very noticeable. I'm not gonna drum all this thing, I shouldn't have to. I might sandpaper a little bit. Sandpaper! ASMR again. I wanted today to buy more hot glue because I thought I'd use up all of mine today on this mask, but I'm actually fine. I've only used like half of what I had left. Okay, these are probably good to come untaped now. Check that out, perfect perfect shape retention. This is the shape we've got so far. We're almost ready, I'm just kind of finishing up the final, final shapes of the ears and the face shape to make sure it's like good. Look at the shape of this thing, I'm loving this. Just gotta get this last ear on there and we're good. It's kind of dark on this one. So oh, it's because I know why. I'm stupid. I was wondering why it was so dark on this end. It's because I never moved my stupid light back. I'm dumb. I can't believe I didn't notice that until now. Wow, I'm blind. Dumb. Dumb idiot Riley. I moved, I pushed my light back, my purple light on the side here back a bit to make room so I could put some stuff behind it, but I never moved it back. I <laughs> That's been gone like the whole stream. There we go, now you can actually see like the, the colors and stuff. That's way better. I'd say the mask is basically finished here. I've been going uh for almost four hours here. There, those are the ears. I forgot how good sandpaper is for this. I'm absolutely content to call it at this. This looks sweet. This was a very smooth build, for, like start to finish. I think what helped a lot is that before, I had been using tiny models of, like tiny versions of the paper models to try and get up, and then I try and just like eyeball scale it, which was no good. If I actually print them the size they're supposed to be, or the size I want them to be, like it ends up in a really good shape. Yeah, like if I put the piece back on here, that really works really well. So I think I'm gonna call it with that. That's a mask. Okay, layout! Hi! This shouldn't be a super complex painting stream because this is really just uh, like yellow with a tiny bit of black. So, yeah! Between last stream and this one, I kind of went back and I kind of taped it over. I don't know how visible it is on the camera. But in order to try and smooth out some of the gaps, uh, I put tape over the thing before I sprayed it over again. Just, just to try and cover up some of, the, some of the roughness a little bit. I am going to get right to work on painting. Starting with yellow. This is really, like, pretty pretty spot on to what this is down here. So I, I guess I'm just gonna pour this and start covering it. One thing I'd like to work on a little bit in the future is to get a smoother shape. Specifically, like, I tend to kind of rush putting edges together and just thinking, like, I can dremel it or I can culk it later, but that doesn't actually work that often. So I'd like to just do it right the first time instead of thinking I can kind of fix it in post almost. I don't expect this to take a super long uh, time to paint. I'm already like halfway done just by painting it yellow. <laughs> Making props. Oh, that was cool. I did a little flip. Okay, that's that's gonna bug me. I need to cut this. There's that, that little gap there at the top. You can, you can see it, you can totally see it. A little difference in color there. I just need to cut that so it's less apparent. I'm gonna try and get a little more precise with the colors this time, just because the colors are so basic on this thing. So I don't wanna I don't wanna rush it. Garden of Banban -Ban or Overwatch 2. I don't know anything about Garden of Banban. -Ban. That being said, Garden of Banban. -Ban. <laughs> Gotta give a break for the cheeks and then a spot for the Okay, I see it. The whole the whole snout of this mask is very orange versus the uh bright of the cheeks. Is that right? Don't do that right. I didn't do that right, hang on. There's a fruit flat buzzing around my, my face. Get out of here, you. He has vanished. <coughs> Oh, sorry, I broke up water. Just trying to make sure it's like pretty even across both sides when it comes to making orange. Okay, let's see how this nose is done. It's pretty much just like a flat circle from about here onward. We're just designs for Pokemon, say five. Uh, Mr. Mime, I guess maybe Trubbish and Garbodor. And I guess the Conk Elder, Conk Elder family with his big old, like his Afro skin. Which, oh, that sounds like a slur. I mean, like, his his skin is morphed into an apple. YouTube, don't take me down. Is this too small of a nose? Yeah, it's too small of a nose. Much bigger. I've got three more masks after this. That's crazy. I got Postman's Hat, Couple's Mask, and Fierce Deity, and that's the end. That's crazy. Now we're gonna do 
We're gonna do the eyes, and I think that'll be co that'll be a mask. Okay, this is gonna be tricky to get symmetrical, but I'm gonna do my best. Look at these tiny little eyeballs. You can't even, you can barely even see them. It's not that I'm worried about doing the eyes, it's more, more so about getting them symmetrical. Because I always hate when I have to like go back over and try and cover up mistakes I've made with other paint, because you always kinda see them through there. I would love to get it right the first time. That looks pretty close. Just gotta refine them a little bit. I'm gonna do a bigger brush now. That looks, that looks close enough, right? Great! Okay! I think that is the Keaton mask. I'd say finished! Woo! Okay, that's the Keaton mask finished. This is definitely one of the more accurate ones I've made. I love the way it's shaped. I think the smooth curve of the nose looks great. I'm happy with how this one looks, and I'm happy to call it there. We got three masks left to go. I cannot believe it's that few. The next one we're going to be working on is going to be the Postman's hat. Is it F12? It still is. It's gotta be. It is. Hello! This shape shouldn't be as complex as the Keaton mask because it is a hat instead of a mask. It's mainly like a, a flop, flop cap. I don't know if that's the, the official name for it, but that's what I'm gonna call it because that's a good name. So this mask ties in again to the Anju and Cafe side quest. At the same time you get the Keaton mask, which was the last one we did, you'll also receive a priority delivery to Cafe's mother. You had two options for that. You can either A, give that to her yourself and get a bottle in return, or you can B, go over to the postman's office where the postman is kind of having a breakdown because it's the end of the world, but he can't flee. He's not allowed to flee, he thinks. But if you give this to him, he'll be like, oh, this is a high priority delivery. And so he goes and he gets his, his uniform back on. He goes and marches over to the bar where Cafe's mom is. And he'll give it to her, and she's like, what What the heck are you doing here? You're supposed to have run away. And he's like, but it's not on my schedule. She's like, forget the schedule, go! And he's like, oh, okay! <laughs> and so he go, he'll go wait outside the bar. And if you talk to him at that point, he's like, thank you so much! Here, I don't need this! And so you get the postman's hat. He gives you his hat, and he just takes off running. He's sprinting away. He's like, okay, I'm free! I can run away! This hat lets you check mailboxes. And there is exactly one use for that. If you check them at any point, any mailbox, it'll give you a heart piece. Just once. <laughs> and then any other time after that will give you a single green rupee. My ladies? My gamers, my mailman. I found a lot more comfort in chopping these with this knife than using my scissors. I feel like the, the cuts end up being a lot cleaner too. Maybe I was just doing it wrong, but I found it to be a lot easier than I have before. All right, here's half a hat. Hat. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going faster. Forget safety. Chop, 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 chop. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Oh, there we go. There might be a little seam in the middle of this thing, but I think I think for real I should be able to actually caulk this one to hide most of it. Like I thought for all the rest before, it was very obvious that I could not hide them that well. Doesn't this look great as a hat? Isn't this such a cool hat? It's not getting off me. Get off, stop, please, stop, stop it, stop, no! It's gradually taking hat shape. I just gotta bend the rest back into shape and we should have a full hat. This is actually gonna be a pretty good size. It's working. Okay, let's make three little rabbits. Ah, oh, dang it. I cut this at an angle, it doesn't work. Stupid rabbit! I give up. I'm not giving up, but I just need to try- I need to try a different approach on this. If only I had a paper version of this that I could trace. There's me rabbit little template. Perfect! It's crazy looking back on- on God Item. I've learned so much doing this series. I'm not a master or anything, but I feel like I've- I've definitely improved on my crafting skill from this series. A lot. Learned lots of techniques for making props. Lots of techniques about video editing and cutting out the fat. I am content to call it at that. Okay! I'm gonna say that's the end of stream. La la la! Sorry. <laughs> Hello. La, la, oh, la. shut up! Why is it playing? No! Where's that playing from? For some reason, Kick is weird. It likes to, um, unmute every time I refresh the page or start a new stream, so I keep forgetting to fix that. Today, we're gonna be painting this thing. It's very tall. If I, I can't fit it over my head with my headphones on. I spent the week making TikToks, which feels sickening to say out loud, but what's more sickening is how successful they've been. <laughs> Beautiful little face cam- Oh! Thought the hat was kind of flat at the top angle. You'd be right because, uh, here, let me see if I can bring it up. A lot of the icons on the N64 version in the inventory were not actually accurate to the game's model. There we go. This is what the icon looked like on the N64 version. So it, was, it looked like it was flat on the top. You weren't wrong, it was the icon. Great fairy icon was silly. Close enough, and then you have- you look at the sprite. This looks accurate, but then you look at this one, it's like, mm. <laughs> It is insane. How dare you remember things? No, I'm like that too. My brain- just has all these things memorized and I don't know why. The postman's hat inventory icon was not that impactful to my life. I don't know why it stays in my head like that, but I just know intrinsically somehow that that's what it is. We're down to two masks after this is painted. Isn't that insane? I started this two years ago. I built the Majora's Mask that I have hanging on the wall back there as part of a costume. And eventually I just decided I wanted to make more. And so I'm like, you know what? Majora's Mask has 24 masks. How fun would it be to try and make all of them? And then I challenged myself to do that. I made two 
and then stopped for a good while. Then I came back a couple months later and did a burst of three more, I think. And then I took another break for a while. I, I, I think I probably just got lazy or just got unmotivated for a little bit. Eventually, I started live streaming them again uh, last July. And that's when I started with Camaro Mask and went onward. Then a lot happened there. I moved out into an apartment which had mold in it, then I had to move here and got a new job that I'm still currently working at that I love where I get to build stuff. Anyways, enough sentimental, gotta get painting. This will take a couple coats though. And that's okay. This is thankfully like the perfect color of red that I need for this mask. It's gonna look like I'm bleeding because I'm gonna get like like red paint on my hands. Yeah, of course. It was good art. I I, I think it was very well done. I've tried doing some, some amount of, of Animal Crossing's uh, pattern making art. Took a bit, but I filled the whole town up with like a, a look, uh, an actual road. And then I, I nuked that town with uh, world editing. I completely botched it for fun. I had a texture that said expand dong on it. And that was like one of the few textures that actually survived. So amidst all this like random pixel mess chunk, you just see this random black square that said expand dong on it by itself, which was really funny. I like the shine of this. Okay, I should be good enough to take these things off now. Little tiny rabbit icon. What the heck is that? Come on, fingernails, you can do it. Oh no, I pulled off an ear. Ah, dang it. Okay, Vincent van Gogh him. Is this hot enough yet? No, it's not. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Am I missing anything? No. I might paint like a small black border around the edges of this thing, just to make the the, the rabbits pop out a little more. Okay, that's close. I just gotta get the brim done right, because the, the silver reflection is not looking great on this. Okay, now we need to glue on a strap. My bin of mask straps. See, I have it labeled mask straps. Dang it, I, oh, okay, that was just bad. I actually just pulled off a bunch of black paint because I was gripping that too tightly. That may be too much, too much tight, too tight, too much tight. Yes, I believe I'm speaking correctly. Oh, bye-bye. I'd say that's just about done. Isn't that cool? That's the mask finished. I love how this one turned out. For being not even a mask, I think this mask turned out pretty good. It's a really good size, the colors came out well, and that overall the shape is great. We've got two masks left to go, which is insane. And the next mask we're gonna be making is gonna be the couple's mask. <coughs> that was a fake cough, I'm actually fine. Hi, thanks for dropping by. There was a delay? Okay, thank you. I might be able to fix that here. Okay, so today we're making the couple's mask. Eat the glue, do it cram. You can do it, catch. This one is literally just an oval, so I'm gonna do my absolute best to make sure that it is like the smoothest oval possible. How do you plan on doing the colors of the mask? That's a good question. I don't know if I'll be able to airbrush it or not. That'd be how I would love to do it if I could, but I don't have an air compressor here, and I don't know if I'll have time to order one or the budget to order one immediately. If I can't, I'll probably get a couple spray paints, throw on a mask, and then just like go to town on it. That's how I'll do the color, and then I'll spray it with a ton of reflective shine spray. And I also have, is it here? Or is it? There it is. I have this. This is like a, this is a table mat for like a birthday party or something. Yeah, it says party on it. I'll cut the uh, the design pattern out of it and like super glue it on so it, it'll be shiny. I don't know if it'll work well, but we're gonna try. So the couple's mask. This is the final mask you receive in the Anju and Cafe side quest in Majora's Mask. So after getting the Keaton mask and the priority delivery to Cafe's mum, you can actually head out to Icana Canyon and find Cafe sitting behind a pile of rocks. He is hiding just outside of Sakon's hideout. I think it's around sometime at night. Sakon will approach his hideout and open it, and Cafe and you will follow him in. Once inside the hideout, you and Cafe will find Cafe's stolen sun mask. It is on a conveyor belt, which Cafe accidentally activates while trying to get it back. Sakon is trying to pull the mask into his little vault and run away. Cafe will try and run through the door he just opened, but as he steps off the switch, it will shut on him and he'll turn around and be like, you, you gotta step on the switch. And so you do. And suddenly, without any kind of warning, you are now suddenly playing as Cafe, <laughs> which is crazy. You have actually the same moveset you do as Link. You can like side hop, backflip. You can even punch, even though there's no enemies nearby. You'll play as Cafe and run him into that room and you'll realize that there's buttons you gotta push. So you're gonna kind of tag team this, this room challenge with Cafe. On Cafe's side, there's a bunch of blocks to push around and buttons to hit. On Link's side, there's a bunch of enemies you gotta fight. So you'll start as Cafe, you'll go push blocks and open up a door for Link to go through. And then Link will go through, he'll kill the enemies. That'll open up another door for Cafe to go through. And then you kind of just like repeat the process back and forth until finally you both get to the end and stop the conveyor belt from pulling the mask away to Sakon's vault. Cafe grabs it and you both leave the hideout. Cafe will run back to Clock Town no matter what time it was at 
night before that. After you've uh, done that challenge, it'll begin like the final countdown to the, the moon crashing into the earth. So you and Cafe both race back down to Clock Town and run to Andrew's room in the Stockpot Inn. Andrew will be waiting for Cafe. Cafe walks through the door and then they, they finally meet. Andrew's a little like, why are you 10 years old? <laughs> <laughs> kind of deal, but she doesn't care like she's it's still still her little little love muffin I don't know if she says that she doesn't say that they exchange masks They they get married their masks fuse and become the couple's mask Which you then take and then you leave you kind of just leave them to, to be married and be happy together in like the last five minutes of the world before It's exploded like the other masks in the Andrew cafe side quest This mask has one purpose and that's to get a single heart piece in the same building that you first get Cathay's mask the mayor's residence in the mayor's office There's a big argument going on about whether or not people should be ordered to evacuate or should stay in town to celebrate the carnival. If you put on this mask, it'll kind of snap everybody back to their senses and the mayor will decide ultimately that whether or not people want to run or stay, that's up to them and not up to a court order. So that settles them, they all they all leave and you get a heart piece as a reward. And that's all it does. The end. <laughs> back to cutting. <laughs> possible to be killed with a hot glue gun. I'm not gonna become a mukbang YouTuber. How dare you suggest such a thing? I will probably have to put you to death now. This might be a little too big. Ah, whatever. It'll be fine. Best Halloween candy? Candy. Why did I say it like that? Candy. What's wrong with me? Those gummy burgers you could get, those were fun. I did not think making an oval would take this long. It's been almost two hours. Yeah, this is a little large. My template might have been a little too big. It looks like a bicycle helmet. Now I'm safe from car accident. Okay, this is very big. <laughs> Check out, this, check out this ingenuity. Absolute genius here. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. There, I cut a triangle out. Watch it, and I bring it together, and that will shrink it a little bit. I wrecked it. This does not look even, and you're right. Ah, dang it, I want I want this to be a good oval. I'm doing the angry face while I'm focusing. Ah, I'm happy. This is looking better. That's actually, I think that's looking pretty close. Yeah, like this could work as the shape, I think. I might just need to like trim the back of this a little. I'm gonna trim, there we go, that's what I'm gonna do. And I think I figured out my 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 problem here. I'm trying to make sure there's like no no bumps. There's gonna be a bunch of seams, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill that in with um foam clay to try and hide them. Wow. Oh, whoa, this is weird. This does not feel the way I expected it to. This is such a weird feeling. I've never worked with foam clay before. This is strange. I have a description now as to what this feels like. This is like if you took chewing gum that you've, you've just been chewing, made it dry, and then squished it around in your fingers. That's what this feels like to me. It's really weird. I'm not used to working with this, but I will I will learn it and I will master this stuff. What I could maybe do actually is is like, overdo it with this stuff. And then once it dries tomorrow, I'll do this off stream and I'll just sand it down. Okay, I'm almost done here. I've just gotta like fill in like the rest of these and then I will heat gun it. Just give it a quick like once over with the heat gun to seal it. And then I'll call that a stream. Cause I think, I think I'm happy with the shape. Okay, I think that is about ready to call it a stream. That's as close as I'm gonna get to the uh, like a smooth oval shape. There might be one more correction I can quickly make here. And that's to like bring out these edges a little more. I might do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm totally gonna do it. It does look like a watermelon though. You're so right. There. Okay, done for real. This is the this is the shape. I buffed out the bottom a little bit so it wasn't so like sharp down from the middle to the top. Okay, that is uh, that's gonna be it for this stream. Hi, I'm clean shaven now. That's great, that's great, love that. We're gonna finish the couple's mask today, but it's gonna be a different stream for that because I really wanted to get it smooth. This is semi-smooth, but this is not smooth enough for what I wanted. So what I think I'm gonna try and do is take this thin sheet and actually just hot glue it down over top of this until it is a completely smooth shape. I guess, what do I even start with? I'm gonna do something different. I, I went and bought a bunch of stuff today for this. It wouldn't have been a good idea to try and spray paint on this whole desk setup, and using my spray booth wouldn't have worked great either for this kind of stuff. We're gonna see if this works. I have the design of the mask uh, printed, so I'm gonna, I might just, while this heats up, I'm gonna cut this out. How many masks are left? We've got one. This is the second last mask. Took years to realize the couple's mask depicted a couple in a loving embrace. I just thought they were artsy shapes. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I, I am just noticing that now. Yeah, there, it's, I see that. Okay, it's it's two heads put together at the top and then two arms reaching out to, I just realized that. Huh, well, <laughs> you learn something new every day. I'm gonna try and smooth this out by putting this piece of foam over top of it, just like as like a final skin. I don't think these sheets are actually big enough to, to fit over top the whole thing, so I'm probably gonna have to use two. Rather than cleaning up like several different odd seams, I should be able to clean up just one seam really well. Just squish that down with the palm. Yeah, that, that's that's like seamless there. If I can, it's a little wrinkled, but it, if I can get it flat, it should be pretty pretty seamless. Robbie Rotten called, he wants his chin back. Dude, that is so kind of you, but if I turn my head, you see it's immediately lost. Oh, 
I have I have several chins to give away. He can take this one. I don't think the beard actually hid that as well as I wish it did. You might be able to see here. I, uh, I tried to do that thing earlier with a thicker piece of foam. Didn't work. That's looking smoothish. That's half of the mask making process. Is like, will this work? We'll see. And then it works. Or it doesn't, and then we try something else. I think that's actually looking, that's really looking smooth. It's a little wrinkled, but it definitely beats having a bunch of seams everywhere. I have to really nail it down. Popsicle sticks, there they are. Hey yo. Can you really call it an art project if you don't burn your fingers? Yeah, absolutely. Ow, it hurts, now it's real. If your art doesn't hurt you, it's not art. You must bleed for your craft. Can I, ooh, can I do this? Maybe this is a bad idea, maybe it's not gonna work, maybe it's gonna horribly mess up what I've been doing so far. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. Great results, yes. Mm. No, that was bad. There will be a seam here, but I can probably fix it. I don't want to rush this. I shouldn't rush this. I gotta do this right. Every other time I've rushed it trying to make it look good, it does not look good. <sighs> nope. You know what? I'm I'm starting this again. Not the whole mask, but I'm just gonna redo this piece because this is a bad. This is bad, and I'm trying to like stitch it together. We'll Frank. We'll like make it look Frankenstein, and I don't want that. I'm trying again. The one thing I wanted to focus on with this mask is getting a smooth, seamless shape, and that's what I'm going to do. Do it right, idiot Ryland. Die. Ah. These thin pieces of foam work, but they're not like magic, so I have to be careful. That that won't work. I need to cut this at like an angle. I'm just gonna eyeball this, and hopefully it works. Yes, this is working. This is so much better. I'm so smart. Yes. Squeaky. We're almost ready to paint. It's only like an hour and a half in almost. Okay, just got this one seam to clean up. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna just do one quick little heat gun roll over this thing to see if that smooths anything out. At the very least, it'll heat seal it for me. Wrinkly, but almost seamless. Now let's get some Mod Podge in this thing. How long does this stuff take to dry, does it say? Cure time, four weeks. Okay, this will be iffy, but we're gonna see how well it works. Ow! I'm fine. That was just a moment of weakness. And then once the shape is cut, we can finally get to the fun part of like, let's water spray paint this thing. Yeah. Okay. Now we do the fun stuff. That's a good pink pearly color. This seam is definitely way more noticeable than I would have hoped. From this angle, it looks fine. Look at that shine. That looks great. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Fingers. No. Pingors. Pingor. How's this look so far for like a pearly color? I just need to get this tape seam covered up. Cool. Oh, no. This is looking so good. I am very happy with this. It looks like it's made of something like stronger than foam But that it really is just like the shine of the paint going through. Maybe the spray bottle idea is just not gonna work Maybe it was a waste of time, but at least now I have more spray bottles I can use for other things. That's fine. Once this is all painted on I'm gonna do a, another coat of not pearl this stuff this uh, dries clear It's just it's pure gloss stupid paint taking too long to dry. I'm gonna spit in anger Tui. Oh, that's not the right one. This was the one that's super liquidy. This thing unfortunately will have like a wrinkle on the top of it, but that is, that's like fine with me. I think this is just about ready to get the um, the silver emblem on it now. Okay, time for tacky glue. Just have to lift it. I have to be very careful because this piece is very flimsy. Until it is glued down, I need to be very careful. Yes, yes, oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. That's beautiful. I think it's just about ready to be, to be done. I'm gonna do one more thing before I, I finish it off or say it's finished. Like that, that looks super cool. That looks bad. I'm gonna wipe that stuff off. You're over, over there. Wow. I don't know if that's close enough or not. That is so pretty. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. That is the couple's mask. Nice and finished. I cannot believe how pearly this thing looks. It looks incredible and I'm so happy with how the reflective decal looks on it. It may have the odd wrinkle or two, but I'm still very happy with the results. This is great, and a great way to build up to the last mask. It doesn't feel right to just use the generic, like, next mask is this for, for this next one. I can't believe it's, it's already here. Like, it feels like I just started making these again, like, maybe a couple months ago. The last mask I made before restarting this year again was the Mask of Truth, and that was made last August, I'm pretty sure. I started making these again this year in January. I've taken the odd weekend off, but virtually every weekend since then has been spent building more masks. It is now just about October here, and we have a single mask left to go. It both took forever and also just flew by. I can't believe we're already here. The next mask is the last of the masks. The Fierce Deities Mask. It's the last mask. I can't believe it. We are here. I want to do this one really good. I want to do all the masks really good, but I want to make this one especially, especially, especially good. <laughs> okay, this is this is a really good size. Wow, this, his forehead is actually really big, if I'm doing this right. I could also just be doing this wrong. Not entirely an impossibility. Oopsie daisy, I'm wrecking it. Oh no, poor little paper man. I like you cut, G. 
that is close enough. I'm gonna let that dry while I do the hair now. This is gonna be big hair. <laughs> Put it on, I can try. A real chin, finally, it's what I've always wanted. So, the Fierce Deities Mask. This is the final mask obtained and can only be unlocked by obtaining every other mask in the game, hence why I built it last. Once you have all four temples conquered and release each of the four giants, which is what happens when you beat a temple, you can make your way to the top of the clock tower as the final hours are counting down. When you're up there, you will play the Oath to Order, and that will call all four giants in to catch the moon from falling out of the sky. Once that happens, Skull Kid, or Majora's Mask, who is its own thing now, and it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna bring the moon down anyways, and he just he kinda just flies up there. <laughs> and then the moon starts falling again, like, even so much so that the giants can't hold it up. Like, it's it's coming down even on top of them. Link's like, I'm gonna go up there. And Tails like, don't go up there. <laughs> and Tails like, I'm gonna go up there. He's like, okay, go up there. And so you, you go, you walk into the same light sucky pillar thing, and it pulls you into the moon in a really cool looking way. On the inside of the moon, instead of being like a, uh, a crater or a pit or a core or something. It is a quiet, pleasant, serene landscape with a tree in the middle, which is a little odd because just before it was a lot of screamy, yelly, angry stuff. But it's, a, it's actually a really cool environment. I love this place. Up near the tree, which takes a bit to get to, there are five children, four of which are running around, and the fifth one is sitting under the tree. Each of these children have on the boss remains. If you talk to each of them, they'll ask you to give them masks. If you give them a set amount of masks, they will take you to a challenge of theirs. Each challenge is based on each of the forms you can take, being Link, Deku Scrub, Goron, and Zora. Yeah, the Deku Scrub challenge is like a flight challenge to get from one end of the room to the other through Deku Flowers. The Goron challenge is doing precise rolling across thin ledges. The Zora challenge is a timed maze through water pipes. And the fourth challenge, which is just Link, is a combat challenge where you fight a bunch of enemies. Once you beat each of the challenges, they will ask for more masks. If you give them to them, they will take you back out of the challenge and bring you back to the tree. As you complete each of the challenges, the child that you talk to disappears from the tree area, like they're, they're gone. Once you do all four challenges and return to the tree with just the child wearing Majora's mask sitting under the tree, you talk to him. No, no, he'll ask you to play a game. I'll be the good guy, you be the bad guy, and he will give you the mask. He will give you the fierce deity's mask. It's the final mask and it's the final transformation for Link. It is the strongest mask in the game. It makes the final boss with Majora itself an absolute cakewalk. You can only use the Fierce Deities mask inside boss rooms. You put on this mask and you become this gigantic vengeful god with a giant twin helix sword. Crazy, he's so strong and you can shoot magic beams out of it. He does a ton of damage. He's just, he's insane. That That's it, like it's, it's your final reward for doing everything in the game. Your final reward is to become this insanely strong thing. And that is the last mask. Close enough to function. There we go, that's, that's, that's super cool. Yeah! I really liked the results I had last mask, like using these thin sheets of foam as like a skin. So I might just do that again with this one to give a smooth face. I keep forgetting that I'm wearing this, it's great. Yeah. It's not falling off anymore. I glue these two together and then I will shape the rest around that. That's a good looking chin. This is a good start. This is a really good start. I forgot that I had hair in the way. I'm trying to get the nose put on properly, but not like making it look stubby or stupid. We got a nose, we'll say, silly? What? What? I did- Ryan, I did not- I did not send those numbers in Discord. I'm gonna quickly immediately change my password right now. Anyways, back to mask. Okay, this is the face shape, I think. Peely Beely. That's not his name. Breaking news! Detective Ryland revealed to be the smartest man ever! I can't see anything out of this anymore, but I'm sure it looks good. I'm just getting, like, a skin on it before I try working on the hair. Okay, we have a skin on this thing. Perfectly symmetrical. Oh well, it'll be it'll be covered over. You'll be able to see it. This is why I do painting a lot more carefully as a separate stream. Because if I tried to paint after spending all this time making a mask, I'd probably do it like this and give up. I think we're ready to do hair now. <laughs> bye bye. I gotta take this off my head now, which is sad, but it's about time. Okay, now let's see how I can make this with foam. Where's my knife? Where'd my knife go? Oh, it, it fell. Right, <laughs> forgot. Okay, I completely forget how this goes together. Somehow I manage with such a messy place. That's probably where most of my mistakes are coming from here, is that I'm trying to use this giant foam to make big hair, which I don't need to do at all. I have plenty of like thin foam I can use for this instead. It's just one of those streams. I mean, I've been streaming for like, what, almost five hours here. <laughs> I do not expect ever to go super excited the whole time for five hours. This this takes time. And it's not like a game that I have constant feedback and new things to, to respond to. My brain is really having trouble processing how which way to put this triangle on. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's it's iffy, but I'm liking it. It's the hair that's giving me trouble now. And now that I have wrinkles on the, the face, that should be good. I'm making a shell for the hair to kind of rest on. so. It's it doesn't, doesn't need to be as thick. I'll paint it first and I'll do the hair afterwards. I learned that from doing the hard way from doing Cafe's mask and doing the hair first. All it took was gluing out a bunch of random strands and making cuts. 
is kind of like a culmination of a lot of different skills I've learned throughout the series. I've learned how to work with hair a little better. I've learned how to smooth out skin. It'll be a good effort to test my, my painting skills. I'm glad that I stuck it out with the series. Honestly, because there were lots of times throughout making all these masks where I was just like, I'm, I'm only like halfway, I could probably call it quits and, you know, take another year-long hiatus or something, or... But I didn't, and I'm very proud of that. I don't want to be like, super toot my own horn, as old people say, but I, I think it was a really good practice of self-discipline. I think this is ready for its last piece. It's so close, I just gotta get this like hair connected at the back here to this thing. It's gonna look a little gluey, and that's okay. The hair, the hair can be gluey looking because I'm gonna put a wig over top of it. Okay, I'm pretty content to call this my shape. All I gotta do now is hit it with the Dremel and we should be good. Okay, it's time to Dremel. I need my safety stuff. I'm going to fly for you. Mm. That looks pretty good, I think. Ooh, I think that's more than enough done for the shape. I am so happy with how this shape turned out. I think this looks insane. From starting as nothing, this is a pretty, pretty good progress. Anyways, bye guys. Hi. Hello. Who's that? Who? <laughs> this is a stupid way to start the stream. <laughs> Hello everyone! Final stream! Good way Welcome. to start! It's the last stream of making masks. Ryan's is in the in the call with me today. Because, That's actually what I look like. Yeah, this is this is what he looks like secretly. Oh you mean that was down there? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I had to wear this shirt for the last the last making stream, of course. I wonder out of how many videos okay. you've worn that. Surely the majority. Yeah, I probably. Look at him. Look at him. His face is crooked. <laughs> okay. Uh, paint time. I'll be honest, everyone, I'm nervous. <laughs> and Ryan to test this, I am a little nervous. We're gonna do okay. Why is this clogged? Oh, now I did too much. It suddenly became unclogged. <laughs> like a bowel in the night. <laughs> Look at those lips. Cause like, that's not, that's not marked on, that's just like shaped. I like to think you just molded it from your lips. I did, I actually just kissed it until it took shape. <laughs> to work we go! This is probably not the right color of skin. Gotta be careful I phrase that. <laughs> if it's a bit too dark, you can kind of use that darker color in the corners as shading. You are so right. I need to blow my nose. Ryan, entertain stream for a second. Okay, I'll tell him big secrets of Ryland. He mixes all of the paint with snot. It's how he gets that luscious coating, that shiny coating. It's all snot. It's it's gross. I don't know why he does it. He says it makes him feel more personal to it. What a weirdo. Respect I, I'm the back cast, anyways. But, how, how, was, um, uh, how was stream? Well, I was gone and could also still hear. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting paint on myself. Unheard of. I'm probably gonna cut the eye out and use it as like a reference or a stamp. I'll see if I can trace it. That would be a twist if you turn into like a beauty guru channel. Oh, never. Give it that magic Rylan touch. I'm not gonna kiss it because there's paint on it. You don't want lipstick for the entire stream? Maybe I do actually, that's not a bad idea, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Markiplier, what are you doing on my stream? <laughs> that's not funny at all. <laughs> I don't know why this lid roller is stuck on there. This is who I'm gonna look like when the stream is finished. I love the occasional wig wearing in this. <laughs> I have them, I, I, I might as well, right? This is the worst feeling hair I think I've ever felt. This feels like it's made of rubber. Use blood as the red face paint. <gasps> That's so metal, I should do that. Where's my, where's my... Razor from the neck. There, I think this, this is where we want the eye. Look at this eyeball. That looks sick. That does look good. That's how I learned. You have to be funny by first being not funny. More blood. More blood. Does this look symmetrical enough with the eye? I mean, you can't really see it as well as I can. I feel like that's close, right? Something about it's bugging me, but I can't really tell. Maybe it's the rotation. Eyeball. Oh, that looks good. I would make tacos all the time if they didn't take time. That is true. They take like almost an hour. They take almost a year to make. If you want them really fine. Yeah. It's <laughs> aging, like wine. Aging your tacos like wine. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have a cellar full of ground meat. <laughs> it's probably concrete now. <laughs> exactly. It is the ground now. <laughs> oh, they call that the flesh basement. Oh, Terraria boss. That was funny. You're supposed to. <laughs> you have fun if with I tacos. do pop back in and fart, don't be surprised. I okay. I'll try not to be surprised. The best. To the last one. To the last one. Cheers. Bye bye. Good Cheers. luck. Oh. Yummy. There he goes. I am liking it. I just need to get the blue lines lined up. I'm getting really caught up on this this blue design, but I'm just I want to make sure it's perfect. I feel like it's getting there, but I need to really gotta refine it a little bit more. Like still blue. That that looks a lot better. That's that's lined up in the middle. Probably should use pencil instead of sharpie on this, because I think the sharpie is gonna be showing through a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That looks sick! Maybe I should do a, a little setup tour at this point, seeing how this place all works. I mean it's nothing too fancy, but it wouldn't hurt to to do that.
my camera's actually very far away. I'd say maybe six or seven feet away from my face, zoomed in. It gives it less distance visually. That looks great. They are like slightly off, but like no one will notice. And even even like at a glance, you can't even tell. Do a video completely zoomed out? <laughs> I could. I'll do another coat to make them darker at some point. Oh, but while that dries, let's quickly zoom out the camera like I said I would do. Real just Ryland stream. Look how far away I am. It looks so much more empty when you pull back from where I have everything like kind of condensed to make it look fuller. You can see my little legs. <laughs> Here's the whole room. It's so much more empty when it's not all compressed into one space. There we go. And now the stream looks good again. Okay, we gotta do. Let's do eyebrows next. It's getting there. Like even just look at that. Like that looks sick with the eyebrow pasted on like that. Is now catching up with all the brand new. Why? Why did it? <laughs> I still got the entirety of the hair to go. Why is it doing that again? Zoom into my chest. Dr. Pepper sponsor official. He didn't actually sponsor this. He's not real. <laughs> Zoom back out. There we go. I'm hoping that after such a cool paint job that this totally is, wig doesn't look bad on top of it. No badoo. While that dries, let's do the ears. Yee! Yeah. He has no mouth. I think we are ready to do lips and nose. Lips. That looks sick. That almost looks like 3D. Like, it actually looks like his lips popping out a little bit there. Look at that. That's great. I think I am content to say that's that's it for painting. I'm gonna take a quick second to clean up a little bit, and then we'll move on to doing hair. Because hair is gonna be even messier. We're onto the wig part. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. Am I gonna layer the hair? Yes. Yes, that's the plan. If I alternate between the whiter hair and the silver hair, I'll have a good mix of, like, darker looking green hair. I don't really have a set plan for how I'm gonna layer this at the back. I'm just kind of wedging it in and gluing it to whatever will stick to. Streaming for just about five hours here. Never, It never feels like it. It feels like I sat down maybe like an hour ago at this point, but this may be like a seven, eight hour stream. <laughs> wow, it's already almost been six hours here. I've maybe like halfway done the hair at best. Oops, that was not supposed to come all the way off. Oh well, that's fine. The hair definitely looks a little messier, but I think that's looking good. And it'll look great when all, when it's all said and done. It's a little messy and I have to refine the hair once it's actually there, because you can see, especially with the highlights, it's very fuzzy. Hair's getting everywhere? Uh, yes. Yes it is. Just about seven hours here. It's been a long stream, but we're almost there. Kind of like batting at this like a cat. Oops, I cut his ear. Sorry, buddy. I, I keep cutting people's ears by accident. I didn't think it would take me seven hours to do this. It's looking really good. It's just taking its time to, to take shape for sure. Okay, I think that's all the hair on now. Yes, I'd say that's all the hair on now. I'm gonna do a little bit of refinement here and maybe maybe I'll do like a tiny bit of coloring. This is looking sick. That is it for hair. That is, I'm I'm calling that for hair. It's a little fuzzy on the edges, but I don't care. I think, that, I think it looks great. I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, but I, I tend to overdo things. Wow. Look at this. That's a beautiful mask. That is a beautiful mask. I agree. Thank you so much. Oh, the hair turned out so good. It did. It, it took its time. It took its time. It's, I'm coming up on the eight hour stream here. Yeah, eight hours. Still gotta do the, the hat. That'll take me probably another two, two hours here. <laughs> I'm sticking around. Stick around, my friend. You were here for the first stream of this year. You're here for the last. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. Oh, Holy crap. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's done. That's all the masks. I can't believe it. Oh, it needs a strap. Get the strap. Get the strap. Don't say that. <laughs> I can't believe it. It is something to be amazed by. Wow. This was like an eight. This is a, yeah, eight hours, three minute stream. There's still so many like little hairs I want to cut out. It's, it's over. Over. I know, right? And that's the mask done. I like I like how this one looks. The paint's cool. The, the hair is good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, that's the end of God Ivan for now. Uh, bye. Back in September of 2020, I bought a replica of Majora's Mask from a sketchy vendor online, because I thought the mask itself would make for a fun decoration. What I thought would be something cheap like a 3D print or basic resin mold, instead turned out to be a garbage latex thing that looked nothing like what was advertised. In short, I was scammed. I found it funny, more than anything else, and while it was still a goofy thing to have, I still really wanted a replica of Majora's Mask to hang on the wall. Now, I could have just as easily found a more reputable seller and ordered a real one this time, but I had a sequence of ideas that I hadn't thought about before. It's the middle of a pandemic and I'm bored out of my mind. I don't have a job right now, so I've got lots of time to spare. I have access to a craft room and lots of tools, 
So how hard would it be to make one myself? And so I did some research. I watched several guides on creating Majora's Mask replicas, took mental notes of what parts of their results I liked and what parts I didn't. Most importantly, I saw what was consistent between them, such as material, tools, technique, and details. Thankfully, most of the materials in question were actually available right at home. And I got right to work. I cut the shape out of the foam, heat gunned it, pressed it into form, and it sucked. Like, it really sucked. The edges were all uneven and jagged. It didn't bend right at all. It wasn't even close to the right shape. But something happened. I had realized that, while I may have been disappointed with the shape, I didn't feel like I wasted any time, because I was having fun. So I tried again, and then again, and finally after a few tries, I had a shape I was happy with. From there, it was a straightforward process of taping it up, shaping some wire, and painting it to match the picture I had pulled up on my phone. Eventually, after two weeks worth of night owl work, I had a finished mask that I was incredibly happy with, and I wanted to build more. At the suggestion of a friend, I started by making a Skull Kid costume to pair with the mask itself, which I made a video about. And I found the costume and the video were both lots of fun to make as well. So I continued from there, making masks and costumes. Back in September of 2020, I lost $45 to an online scam. In return, I've gained a media and prop art career that I've pursued both on my channel here and as a full-time job. so much fun making all of these, and I've learned so much, not just in prop making, but in video editing, live streaming, motion graphics, set design, lighting, sound. I've had such a great time with Got Item, and I hope to keep it going. Unfortunately, like I said in the beginning of this video, this will be my last video for the year. See, every year, my workplace hosts a massive New Year's Eve event called Voltage. It's this huge thing where kids from all over can come in for a safe night of fun without any drugs, alcohol, any of that stuff. We offer an arcade, a cafe, a gym full of inflatables and games, a music concert, Concert, karaoke, an art room, a spa, ATV rides, and in my case, most importantly, a skit, where we tell the kids a fun story with a moral and a message about issues they're likely facing, albeit with plenty of recognizable characters thrown in in order to hold their swipe rotten attention spans. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because this skit takes a whole lot more than a week of work to make happen. In fact, we've been working on this year's skit since March. It takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication dedication that I can no longer split with making God Item videos, or any videos for that matter. So this will be my last video of the year. Going forward, Voltage will be my priority until everything is wrapped up about halfway through January of next year. I still haven't decided what props I'll try and make when God Item resumes at that point, but I'm sure I'll think of something over the next few months. With that out of the way, let's give these masks the send-off they deserve. the end. All 24 masks have been made. It's been quite a ride, but I've had such a good time with all of it. Thank you, all of you, for taking the time to see what I've made. Whether it's been throughout the entire series or even just half of one of my short form videos. Words just don't do enough justice to how much it means to me that any of you cared even a little bit about what I've put together, both physically and digitally. I'm grateful for all of you. 
those who've been here since the beginning, those I've met partway through, and even those whom this is their first video. I appreciate all of you who were here, who are here, and even those who will be here in the future. Thank you all so, so much for being a part of this with me. I am so excited to continue this in the new year, and I can't wait to see you guys then. Now in the meantime, if you'll excuse me, a new day is done.